Hi, everybody that's watching our video. This is going to be a great game. We're getting really close to PsyCon. We're on game 128, and today is October the 6th of 2022. I'm about to let everybody in, make a little prediction here about the team names. I think they're going to be big half of them will be Russia related, and the other half will be concerning um, Herschel Walker or, <laughs> or Mar a Lago records. So curious to see what we get. So let me open up the doors and let people in. First up is Wendy Hughes and Carl with a K. So they say, he's with a K. Let's see who it is. Is it going to be Wendy? Is it going to be Carl? Is it going to be Wendy? Is it going to be Carl? Oh, here comes Jim. Oh, and I see coming around the bin. Here comes Jim right around the bin. And then it's, it's, it's Carl. Carl is first up and followed quickly beside Carl is Wendy, who I think changed her, added the Los Angeles, California to her thing. Oh, nope, she's still not here yet. Oh, my goodness. It's Carl. Carl and no cats. And I'll say, yeah, it's Jim. Jim beat Wendy. Hi, Jim. It's Carl, then Wendy. And then, no, it's Carl, then Jim. Wendy is still, I don't know. We'll see who's next. Who is it? Who will be the winner of joining us tonight? <laughs> It's Wendy. She's number three. <laughs> She's got this look like what oh, the heck? <laughs> unless, unless you count Susan Gerbic as number one. I started it, so it doesn't count. Number zero. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm number zero. Wendy. She's Wendy. The zero person. What is that expression Wendy's got on her face? I don't know. Frozen. Well, it could be worse. It could be a face like she's you know like that. She just looks kind of surprised. Hope I didn't scare her. Now it's all quiet. Where'd everybody go? Oh, turn on my light. Man, that is bright. Let me see. Oh, Wendy's going to start over again. So we'll see. What are you making for dinner tonight, Jim? What do you got for us? I've got a pork chop in there and um, some potato. Potato. Do you watch uh, Stephen Colbert? Yeah, potatoes. He always he always says something about Russia, and then he'll say, "It's potato." <laughs> it's it's so funny. I never see it coming. I don't know why. I'm just never going it. Let's see. What do we got? Think of it. Um, hmm. Like, would pay, potato come from the uh, from the Inca language or something, and then uh, it got uh, just got everywhere. Like I, I see a I see a category starting in your mind. Yeah. Uh, origin of uh, origin of words or something. <laughs> well, origin of words would be really interesting. Also, just a whole category on potato. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, ah, I don't know. We've had coconuts. We've had all bananas. We've yeah. had all kinds of stuff. So I could see yeah. a potato being a category all by itself. Let's see if Wendy can make it. Here she comes, walking down the street. Get the funniest looks from everyone she meets. Hey, hey, it's Wendy. Something about messing around. And a body snuffing up. A lot of me. caffeine recently, Susan? No, actually, <laughs> I just had a, a cup of tea. But I'm so great to see everybody. OK, what do you think? I thought I saw her move. Oh. oh, she's frozen. Yeah. Well, she's holding I, really still. I swear she started and she was just, I swear she just moved a little bit like a little jerk. That's a different picture she had a minute ago. So, yeah. It's a different outfit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Uh, hmm. no, the word is you're signing on to Zoom. Always sign on with an expression. That you think will look favorable. So when you sign in, just be like, <laughs> <laughs> so you always look like you never know if you get caught. Yep, she but if you there. freeze just in the middle, uh, little something. Here comes Bob. I don't know. I think I think anybody could end up uh, just caught in the wrong instant of a yes. shift. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Just have to hold that position. Hmm. 
Well, I see I got breaking news that just came in from the New York Times. Yeah. I hope you're all sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll hold it for a second until we get more people here. Maybe it'll get updated in a minute. Oh. I want to make sure everybody- You're going to keep us in everything. suspenders, huh? Yeah, in suspenders, yes. <laughs> okay, I just got a message. Carl with a K has joined my, my, my Zoom meeting. Good to know. You guys are probably getting the same breaking news anyway, so it can't be all that exciting. Okay, you ready to go? Bob, Ron, Peggy, Robin, and Robin. Oh my gosh, we hey. almost had we have three R names. And it looks like Bob, okay, Ron, Peggy. Okay, uh, it just all of a sudden looked like a bunch of R's. Mm. Bob, you there? He's first up. Now, you've got a you've got a uh, partial statue of a rather distressed looking person there. This guy? <laughs> yeah. That's Naomi. Yeah. That's Naomi. I, that's Naomi. And Naomi. Yeah. I think it's a woman. Yeah. I talk to her all the time. She's mm -hmm. she's kind of like a Medusa. I used to call her a gargoyle, and then they got out, and people got up mad at me. Wendy's here! Oh my gosh! I've been you here. Me. You know, oh, could you hear me talking to you? I there was something wrong with my um, video Wi-Fi. Yeah. Could you hear us talking to you? I'm here. Pardon? Could you hear us talking to you? I was trying to talk to you. Could you hear me talking to you? You're frozen, but we I sang you a song, so you have to go back and listen to the video. Okay. Do you want to know what I was? Um, I was. I'm so excited about about going to PsyCon. I'm just. I am so excited. It just. I. Me it's too. Huge. It's this huge, big change, and you know, the we. I haven't been to a conference in years. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to. Uh, Deborah's coming over, and we're going up to Sacramento. So I'm going to a mini conference tomorrow. As I'm going to do a talk on Saturday. There might only be ten people there. But I'm so looking forward to it. And every, you're going every to LA. LA be there. Yeah, you're going to be coming to Los Angeles when? In December? Oh, yeah. I got my date for December. Yeah. So I got to announce that. Don't let me forget. Here comes Cass. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so there. I am so like, Mark goes, you're really busy today. I had to go up to Gilroy to go to a doctor's appointment. The skin, I have, I have dermatitis. Ooh, that sounds scary. It's in it. That, that's an inflammation. What part of your skin? They said that's where all your oil and your and your thing is. I've had it for almost a year. It's just like a flake that builds up. So I've I've been going to I've had like four doctor's appointments or something, and they they gave me a whole different kinds of shampoos and and stuff like that. And I it just takes a long time to knock out. So I just went to a specialist today, and they said. All the stuff they've given you is correct. So here's how you got to make sure, sure you use it. But anyway, I went so to this are you on Medicare day. yet? So yeah, is this, what, for a couple years. Is this only on your scalp and not on the rest of your skin? Only on my scalp. They said that I asked her about that. She says some people get it on their face too. But she says your head has the most oil um, follicles or something. She says so it's most likely people get it on their, on their scalp. And it just is like a buildup of not dandruff it's like a buildup of something like and and she says it could be from stress it could be from um heat it could be from cold it could be from who knows what but you'll probably always have it and you'll just have to manage it with um shampoos and so i learned a lot today anyway my point is is that i went up to gilroy and i went running around and doing stuff and it felt really good wendy I had to go get to, out. Get, I had to go get gas. I had to go get money because I don't have any cash. You know, running around, I felt great. You know, I was like, oh, I've got to get this all done. I got to get these things done before when you're retired. It's you know, like going you, back to the before times. A little bit. But when you're retired, you kind of fall into this. Well, I've got three things to do and I got all week to do them. You know, it's never like a, you know, you don't feel like there's a need to really push yourself to to get things done because you know tomorrow is fine or or it could be thursday or friday or saturday i could get it done but so i'm ready to go 
and I've been working with CFI. Every Tuesday, I have a meeting with CFI now, and we're working on all the skeptic groups. It's so exciting. I've, I've spent Tuesday and Wednesday talking to skeptic groups all over the United States. And it, Got any good gossip? Uh, well, you know what's going on is that a lot of groups didn't survive the pandemic. They just didn't do it. Uh, they were already dying beforehand. And each group I talked to, they have different reasons. Like one group I talked to, I, I guess since I'm recording this, I shouldn't say which ones, but mm -hmm. one group I talked to said, nobody's on Facebook. Nobody uses Facebook. And I'm like, well, how can you promote yeah. a group if you're not on Facebook? You know, there oh, are other yeah. social media. Yeah. And yeah. I, that's all oh, they use. Meet up, really? Yeah. And they told me we got a huge following on meetup, but the last time we had a, we had a meeting, we had almost nobody show up. I'm like, well, you kind of have to, you know, meetup is a really hard thing to like get people conversing and talking and sharing things. And so yeah, they, I don't think of it like that too. Yeah, it's more like, here's the date and time. Show yeah. up. Here's a yeah, notification. Be there, be square. Be there, be square. That's great. So the, um, so being on Facebook, I mean, they have a presence, but it's not, <clears throat> oh, it's not a really active one. I mean, it just, it just didn't feel like anybody was trying very much. So I thought their group was dead. So that was interesting to see. I have another group that has changed hands twice. Like they went from president to another president and now there's another president. And they have never updated the website since I think 2012. And their Twitter account has been sitting there with the last tweet was like 2013. So, you know, it's not the pandemic that killed them off. It's it's other things. Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey, good evening. Kyle. So it's just an interest. I was I'm just telling everybody that I'm working for CFI now, and I'm our first task in the outreach department. Our first task is to monitor, not monitor, is to do an assessment of what groups and just concentrating in the United States, what groups are still there, which, and then see if I wants to start helping them. They want to help them out. Hi, Jane. They want to help them out with speakers cool. and, and paying for it, you know, sending speakers in and things like that. Meaning me and probably Kenny Biddle at, at first. And then other programs they want to come up with they have programming and things that groups could use um if they want to come up with a theme of doing stuff like the guy uh, i'm working with his name is eric you'll meet him at psycon he's really sweet and uh, just adorable nice beautiful smile very quiet you know he's a real hunter i think on skeptic groups um like iig was well iig is supposed to be a group that is exists to do stuff not like a social group like like drinking right. skeptically your la drinking skeptic group well the drinking skeptically group well, that was that was um not officially associated with cfi or iig or cfi ig subsequently um it was just something that um paula and i guess i should give all the credit to her because she kind of kept keeps it going or kept it going before the you know before the pandemic um met once a month and it was all the same people well, but fine. it was on, but it was on meetup well mm -hmm. and, and the skeptics of the pub is kind of like about what some of the groups are doing that's about the equivalent they have the most organized groups the groups that are the biggest that are actually doing the most it's, it's interesting because I can remember when it used to be Atlanta, Georgia, and Bob Blaskowitz and Bob Blaskowitz and Tim Farley yes. were there. Remember those back in the day? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then Colorado, where they had they had uh, Brian and Baxter, and they had um, they had like a huge group of people in Colorado. They had uh, uh, Reed oh. East too. Who started skeptic camps yes and that was a powerhouse i believe boston was big at one time because when they had rebecca watson there that was before my time carl you might remember better than i do who who else was the big groups um capital area skeptics in washington dc which is still one of the bigger groups and oregonians from science and reason 
has really kept it up and there's jane right there she's part of that it's man that that group and it's janine all janine you know just <laughs> she's like i have no time to do anything i'm so busy and then i told her on wednesday i said Janine, I'm looking at the website for the affiliates and they have the wrong president's name on here, the wrong contact information for, for your group. And she's like, okay, let me take care of it. And she writes me back. Okay, I got taken care of. And I'm like, that's the management philosophy we need. The other groups, if I wrote to them and I said, hey, you guys, you have the wrong contact information here. They'd be like, okay, I'll get to it tomorrow or the next day. And it's like, Janine's like, done. She's like, I have no time. I'm always so busy. And I'm like, are you kidding, girl? You're going to get everything done. You're way ahead of everybody else. So Washington, D.C. Um, Does Los Angeles do any investigations? I know they do some testing. I Because I get the emails. I don't. I haven't. I, I haven't don't think so. Yeah. I will find out when I go. But okay. I don't, I don't think, well, I don't really won't go. I mean, find out, but no, I don't think there's, there's a, there's, I've got a list of, I think I've got 15 groups that are on my list of, okay, I'm going to spend a little more time with them, which is so Max is coming to Cyclone and so I'll, I'll pick his brain. Yeah, he'll be here. Yeah. He'll be there. I mean, um, yeah. so I'll be in LA, Kyle. I'm going to Kyle. I'm going to LA. Oh, well, I finally, I, I, I'm not going to have to make up date. Time. Yeah, it is December. It's a Sunday. I wonder if it's the day after the IIG. See if I, yeah, 18th. I hopefully will be able to get out to go see the St. Louis um, skeptics more often. Because and Ben Ben's over there too because it's uh, a group that's kind of all what they're looking for is groups going. Hey, hey, we want <laughs> we want some help. Hey, <laughs> help us out here. And that's what they're looking for is people who are who are willing to build it back. There's only a few groups, not very many. Hi, Ron. Everybody else is great out, so I'm not speaking to them until they turn their cameras on. I'm looking at you guys. Alan. Maybe I should start going out in real life. There's Alan. Hi, Alan. Well, you're gonna go to Psycon. Yeah, that's real life. Well, you'll find out when you're done with Psycon. When did do you prefer the Excuse me. You cut out on this. You're breaking up, Kyle. Breaking oh, I was asking. Do, do, do you prefer the metaverse? You mean Facebook? Or, or oh, Matt, I get it. Facebook. You say, <laughs> I don't instead of going out in real life, I don't know what the alternative is. I guess it would be going into this metaverse. Uh, no, do you know what? It, ha it has something to do with what, what we were talking about a few minutes ago, before you got into the. Um, into the Zoom room, which is that um, over the period of the pandemic, we got used to doing everything virtually. And um, it, I, I have broken out and done some things in real life. For example, Heather and Emery brought um, his mother, Emery's um, mom is visiting from Florida. Really? Yeah, and so they picked me up, and we went out for um, for lunch. Was it's yesterday? It feels like a million years ago, and um, and then occasionally uh, we've got Heather and I've gone to um, you know just out shopping and out for lunch, and it it, it feels very daring, whereas, um, you know, like six or seven years ago. We were on the run constantly, just always doing everything. All now time. we're really thinking about it. Well, and now we're, it's like this, this, you know, transition. Our lives have really changed. When in fact, um, there, uh, yeah, a lot for a lot of us, our lives hmm. have really changed. And part of it yeah. is, you know, growing older and becoming retired instead of working. And uh, and then plus with the pandemic and um, and it just it feels very daring and strange to go start doing those things over again. You know, you've been going out with um, DJ once a week for lunch, haven't you? And Thomas? Not once a week, but yeah, we we get together. And I mean, even that, 
you know, it's like a, it's, it's um, not quite like the before times, but it makes me feel like I have a real, you know, real life friends besides my family and Heather. She's family. Yeah. What are you talking about? Sister by, by another mother. <laughs> well, let's see who's here now. Look, there's Vincent. Hi, Vincent. Can you guys hear me? No, no, no not at all. And oh, hi, shit. Jamie. Okay, that's good. And hi, Ben. Good. This is so good to see you guys from all good. three different con three different countries represented in that those three different names I just mentioned right now. The United States and O Canada and Taiwan. O Canada? Uh, Thailand. I'm sorry, Taiwan. I, <laughs> I can write morning. letter of the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm worried about me. It must be lightning. I think we're having lightning again. Cool. We'll see. Is it no, gloomy no. outside? No. It you know, we we had um our, we get a newspaper delivered to our house. I know that seems weird. A real me. paper oh. newspaper? I've never stopped. I love getting the paper. You love the dead tree version, huh? I love the paper. And uh, so that's one of the ways I know what the weather's like, because if it arrives in a little plastic thing, I go, oh, it's raining or it's damp outside. And this morning it came in with like a, a damp thing on there, uh, you know, because it was damp. So that was interesting. Here comes Susie. Oh, well, look at that. I view. remember that a Sasquatch in that river? Looks like there's something. Some Almost there. certainly. Of course there is. I was such a sinner. I um I can remember I I always had the LA Times, which is not it's it's got a different feel from the New York Times. But um I can remember when I was younger getting up in the morning and getting the newspaper from the front porch and getting a cup of coffee in the kitchen and going and sitting out on the back porch in my bathrobe with a cup of coffee and a cigarette in the newspaper it was just like how did i live through that <laughs> <laughs> well maybe not the cigarette but that would be a perfect morning for me the, I, I i need to get myself a better routine but now i don't read the paper like like you said we used to you get up in the morning you make your breakfast you pay, take the paper yeah, the newspaper was my friend i i absolutely adore it there's there's something about getting into local newspaper i wouldn't get like the new york times or anything like that that'd be way too heavy and i just i know i could never get through all of it and uh, la times when i used to go down to see mark when he lived down in la i would uh, walk down to like a bakery and he would get it once like every sunday and i'd get the sunday paper it was a big old thick thing and i really enjoyed sitting there and reading that and getting like a cup of tea or something it's just something about I don't know, taking it and you fold it and you unfold it and you hold it and you go like, look at this, look at this. Yeah, an iPad mini. You rip it out. <laughs> it's, it's totally different whenever it's online. I mean, I do read the New York Times and the Washington Post online and another local paper, but I don't know. Cartoons, oh my gosh. How do you guys keep up? Well, actually, I read my cartoons. Look. Get the comics every morning. That's why I start every day. See, look, there they are. Jeez. Ron, you 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 told got, me you you follow Luann, right? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Are you up to date? I you watched mean, it at ten. Uh, about the about the manse. Yeah. What do you think? Something's going to happen to her. Somebody's going to be there, or what? I'm all. I'm so glad she got out of that dorm room. I I hate Stephanie with with like the the all caps. I can't stand <laughs> her. She's she's. I want to punch her so much. She's awful. And then that, and then bats with her constant, oh, let me film this. Oh, let me put this up. Hey, everybody. And then, and what's the other one's name? Des? De Des. I don't who's... like her either. She's like, oh, new agey stuff. They're She's all, all new, all new agey. Yep. This is I only can't... slightly more interesting to me than if someone was discussing the, the uh, royal, uh, the royals in the UK. Yeah. We're talking about the newspaper. So you shush. Yeah. I'm talking to Ron. I, so, right. um, I've, I've, I've been following a whole lot, but bunch of web web comics, but uh, but not story comics, right? Um, I like web comics too. Uh, Susan oh, um, okay. Romero is texting me. He said uh, he asked me if the trivia is on today. Uh, I said of course, <laughs> of course. He said Facebook is not letting me see the link, and it's set to start at ten thirty our time. 
What? Oh, not that again. <laughs> Was he, is he I, in Newfoundland? I, 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 I'm, oh, yeah, I see it now. Okay, so what happens is, and Carl will explain this to you. Carl, can you explain that to him while I... Well, I don't care. Tell, tell Romero. Uh, I'll do it right now. <clears throat> Carl? Yeah, I'm making my debut. Make sure he gets here. I don't, I don't really know what happens. I just know that it, every time you create the thing, the time ends up getting screwed up, not what you set it to. Yeah, so I Off must have like forgot, two hours. I forgot to change it. So what happens is when I create the the um, the new Facebook link, uh, you know, the new event, what and this happened, what, like maybe eight weeks ago or something, Carl? Something like something that. Something like right? that. It just started happening. Just started happening. So you go, Carl. Through, you put your... Um, Hi, puppy. And let me see if I can fix it real quick. Okay. Carl, say I don't know way. again. I find it soothing. <laughs> I've been using the same link for like two years. I can't. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I don't change it. I'm afraid to. But, but if you're pulling it from, <laughs> hi, Terry, if you're pulling it from Facebook, it's the same link. It's always been. Oh. When I create the link, when I create the, create game, the Facebook event. Yeah. When I create the Facebook event, everything's perfect. The time is correct. And then when I hit make live, you know, publish, it adds um, two hours to it. So <clears> then I have to, so if I go in and edit it, it, it I fix it and then it adds two more hours to it. So now think, what I have to do is change it to two hours later. I think in your profile, you can put where you are. So maybe you have the wrong place for where you are in Facebook. I looked all over and I cannot figure it out. And Carl yeah. has to fix it. Or I have to change the time to some crazy just two hours bookmark later. it. Then you don't have to worry about it. I don't yeah, even go I to do. Facebook. I yeah, just I, click I, the I, link in my browser and it talks right, to right, I have Romero, a meeting. Romero found it, so he's here. Yeah, I, I have a I well. have a desktop icon. I click on that, it takes me right yeah, in. So I don't care about any of their stuff. Yeah, so maybe the a, easiest thing is for us to all switch to the other time. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Who was saying something? Was that Jane? Well, yeah, I, I don't know how you all get to it from Facebook because like I click that I'm going on the Facebook event, but then it won't let me in until 630 when the event begins. And so the only way I get in now early is to just click a Zoom link that you, Susan, had given me that I just saved the yeah. Zoom. Uh, I don't know how you guys get in on mm -hmm. Facebook. Uh, this is, yeah, Interesting. I, don't I don't even know on, where on Facebook the link would be. I just, like I, I said, it's, it's on the desktop and I just use that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's weird because the time. So I just opened it up right now. I just opened it and it says it starts at 930. That's why you can't get in. Romero couldn't have gotten in. Mine um, starts you... at 1030 because I'm actually on the East Coast right now visiting on the East Coast. I don't Coast. see you. It says 1030. So I've just changed it to 630. And so we're on the East Coast. I changed are you? it and now it says 430. I am in the deep south right now. I'm in Tennessee. Uh, so you haven't gotten that's not east yet. Coast. Oh, that's right. Oh. Tennessee's no. not the deep south. That's, that's not east coast either. That's the well, upper south. It's not the coast, but the if, exact. if you haven't been rained on for the last four days, you have not been on the east coast. No, it's been yeah. really nice here. I've been here for a week. My, not to be a downer. Um but my dad died last Tuesday. Oh. So I've oh, been God. here. Um, We're having a bad run of luck in this group lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've been here, I'm in a hotel, that's the background. Um, and the weather's been really nice and the people are really nice. And um, so I thought I was going to meet my hillbilly relatives that I didn't you know, know anything about. And so I met them and they're all very intelligent, wonderful people who are very liberal. And uh, so I've been doing <laughs> that. Um, so yeah. I wonder what they thought they were going to meet with you. Yeah. Remember, these are all the ones who voted for Al Gore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I went back to Arkansas a few years ago and as an adult to really, uh, same kind of thing. What am I going to find? I mean, I've known these relatives before, but not as a like an adult adult without my mom there. And, you know, I was really surprised that a lot of them were really educated, yeah. very liberal, Democrat, uh, mm -hmm. you know, even though they they're religious. But they I, I was yeah. very I was like, wow, several of my my relatives have master's degrees in sciences and stuff. And I was like, 
this is amazing. One of them though, when I got, when I was talking to my aunt and uncle, I mentioned dousing and they almost blew their top because that's real. <laughs> Did they do it? Did they do it? They didn't do it in front of me, but that they said, there's no way you're going to convince us, Susan. Well, I mean, that but is, do they, that do, is real. do they think they can douse? Well, that's everybody douses. You you need to find some water. You got to do something. Yeah, you go pick I mean, up. I mean, there are people stick. who are really into it, and you so go they, pick up a stick and you, you could and not you go out and you douse they, they and you dig it. your hole there and don't try to tell me that that ain't real. And they also believe yeah. that um, <laughs> in dousing and knowing if it's a male or a female in the grave underneath. Mm. And I thought, and you know, I've I've asked. So how do you know? What if it's non-binary? Yeah. If, well, they uh, say. Well, these aren't even marked graves. These are places in the, they're going out with their sticks and in a farm and they say there's graves here and it's a male. And and it, and you if you ask them, how do you know? They say, because the sticks told me. No, how do you know there is a body there? Did you dig it up? Oh. No, no, I wouldn't dig it up. What are you, are you crazy? <laughs> that would be a lot of work. I'm like, are you how, crazy? How do yeah. would you know? There is a body there, and that it's female the from its energy. Me so. From its energy. Oh, and I'm like, uh, and energy's it's, like from what? And they're like from the movement of from the way the dirt's been dug up. I'm like, so like, how do you know it's not an animal? How do you know it's not like the plow whip by it? How are you going to prove them wrong? I, I was. Well, I, was I just thought, made him think about it. Well, that's actually an easy thing to do. I always thought dead is short of digging it up. I you, 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 you get a plot of land and you bury a few things in different places that you know and ask them to find them. Bob, you what know are you trying to say? Is that I always thought dead was a pretty low energy state. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I guess there's you, a lot of lowly organisms down there. Well, yeah, but like he's well, they're not dead like a hundred years ago. No, they <laughs> aren't dead. Well, well they've moved on. on if we're going to look at all the worms they've moved on. Yeah, how do you know you're they've not been resurrected the to, the to a little worm to a little worm up. heaven they've moved on but the, so it turns funny. out the worm is female yeah. <laughs> so yeah okay so well, hi, aren't Cindy, worms hi, from Becky, hi faith hi, Romero, hi jane yeah caspian janine terry oh it's so good to see you guys here thank you for coming and hanging out with me uh, what was the deal so with good. the start time today? The start time, it wouldn't let me in because it said you're starting. Uh, yeah, we already we're have, have a conversation. Conversation. category. We're going to have to make up 10 That's questions for a category. What, yeah. what the hell is wrong with the start time? It's, yeah. There was something wrong with Facebook and I didn't we catch it. I usually fix it every time. Every time I make a re an account, uh, uh, an event, every time the, the, the time changes from what I put in. And so I have to go in and change the time to two hours later so that it will change to the correct time. But the last time I did this, I forgot to change the time. This, this would be a bonus category. They'll put like 10 of the different shows and 10 different starting times and you have to match them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on what, what area of the world you're in right now. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get- And, and mono rules on top of that. Mo and mono, yeah, and mono yeah. rules, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Peggy, Peggy, Peggy's got something coming up. I do. And Peggy, check let me, it out. Let me share. Who's going to be in town? Who's going to be in town? Who's guess who's going to be in town? Somebody going to tell Peggy who's going to be in town? Uh, us. Yes. <laughs> no, Faith <laughs> Ramiro. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Okay, here's your invite. Your engraved invitation is on the screen. Anybody's invited. Just you got to let me know ahead of time so I can have a nervous breakdown if 30 people are coming. <laughs> we're, we're still trying to decide because we're so, supposed to be in Yosemite around that time. So yeah, yeah. well How that's we probably to... a that's a better idea. <laughs> So, how much do we want to socialize, or how much do I want to be caught up in the world of Ansel Adams? Yeah, you can do both. Mm -hmm. Just bring your dowsing rod. That'll get you to, to the world of yes. animal items. Mm -hmm. That was a good pun, Peggy. Where, Where is the waterfall? Yeah. I, I, I'd like to know what, what shotgun trivia is. Like manufacturers, gauges of the shotgun. Like you get it wrong, they shoot you. Yeah, we. you get shot if you get it wrong. It's just kind of we're going to pepper interspersed throughout the event, kind of like a shotgun. 
She's gonna walk up to you and she's gonna yeah, say, what shotguns "What's do? the capital of of Saint uh, Louis?" You know, you're having a nice New conversation. Orleans. I'll interrupt it with. What's capital. the capital of New Orleans? Of, of, of uh, Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. Paul Rouge. And if you don't come up with it, then you go. <laughs> then it goes. Whoa! like the person on the bridge be careful you're ruining my category oh capital of new orleans is bourbon street <laughs> well anyway oh. so we'll find out so i'm excited oh. that somebody else is having a party oh. and i got invited to it usually i have to have the party so that i can get invited to them nonsense nobody nonsense nobody invites people right. to parties anymore they have to, you have to you have to throw your own nobody Especially goes to parties like anymore they're too crowded <laughs> yeah I don't Yogi Berra, so. pray Yogi Berra. Yeah. All right, where are you, Ron? I'm here. I cannot find you. You are second. You've got to be in the second. I'm one. right here. I'm right here. Am I first? Oh, I oh you using the name Billy Joel. No wonder you. I'm going to smack you. Okay, Peggy. All right, I'll change it back. Punish oh, the transgressor. What? <laughs> no fun at parties either. No fun at parties either. I'm in no fun at parties either. Yeah, that's from the whole interview. Thank you for keeping that on the, keeping that close. Caspi, <laughs> what'd you say? I said punish the transgressor. Oh. He violated the Billy Joel Accord. I fixed it. <laughs> I tried to revoke the Billy Joel Accord, but yeah. it seems more popular than I thought. <laughs> I like that you did penance. That makes me laugh. I. It just occurs to me that Billy Joel is indestructible. We mention him several times every every night. <laughs> every Thursday. And, and we're, we're, put, we're pushing it though. Be, be, oh my God! What if something happens? Oh my gosh, guys! Don't. Do we should that. all learn more about every, each other's interests. Yeah, that's true. We'll see what happened, yeah. Jane. Before you got here, somebody killed Betty White. I think it was Peggy. Yeah. The what? night before, Thursday yeah. night, yeah, Friday morning. She said yeah. something about Betty White and was she dead and or something. What was the last Peggy? time I checked? She last said time the I last checked. time Thank I you. checked. Thank you. This conversation is sounding a little conspiratorial. Just like a bit. The, uh, oh. Is that like the crack? Is that like the crack about? Uh, and this this just in Francisco Franco is still dead. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, so the news is so the breaking news. After. If you guys haven't seen the breaking news, and I want to make sure everybody's sitting down. You're all sitting down. Talking about Vegas or Thailand? Uh, the Queen is still dead. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Breaking news from New York Times says that. Oh that. They don't think Trump turned over all the papers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever really think he had? You don't say. He didn't really? flush him down the toilet. Oh, he's maybe they might them. be in the sewer. Maybe he's trying maybe to eat them all. That's why. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Yeah. How could that be breaking news? <laughs> no be, yeah. Because the media needs clicks. Yeah. And I just mentioned it so obviously. It, 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 Instead of the jo Donald John Trump uh, presidential library, it's the Donald. Uh, uh, Trump uh, John Library. <laughs> I think it's going to be the Donald J. Trump Federal Correctional Facility. Ooh. Oh, good one. Mm -hmm. That was unfair. I was just taking a sip of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, go to your rooms. Play nice. Don't have to wear masks anymore room. if you don't want to. <laughs>
Nice to have you all back. Well, uh, Susan, it's a good, it's a good thing that I didn't uh, pay for for a trip to Las Vegas this year. What happened? My car what just happened? cost me twenty one hundred dollars. So. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, new tires, new brakes and rotors. But, and but, but Ben, you could, have, you could have won that in you know slot machine and paid oh, for it. Oh, there you go. I know. <laughs> I, I could have gotten really lucky. Yeah. He oh, yeah. That. oh, that's a bummer. I know. Started out with a flat tire that turned into a, I need a lot more than that. But it makes sense. I knew, I knew my brakes were pretty bad. But Well, Gail can tell you all about a new car. Yeah. yeah. I just bought a new car. I still have to learn how to use it. Oh, oh wow. it's got all kinds of new stuff on it. Yeah, we're well, so talking about it. We didn't get a name until the last second. Oh, Gail, I just made you go oh, gossiping. Seriously, who did I just let in? I let in Robin. Me. Hi, Robin. Me too. Hi, Robin. And there's Steve Miller, the Joker. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to change my name. Oh, we get to change it for you. I'm a huge Steve Miller fan, so we can. Um, that was a category I did a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Paula says she doesn't think she's going to make it. This girl. Oh, wow. doing categories tonight. She's working on um, all sorts of stuff. Robin is going to do a category. I got to make sure I put you in room four. So whoever's in room four is going to have Robin in it. So we've got Bob who's doing a category now i wanted to remind you guys if you are having problems with cut and paste and all that kind of stuff just email it to me you can send it to me through private messenger you can send it to my email which is susan gerbic at gmail or yahoo whatever you want to use um, not including the answers just saying because she's on no, your I don't team care so if they do or not because i'm not <laughs> no i opened it up bob sent me the, his and it opened and I said, enclosed. And that's all I did. I just said, yeah, it opens. So I don't even know what the category is. I'm not looking at it. But yeah, the, if you're going to put the answers, put them somewhere else so I won't see them. So that's always possible if you're having problems. So Bob is going to lead us off. And then I think we have a new person. Ron, are you, this is your first time, right? This is my my first time. You got volunteered last week. That's great. Yep. See who we're going to volunteer next. And so, if you don't like what I did, Blame Avi. He's the one who vetted it for me. Uh, no, we'll he, blame him. He's got a bad track record. 0 for 1 so far. So we'll see. Yeah. Right. So um, remember the rules. We have to be really nice to Ron this time. So we have um, to be nice. Yeah. Just this time. Really? Oh, yeah. No. And then Peggy, I have you up third. Okay. <laughs> and Robin, you're in fourth. You know that, right? Okay. And Rob, you're doing bonus. And I don't have anybody for next week. So just saying, that'll be October 13th. So keep that in mind. All right. So let's get these team names because that's you can always- me down for a round next week. Okay. We what have, um, did I hear somebody else? So you can tank your team next time, Carl? Mm -hmm. The, the yes, round that you do with your team. own team is yes. always rash. Okay. Okay. That's how it always works. Okay, so um, before you guys got on here, before anybody, I hit record and I told the recording what I thought your team names were going to be all focused on this week. So I'm really curious to see if that's what it is. And so I, I made my prediction ahead of time. So you're so, saying for being recorded? Yeah. Oh, Good. cool. Yeah, I'm not going to do it this time. You just did. No, <laughs> you thought I did. Oh, oh, okay. So, <laughs> all right. So team one, that's going to be Bob, Janine, Kyle, Terry, and Vincent. What's your team name tonight? Concussions, abortions, family values, so my. <laughs> okay, that, that satisfied one of the ones I said that would be on there to, um, of the names. I didn't specifically get that name. I just got that right topic. Okay. Cassian, Faith, and Romero. Jim and Ron, who are you tonight? Elon Musk, please just go to Mars. <laughs> oh, I didn't no. get that category. That, that's good. Okay, let's see. I've got a few people I haven't put on teams yet, right? Uh, he is such a dude. I'm not on a team. Yeah, I didn't put Vincent and I didn't put... Um, what? Vincent, I didn't I'm get on a team. team. And Kevin, I didn't get a team. No, I'm on a team. 
Oh yeah, you're first. Okay, so I'll put Kevin on the last He's one. with us. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just said your name. Duh. Cindy, Jamie, Jane, Peggy. We are abortions for nobody except my mistress. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Alan, oh, Ben, Carl, okay. and Robin will be on your team. Definitely a theme tonight. We are uh Ben Soda is shaken, not stirred. Uh I didn't get that one out. because it may have uh just exploded on me a few minutes ago when I opened it. <laughs> Why I don't know because it's not like I was shaking it. But... Oh, well, it sounds like a personal. Oh, problem. I thought you did that because they announced there's going to be a new bond. No, uh, no, my soda actually like is exploded it be a woman all this over time? me. Uh, I don't think so. How about a little mermaid? I don't think so. <laughs> and last but not least, Gail, Rob. Susie, Wendy, and Kevin. We're Gail from Florida, up so it's row, row, row your boat. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I got the Herschel Walker. I thought for sure we were going to have that. I thought we'd have something with Mar-a-Lago, and I thought we'd have something with Russia. I think it's oh, the, the, ours is Herschel Walker. Yeah, so we got two pe teams that came up with Herschel Walker themes. The Elon Musk one is based on Russia. Sort of, yeah. But I didn't, in my mind. Well, but th three of them are about abortion in some way, so. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, they are. So um, is there anybody I didn't put on it? I didn't call on a team? I'll know in a minute. I'll know in a minute. Okay, so sounds great. So here we are tonight. Tonight, my unconventional convention. Mm. Anybody know what that's from? Um. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh -huh. All right. So tonight we have October 6th, 2022. We have five teams that are vying out for game number 128, season <coughs> three, episode number 19 of season three, which is amazing. No, 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 19. 19. We are here tonight to see who is going to be the winner and champions of game 128, which will never happen ever again. And we are on the eve of many events coming up in the world, but the most important ones that are coming up are, I'm going to Sacramento tomorrow. So anybody gonna be in the area, come and see in Sacramento and then Saigon coming up in a couple of weeks. So everything's all like, I'm already there. Wendy was, she came on and she started talking about Saigon and I'm like, let's talk about Saigon. Lots of exciting, fun things happening. So the teams we have tonight are Concussions, abortions, family values. Oh my! I guess I should do that like something from Wizard of Oz. Huh? And then team number two, Elon Musk. Please just go to Mars. Oh my gosh, that man. Uh, number team number three, abortions for nobody except my mistress. Versus team Ben Soda is shaken, not stirred. Versus row, row, row your boat. So. Let's see who's going to be the champion tonight. I have no idea. I have no foreknowledge. I cannot see the future. I am not psychic. And okay. nobody is. So neither is anyone else. So we're gonna, yeah. So you let's see how we're you, you can't douse the uh who's gonna be the winter winner, huh? What what if Thomas John wanted to play trivia oh, with us? Sure. Would you let him play? We can't mirror. He would yeah, predict he all the scores though. Anything. I can and imagine by, all the names, the two names we would come up with if Thomas so, John was playing. Are we ready? You can First put him on a team by himself. Am, am I yeah, ready? We'll put him on a team by himself and we'll say, talk to the ghosts. Since you already know all the answers, you know. Well, uh, First time we get a perfect spot. Silly, Susan, you're silly. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> How does it work? That's like you asking when they say it doesn't work like that. I say, well, how does it work? Okay. So Any way Bob, you don't ask about. Bob, oh, Gail, did you hear that I made you the person in charge of trolls and letting people in and meeting people? No, I didn't. I will do it. Okay. So Bob is up first. I'm going to be posting the, the questions <laughs> from his Word document that he gave me. And so, Bob, can you tell us what the category is? Yes. My category is the filmography of George Carlone. Yes. <laughs> Who said that? Me, because he's my favorite and I know this. Oh, okay. Ready, Ready to mute. 
One, two, three. Susan, you are muted, but I see your mouth moving. Bob, Bob you're, muted. you're muted, Bob. Unmute, Bob. Okay, so I'm going to just post these in. I hope I fell. Know. I fell for it. You're going to okay. read it, though. I'm not... Yeah. Go for it. Number one. Yes, number one, 1968. Carlin plays Herbie Fleck, a wisecracking drive in manager in this romantic comedy starring, Dor starring Doris Day and Brian Keith who play a widow and widower who, after a brief romance, marry without consulting their four children. I just realized how long that sentence was. The children are unified in their opposition. Hijinks ensue. What is, this, what is the title of this film? An option from a Chinese restaurant menu. I'll wait for it. I'm waiting for it to show up in the chat. Oh, I, I, sorry. I was just putting the, the in my spreadsheet, just but, like, do, 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 try not to read them as the, I went. The title, the title of the movie is a thing that you might see on a restaurant menu, a Chinese restaurant menu. Okay. Number two. Carlin plays a taxi driver in this comedy about the hijinks filled day about a, a hijinks filled day of the employees of an automotive service business. Name the movie. Okay, you already got it. Number three, 1979. That, was, that one was 1976. 1979. Carlin narrates this over the top comedy set in 1998. The president, John Ritter, decides to hold a televised fundraiser to save a bankrupt USA. Provide the one word title of this movie. Okay. Number four, 1987. Carlin plays Frank Madras, an alcoholic drifter in this action crime comedy, starring Bette Midler and Shelley Long. They play two aspiring actresses who discover they had been involved with the same man after hearing of his death in an explosion. They unexpectedly arrive at the morgue at the same time and, that, and discover that the body is not his. They conclude that he had faked his death, set aside their mutual ha hatred, and set off on a cross-country search for the truth. High drinks ensue. What is the title of this movie? Which is derived from a line, uh, from a line from one of Shakespeare's most famous plays. Okay, number five, 1989. In Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, what is the name of Carlin's character, a time time traveler from the future who enlists the boys' help to secure the future? You didn't put hijinks in Sue. <laughs> yeah. No hijinks. Mix, no hijinks. Mix it up. A lot of hijinks, actually. Yeah. Number six, 1991. What is the title of the sequel to number five in which Carlin reprises his role? Number seven, 1991. Carlin plays Eddie Dutraville in this romantic drama directed by Barbara Streisand, who also stars along with Nick Nolte. Nolte's character travels to New York to assist his sister psychiatrist, Streisand, in his sister's treatment. They begin to develop romantic feelings toward each other. Hijinks ensue. Just kidding. What is the title of this <laughs> film? I thought that would work. <laughs> you called it, Rod. OK, number eight. 1990. Nine, in the Kevin Smith film Dogma, what procedure had Carlin's character performed on a piece of sports equipment which made it an effective weapon against its intended target? Okay, okay. number nine, 2001. In this Kevin Smith film, Carlin plays a hitchhiker 
who introduces the two main characters to the unwritten book of the road and subsequently demonstrates his commitment to the rule contained therein. What is the title of this film? Low Jinx and Sue. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about that in Sue. Is it and Sue? Not, oh, never mind. E N S U E. Did I not? Yeah, E N S U E. Okay. Number 10. Oh, you're right. I'm wrong. Okay. Number 10, 2003. In the hijinks riddled Scary Movie 3, Carlin parodies a character who appears in the second and third installments of another movie franchise. The character's title is the same for both the original and the parody. Name the franchise, the title of the first, the first movie, first installment. Okay. I thought Carlin was just a comedian. I didn't know he was in any movies. I'm going to be no help. <laughs> I pity the fool who has me in group one. <laughs> he, he was on a TV show too, or well, more than one. I have no idea. I mean, the guy said, I was raised a good Christian Baptist girl. We weren't going to be watching no George Carlin. Let me tell you, he cusses. He swears. Oh, here comes I have seven, seven words, you can't say. Seven yeah. deadly words. Okay, let's well, play it Mike yeah. over here. All right. All right, put it to the rooms. No questions? I think it makes sense. Oh, Terry, I don't have you. I have done my job. Well formatted. Oh, no, you're in room one. Yeah. Okay, you are. I need a room two. Okay, there it is. Oh, yeah, there you go. Deborah's here. Oh, I didn't see Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Mike, I have to, gonna go I have to leave and come back on my phone. Okay, Mike, you're going into three. You are in... Abortions for nobody except my mistress, Mike. Robin, okay. you're going to be in. Ben Soda is shaken, not stirred. That's four. And Deborah, where are we going to put Deborah? Let's put Deborah in. Let's also put her over there. So I give everybody a room. And Bob, you can move around. If you want. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to your room and be absolutely zero help. <laughs> as as mm -hmm. uh, as is normal. I think Michael. Really, but I would know more about that. I'm here so to not help guys, at all. Can you guys see the screen? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get rid of something. That's the I know what that is. Uh Maybe we can figure it out together. <laughs> together. Does anybody know anything? Or is this, does it just He's turn out? That... He's a I saw yeah, two of I, these movies I, and I, I can't remember the name of them. You're kidding. You're no. kidding. You guys don't know these? Because I don't know them. And yeah, I I'm thought gonna... for sure everybody would know them. No. So who's the ringer um, here? Is that you, Kyle? No, not on this. Oh. Janine? <laughs> sure. I go to the oh, movies every own, night. It's his own team, too. Vincent? I know some of these. Oh, so good. Just look at it. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Vincent, I'm going go, to go to make dinner or something while you. We need you, out. Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> I assume the one on Dogma, when I would assume he baptizes it or puts holy water on it or something. Uh, which one? Susan, which, did you, which, did you put Susan? Did you put Kevin in the room? That because I got the notice. I guess. Yeah, I put him in. Okay, um, you got him. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, I, he's I five. Okay. I mean, look. Yeah, he's gone. So Bob, Vincent's the only person who knows any of these. I think. So it's all and he knows a couple. <laughs> Go I'm ahead, Vincent. Sorry. Pick pick the ones you know. Yeah, really. Start there. So when you make the sign of the cross on, what are you doing? Like your bless. Genuflex, I think it's called. Let, no, let. that's kneeling. Genuflex oh. is kneeling. Okay. Uh, making the sign of the cross is blessing. Blessing. So he made a blessing. Made blessing. So he blessed it. Blessed. Yeah, he blessed it. Yes. Okay, let me read these over. Maybe in the off chance I've heard of something. Let's see. 
he could have baptized it or did he throw um, water on it? I like Brian, um, Keith and Doris Day. Doris Day was something else. Yeah, he that was it. way long time ago. He blessed it. I've never heard of this. I never saw it. Two main characters to the unwritten book of the road. Oh, what's the name of the film then? Oh, the wait, same wait. film yeah. is the next one. The next one's the same film. Wait, I know this scene, oh, no. in fact. Um, 2001. What one are we on? This, no. this is J9. J and Silent Bob Strike Back. Uh, oh, yes. yeah. What? J and Silent Bob Strike Back. It's 1976. Bob. Is question two um, the, the where they wash the cars, car wash? No. Uh, let's go back to let's see. The car wash, yeah. No, oh, that's too old. 76. Remember, oh, 76. Oh, oh, that could be it. 1960. Automotive service business. I guess that would be a car wash. It could be, right? He's a taxi driver. But it wouldn't be on a Chinese restaurant menu. No, I know no, that's, that's a different too. one. Oh. Maybe. Maybe it's car wash. Car wash number two. Maybe. Seventy-nine or how long? John Ritter is the president. One word. I never saw it. I don't even know what that would be. I've never heard of it. Oh, five, I think, is Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Oh, that's great. Yes. That's awesome. Oh, that's number six. Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, oh. I said five. Six is the character. Number four know. sounds really good. Oh, it was. It was a great movie. I may have even seen it twice, and Which I can't one? remember. It was... Ah, you've seen it. You're in, you're in trouble if you don't know this. I don't know it. I would know it if I heard it. It's a movie. Tell me what. I, tell me what happens. I mean, besides um, what happens. Well, they're really mad at each other, and then well, if he he said everything that I remember. I've never heard of this. Oh yeah, it was it was. I like that meddler. Oh, I never, I hated, I hated movies like that. Yeah, it was very formulaic. Uh, it was, it was not, well, down, maybe, it was not down and out in Beverly Hills, but that was another one. Yeah. For number one, maybe we could figure out, is that a one word, that's not an option from Chinese restaurant menu. Maybe we could just choose an option from a Chinese. How about fortune no. cookie? Fortune cookie. That's okay, okay, so it's not a one word title, this um, one. Um, no, what no. about noodles? Or noodles? Wait, that's, or... Is that a one word menu? One word? I'm no, sure that's a different. The one word thing is someplace else. I think it's this. Wasn't or, there a movie? The that one word. I think fortune cookie is a good guess because I vaguely remember hearing oh, something called fortune cookie. So do cookie. I. I might have had more to it in the title than fortune cookie, but I remember something about it too. That fits the category of what we're talking about. Yeah. Although fortune cookies aren't usually on the menu. They're just brought out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're overthinking it like a sky. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to kick myself when, when when we get number four. Well, at least you have, <laughs> you have an idea. Which one's a one word. One of them says one word. Three. Oh, that's three. Yeah. That's number three. Oh, I remember this movie. Really? I did. Number four. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Do you remember uh, it? Yeah, they uh they discovered it was the same guy. Yes. And they saw him naked on yes. the on the slab there. Yeah. One guy he just what? Do you yeah. remember? <laughs> it was a very they discovered who he was by the size of his member. Yeah. That was hilarious. It was the title <laughs> of it. Yeah. Um, and what was the name of it? That's all that matters. Uh, it's very Shakespearean. Name some Shakespearean plays. Oh, well, it yeah, but it's not the name of the play. It's a line from one I of Shakespeare. I should do about nothing? Yeah, but that's the name. Oh, of the okay. play. A, a line. We don't want the name of a Shakespearean play. We right. want a line to from be, To be or not to be. To be or not to be. No. Um, a rose by any other name could smell the same. Rose. Rose was... Uh, Oh, no, that was a different movie. They that were, was they, a different movie, yeah. I yeah, know remember that movie where there were Rose and there were twins? Yeah, yeah. But that was Bette Midler and Ruth Buzzy. Who's Ruth Buzzy? What's her name? Ruth Buzzy? Yeah. The actress. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We need the title and I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember either. And Bill and Ted's excellent invention. Something wicked this way comes. No, yeah, it's pretty simple. Did you know five fits in Bill and Ted's excellent it's, it's, adventure? It's starting to come to me. Um, God, it's been so long. God, these are old. Um, shit. Rufus? No, not Rufus. Maybe. Um, good. It, I know it was an unusual name. Very I've been, it was, yes. Yeah. Uh, like the name, name a kid makes up for somebody from the future. Yeah, yeah. What was the Shakespearean thing line I gave before I gave the rose? I gave you something else. It was um much ado about nothing. Yeah, for some reason. It's ringing a bell. Hmm. Boy, I just I cannot remember that movie though. The nineteen eighty. Breaking of my thumb. No. God, it was hilarious. It was. I know. I know. Oh. <laughs> just, I do me. remember that part too of like I know I want to know not him and then the like the guy that crosses the bodies or the police or something he's just cracking up yeah uh, I think I'd like to watch this one yeah no, uh, it doesn't it was, sound my style it was, pretty, <laughs> it was pretty funny but again not really my style either Mine neither, but it was still funny. Yeah. I'm not really a big fan of um, Bette Miller. And I love that. Okay. I love Bette Miller. Mm. I know. It's odd. Lupus? I don't know. Mm. Well, let's put it there till we think of it. Something yeah. better. Yeah. A one word movie, one word title, bankrupt. No, maybe. No, that's silly. It'd probably be something like telethon, telethon, telethon network. Caspian just showed me network. I've never seen it before. Good movie. It was good. I had thought I heard the how how it ended, and so it gets. To, I thought he died whenever he was in the in there screaming, you know, at the screaming out the windows and stuff. I thought that that's when he died, and that he had held himself hostage there for days and hours and stuff, and they were trying to get him out, and that's how he died. So when he's in there yelling and he's like, "Go out to the window and scream this," and I'm like waiting for him to die, and he doesn't <laughs> die. And I'm like, "Well, wait, that's how it's supposed to end." Gas is like, "What?" 
I didn't remember. I I'd never heard the ending. So when the ending happened, I was shocked. I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's how it ends. Okay. I had no idea. Oh, this is from 1979. Yeah. That's what's throwing me off. One word title. Uh, I have no idea. Well, nobody watches them in the year. We all yeah. watch them later. Um, it's not true. The only time I would hear about them is when I drive past the movie theater and they're up on the uh, sign. All right. That one's yours. <laughs> I don't think I drove around in 1979. 79, I was in high school. You know, I had I yeah. had a baby. You were in high school in 79? Yeah, I was a junior. God, I could barely walk in 1979. <laughs> oh, thanks. I was a new mother. Very young. Okay, so what would have been on TV or in the movies in 19 when I was in high school? I was in high school the too. This was on. That was well, that a little was... bit earlier. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little I, earlier. I missed this whole thing. I I yeah. didn't even know George Carlin had done a movie. So I'm I really out. I didn't know he did one with a president, John Ritter. I remember the I remember Car Wash. I might have seen it twice. It was really a thing, you know? They had all the cool disco music. I remember that. Well, one word for number three, there's not many words that would fit the scenario. You've got bankrupt, uh, auction, telethon, um, sale, telethon, um, help, help, bust. Um, I don't know. There's not many. Sale. Donate. Donate. Um, televised fundraiser. You know, I haven't asked my husband any of these. Oh, why don't you go ask John? He could really help use his help tonight. Pick one of these ones or two. Maybe he'll know number four. Ask Trask. He might know. Or Puppy. <laughs> I was trying to come up with Shakespeare play Shakespeare lines and maybe it would ring a bell. It might. So let's it, see. It's a famous Shakespearean play too. So, I mean, is that really telling us a lot? Aren't they all? <laughs> uh, oh, that's a good point. Okay, so to be or not to be. What's a line in Macbeth? Or et tu brute? I thought of that one too. And I can't stand Shakespeare, so I'm I've come, it's hard for me. I think you I'm can't stand poetry. Shakespeare. Uh, I don't like poetry. Oh. Either. Mm -hmm. Well, now I know what I'm going to do for the next few. You no, know. oh. <laughs> yeah, then I'm going to be on your team, and right. that will happen. You pick things I do just what's know happening about. here. Same thing that's happening here. Uh. Jeopardy for number two. No, number three. Jeopardy? Yeah, could be. Was there was the TV show Jeopardy wasn't around, was it? Let's see what Janine says. She's oh, it here. certainly was. What you, what you got, Janine? John said he had heard of George Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> well, he fits right in. Kyle, go run in the house and ask Linda if she knows any. Oh, that's how. That's For sure, how. she does not. No. I would be surprised if she knew who Carlin was. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't feel too bad. She seems like a pretty hip lady. I would think she'd know him. She has big gaps in pop culture. Oh. She grew out in, grew up in an immigrant house. Oh, how interesting. So she didn't have that experience of watching. Um, interesting. What do you think of Jeopardy? I'll go <laughs> yeah, with it. I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, no. Please tell me it's not going to. What? Oh, I've got them all written down, Vincent. If something happens, oh, good, because I've, I've written down everything that you've written down. Yeah, come on. So I've got so I've got, I've got you back. Dynasty. Now. Yeah, because my computer might suddenly just shut oh. off. Oh, Dynasty was a, a soap opera, right? Yeah, 
Yeah. Or something. It was on TV. It had nothing to do with George Carlin. Well, Carlin I, I wasn't an airplane, was he? Could have been. I don't remember a thing with the president, but no. that's a one word that right is in the time word. period. Is that the right era? 79? I think yeah. so. Yeah, it is. Put airplane, that's better than Jeopardy. I like airplane. I, I don't think it's right, but at least it feels like a better guess. Somehow <laughs> less wrong, even though that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it counts. It counts to us. Okay. We, we filled the blank. We switched it to um, airplane. Title of famous right. movie. Uh, okay. I mean, I it sort it. of sounds like the 79. Oh. Well, we did lose. We him. lost we them. But I've got everything go. written down. We need number cool. four. We okay. need number four. Shakespeare. Come on, you guys. You know your Shakespeare. It says Not the most all. famous plays. So it's got to be Romeo and Juliet. Mm. Okay, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet is some Hamlet. lines from Romeo and Juliet. The oh, Catholics. Romeo and Juliet isn't necessarily Hamlet. Hamlet, uh, yeah, Hamlet. Okay, so give us a line from Hamlet. <laughs> Janine, All Macbeth. I know about Hamlet is there's a skull in it. Macbeth? Well, give us a line. Give you a line? We need a yeah. line. A famous I line. You know, I don't Shakespeare. remember. You're educated and everything. Yeah. You know, I took a year of Shakespeare in 1969. There That's better go. than me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 69 okay. and 70. Okay, let's think. Let's think. We can do this, you guys. I don't, I can't stand Shakespeare, but I know some lines. We all do. It's just cultural. What, yeah. But as you like it. As you like it. Could that be it, Terry? Oh, I don't think so. I think I'm that's excited. the name. Yeah, that's it was the name of a play. I think oh, well, the name of a play. Well, it's like the importance of being earnest. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Um, Romeo if, and Juliet. If we the, if the, we get and, called back for number four, it's going to be all's well that ends well. Ooh, um, right. Okay, number seven. Romantic comedy, nineteen ninety one, directed by That's Barbara Streisand. Streisand. She did direction. Victor Victoria. Was that they shoot horses? Don't they? That was a movie. I don't know. I just film. remember her and Nick Nolte. They are having an affair. There's a lot of sex. Was it called They Do Sure Horses Do That? I don't know. That write it in, Janine, think... pretty quick. <laughs> just popped in they my mind. He hasn't called us back yet. Yeah. He knows that his team is screwed. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we need? And uh, number 10. This is 2003. We should know this. I'm sorry. I'm um, no help. Beetlejuice. John just thought of one. Beetlejuice. Was he in that? I don't think he what was year? In, in Beetlejuice. That was the it's 90s so movie, idea. too. And you're sure George Carlin was in Beetlejuice? I think he produced it. Oh. We they and never then, asked for and then what Thomas he, and Friends is a cartoon that he did. I watched lots. Yep, of them. that's right. He was Thomas the and Friends is a cartoon. It's never about heard. a choo choo train. A choo choo train. Yeah. Susan. None of those are much the questions. Will you tell how me? Much, Susan, how much longer do you think we should go? How, how not, you tell know. me? What are the five doing? Five minutes. Five yeah. minutes. <laughs> Dogma. Dogma. He jumped on there's, dogma. There's there all all but one team was still struggling a little bit. So all all right. okay, so but I don't know if they're gonna just come back progress. to the main screen and, and call us back and we'll just deal with it. Oh. No, well okay, no, no, just, we've got some we've got some new leads. Give us a couple minutes. Uh, okay, go back to the main screen. Okay. okay. What did what did we get, Janine? Okay, dogma and Beetlejuice. Dogma is question eight. 
We already have that. It's in there. Oh, it's in there. They told us what. Oh, yeah. and Beetlejuice. I don't think he was in. There. He had nothing to do with Beetlejuice. Yeah, that was um, okay. Okay, John's name? wrong. Tim Burton. That's, okay, was it? That's Tim good. Hmm. We're there. Yeah, I know Beetlejuice. I've seen that a couple times. Oh yeah. Tim, when we got Renata White, Renata. Okay, yeah. yeah. White, writer. Make up went, something yeah. for ten. And that gothy stuff. Make up something for ten. Name the, the franchise for both the original and parody. Installment. Name the franchise. Was it Scream? Oh, ooh, that was good. Was there Saw or something? I was thinking it's Nightmare on Elm Street. I can almost picture him as Freddy. Okay, there you go, Jimmy. Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's do it. Wow, that that's pulling one out. Yeah. Hot. Although, what if it is Scream? <laughs> Scream? No, no, no. Go with Nightmare on Maybe. Elm Street. Go with his first I two. don't know enough about Scream. Uh, st scream is a one term. Is a maybe we could call three because it had three movies. I think Freddy Krueger had millions of movies. I told a television fundraiser to save a bankrupt. Say, why don't we title? I like Nightmare on Elm Street. I've never. I've heard of that. I've heard of it too. I know it's seen this. it, but. Three isn't scream, is it? It's no, one word. That's no, no, there was a whole bunch a, of scream movies. Scream is a scary movie. Okay. From the nineties. Okay. Never mind. I have no idea. I'm just John, trying to stimulate. You know, I mean, it's always hilarious. It's always hilarious to be on a team with you because I I'm love really it. clueless and to have you on the team. <laughs> Yeah, I make you feel better. I, I know less. It just I'm makes thankful. me feel like I'm wow, thankful. Susan. I am so glad I can be helpful making somebody feel good. Bob, you gonna no, call us back? No. I don't see a control. I don't I don't see on you my go to, uh, Oh, here comes Vincent again. Let's see if you thought of something. Um you go to Let's bring Vincent back. He might have had a good thought. Well, funk wall. So oh, bring people back, you go to breakout rooms. Yeah. And then in, there's a bright red close all rooms. But don't do it I, while you're here. You have to do it when you're in the main screen. Let me see if I can find it while I'm here. See, I don't I don't have that. It's oh. just give me to gives me the rooms that I can go into. At the very I bottom, all right? No. Hi, Vincent. No, no I don't have it. Okay, here, I'll so, go and do it. Okay. Vincent, did Hello. you think of anything big while you were gone? No, no, I just... No, you didn't. So, okay, all that time you were gone and you didn't come up with something, you're fired. No, uh, I'm yeah, the very, but we, very but, upset. So. But we wrote words in for every question. We did have you? words. Random words for every Random question. Words. Yeah. See. Kyle came up with Nightmare on Elm Street for the number 10. And that's not the answer, but hey, it might be. <laughs> it's words. We have words. It's words. We have words. It means you don't leave a question blank because there's no down point for for wrong answers. That's like a that's You guys true. were great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Susan. I'm so glad Thank I can make you. you feel good. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't realize I'd done that. Okay. There we go. I always want to go over to Caspian's house and with Windex and a rag, and I just <laughs> don't understand. <laughs> What? Oh, it's like foggy or something, or I just want to write "wash me" on his screen. <laughs> just remember, spend more than two hundred dollars on a laptop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, this is what you get. <laughs> I've got like three laptops. But, but Caspian, you can just get a, you can get a webcam for like thirty and plug it into the USB port. And he has a webcam, and then and then his computer would be two hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> I, I gave him a webcam. You're using it right now, aren't you? No. Some some people like the soft focus. Where did yeah. I get? Where, where's the 
Where's it's it's the lighting that they use in the yeah. original series Star Trek That's when the, on, when on the all the women. Yeah. Came yeah. Came and where did it? Where did you? What did you do with the webcam I gave you? On my other computer. Well, the one he uses to have conferences with people he cares about. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> Thanks, Cass. Well, I can just tilt it sideways like, like you're in a Batman, the Batman villains area. You know. He looks like me, except he's male. <laughs> And glass, I have glasses. So here's what Caspian looks like. <laughs> I'll start show, hey, I'll start putting up pictures of you. A whole bunch of my coworkers have no idea what I look like. What? Wow. Why? Because we've never met and they've never seen yeah. a of me. Yeah. Same. And frankly, yeah. they don't need to. Oh, come on, man. They probably have this idea that you're some. With the name of Caspian, they're probably thinking you're some kind of, I don't know, alien. Since I started my new job, I've only met one of my coworkers in person. The whole rest of my team, I've never, I mean, I've seen them because we've been on Teams meetings where we've had our cameras on, but that's it. You should just take a picture of this screen and say, which one is me? And hide the name. (laughs) Probably do something stupid with my photo, so. Yeah. Do Do they think he's a Narnian prince? That's probably what it is. King. It's King. King. Prince. Wendy Prince, was saying today, she, she was saying that everybody, um, we've just gotten used to a new, it's a new normal being on Zoom. That's true. All right. So, Bob, can you put us out of our misery? Because your team, the team, your team, boy, we tanked. We don't have <laughs> anybody on there who knows any. We were lucky to have a couple of people know who George Carlin was. <laughs> 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 Janine goes, Oh, that's John. She goes and asks her husband. He comes back. He's heard of Carlin. Is, is He's heard of back? Uh, Wait, Susan, you've heard back? of George Carlin, right? Yeah, but only as a comedian. I didn't know he was oh. in movies. I didn't know he was barely in Christians, those movies. Robin, we were not allowed. Oh. There was no way. If I tried to put most comedians house, have been in movies. <laughs> He yeah. was Susan. barely in the movies, though. If you watch the, the, the first one, he's in like, like 15 seconds. Yeah. More, most more of those cameos movies, than anything. Most yeah, of those movies were out after you were already an adult. So these are being raising children and working all the time. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's the only reason why I've seen a couple of the movies, actually. I feel all right, go like for it, Bob. If he was in a film for 15 seconds, we're less likely to remember him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was actually in the, in the last Bill and Ted's for like 15 seconds. Which was recorded just last year. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. I'll just read them off real quick and then I'll paste them all in one chat. Mm -hmm. Number one was with six, you get egg roll. Yes. Oh, that was one. Oh, that does sound familiar. (sighs) Number two was car wash. I got that one. You did. And I got it on video. You guys can hear me. Yeah, thanks, Susan. That was nothing but hijinks. Uh, number three was America Thon. Oh, oh, I thought it was Telethon. <laughs> the USA, televised USA America fundraising. Thon. Okay, it was all there. Uh, four is Outrageous Fortune. Oh. Uh, five is Rufus. This is character in the first. Oh, my and God. Second, I got Bill that right. Go, this character in all three. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, Faith. <laughs> Six is Bill and Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Thank you. Yeah. Seven is Prince of Tides. Yes. Ah, oh, um, Prince of Tides. Uh, number eight, he uh, Cardinal Glick was his character. Mm-hmm. He had oh. blessed his golf club. Yes, and I so couldn't remember they, what the item when was. Hit, when they hit Satan with it, it because it had been blessed. Um, it you know it did damage. Did, did he bless Number it? By, nine, since he was a Catholic, did he bless it by using holy water? I, I think so. Yeah. Yes. It, it, it didn't. It happens. Um, he had the guys holding the golf clubs. Go ahead and hit him out. with it. And the guy's thinking it's not going to do any good, but he had surmised that that he had blessed it, so it would yes. injure Satan. Nine, nine is uh, Jan Silent and Bob strike back, yes. and I. am I will. I've included a um, uh, a YouTube link that you can watch, and it'll all be explained. 
it's I kind of that, distasteful. I think that's been so the I answer didn't... to multiple uh, question to multiple yeah. categories, and I still don't know what that movie's about. I yeah. was what? It's a great Jim movie to like Rob weird Rob celebrity Rob. cameos. Yeah. And number oh, 10, the, the franchise was The Matrix. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Kevin. Because okay. uh, they, there was a character called The Architect yes. that appeared in uh, uh, Matrix Reloaded and appeared again in Matrix Revolution, the second Except and third. Except it was a different and person. Carlin did this little scene. And Kevin was so close. He's sitting in front of a bunch of TVs, like The, the Architect. Where, um, yeah, that's yeah, what, that's what that Adam knows. Because I didn't see the yeah. Matrix, but Rob, Rob said that, and I said, "Yeah, he was an architect." So we did get it together. Okay, he cool. Said Nightmare oh, on Elm seen the first one, that Matrix. Okay, let me. Uh, he said uh, he thinks it's our little secret. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to tell. Okay. Never mind that it was recorded. It's all on recording. Okay, okay. so I, I want to know about Outrageous Fortune. What the heck has that got to do with the Shakespeare? Because it Against is the slings, the slings the and arrows of outrageous fortune. fortune. Hamlet. Oh. And Hamlet. I said it, it was taken from a line. Hamlet's soliloquy. It wasn't the whole line. It was. But that's not even line. really much of a. It's a famous what? line. I've yeah. never heard it, so it ain't that famous. <laughs> well, no, we no, have, I'm going to go see. see Somebody we have to go see more, it, more, more since, Karen, since, since Karen's not here, I think I'm going to say that was a great question, Bob. Okay, it's <laughs> um, you know it's the kind of thing you, you you heard. I heard this movie, Outrageous Fortune. Oh, hey, that's from a Shakespeare. You know, that's from Hamlet, and then All it's right. a confirming cool. thing. So it's not, you know. It's oh, where is bad. where where is Karen? By the way. Okay. So number go down nine. the street and look. She's okay. she's probably driving. She'll be here probably. You know, oddly enough, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back also a line from a Shakespeare play. Really? <laughs> I wasn't in there. I was really? unaware. That, uh -huh. that YouTube link that explains the whole book of the book of the unwritten book of the road thing. Yeah, you, how, really, it's not tasteful. Uh, no, it's not tasteful. <laughs> but the Terry, the Terry Fisher. Seen after is pretty funny. I'm very pleased that you picked something difficult because we last week I was looking at the scores, everybody was too easy. So I'm glad yeah, you picked something that was I hard. Thought this will, I said some, I think, was there any question that nobody got? I'm wondering. 10, number 10. No, we got 10. We got 10. We got 10. I thought it was Telethon. Yeah. I didn't remember America Thon. Yeah. 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 What did we what did we put? Jeopardy was the first thing we said, and then we decided on airplane. Airplane. <laughs> in um, Jamestown, New, New York, there's the Comedy Hall of Fame. On the second floor, there's the whole thing of all the seven, seven words you can't say, and they're mm -hmm. all on these big plaques. And there's a whole tribute to George Collin. What the town in, is that? In Jamestown, New York. Where, where is that? Where Lucille Ball was born. Where is the Jamestown? Comedy Hall of Fame? Jamestown. It's Jamestown. I used it in a question once. Do you know where it it's is? Uh, near, is it near Lake Erie. Part of the state or something? Oh, I've never heard of it. A uh, uh, far west near the Lake Erie. Oh, that's why I never heard of it. Okay. South south of Buffalo, near the near the uh yeah, border. I don't know that region. Oh, I'll region. have to check that out when I'm next time in Buffalo. Okay. Yeah, it's go. pretty cool. It's the Comedy Museum Hall of Fame. I've been there a couple of times, and there's a whole floor, second floor is all dirty stuff, filthy comedy. Like, as soon as you get off the <laughs> elevator, it's a big Big display of the seven words you can't say on TV. That's one of them. It's big plaques and all the words. So they have like nobody uh, under 17 admitted to this? Yeah, they give you a warning about you get to go upstairs. It's all dirty comedy and stuff. So it's an R-rated museum. Hey, Susan. It's the comedy museum, yeah. It's Robin. <laughs> but it's R-rated. But it's R-rated. The, the, the Slings and Arrows of Outrageous Fortune is from the To Be or Not To Be speech. Yeah. To be or not to be, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing mm -hmm. end them. I knew the to be or not to be, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. I told them that was Hamlet, but I baited. Okay, yeah. so let's score like, scores. In let's let's go row 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 your vote. Nine. Nine. Damn. Ben soda is shaken, not stirred. Ten. Ten. Wow. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Abortions for nobody except my mistress. Nine. 
with Elon Musk. Please just go to Mars. We are proud of our very noble four. <laughs> four. Four. Confessions, oh. abortions, family values. Oh my. Five. We thought Five. we were we thought we were gunning for the next person in. Yeah. And they got to it. us. <laughs> we didn't get didn't even do that well. Well, I don't know how some people did so well. Let me be mm. cheap. Well. Nope. Our team did well because person did well. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much there. Thank you so much for doing that, Bob. I can't try to find you to take your powers away. Well, who me. knows the seven words? Um, Wait. We got it. Let's go. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say them. I don't want to be have a problem. Okay, there's Bob. All right, so you guys know what we got to do now. We have Ron up. This is his first time. I don't think Kevin's done one. I mean, Kevin, um, uh, Alan's done one, has he? Yeah, he did the music okay. one. Oh, he's done it once. Once. Alan's going to have to start doing these. All right. Alan's going to do a blues Everybody be brothers. nice, extra nice to not Billy Joel. Yes. All right. What's your category there? And now for something completely different. Ooh, and no, it's not. It's not Monty Python oh. theme. It is my non-existential -ex geography quiz. Oh, it's not Luann questions? No, no, no. So I'm going to give you the name of a state or a Canadian province, and then I'm going to list four places inside of that state or province, except that one of them doesn't really exist. Oh, great. Ugh. You have to tell me which one is the one that does not exist oh of the four of the four cool oh okay that's different all right I, we can do that right so, so like sesame street which one doesn't belong yes so here's the first one can i ask, can I ask a question the, Already, the, ones I mean, you're saying, one. the ones that you're saying do not exist do they not exist at all or they're not like or, fictional in places? that in that state or province so, so they might is, exist someplace else Yes. It, yeah. So this is like the uh, skeptics guide. Uh, uh, which one is false thing? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, the first one I'm giving you, which hopefully is showing up. Shouldn't we yep. all be muted? Yeah. Well, oh, are we finished answering that. questions? If I'm finished answering them, so you might as well mute everybody. Okay. Everybody will be muted. I get it. This is obvious. I can do this. Okay. So the first one here, yes, I decided to make this Susan worthy. Um, state is New Mexico. The four the four places are Riverside, Elephant Butte, Mexico City, and Truth or Consequences. One of those is not real in New Mexico. Yeah, I get this. Okay. Thank you for making it Susan's Susan's safe. Yes. <laughs> So I get the cat out of the way. Okay, in Virginia, we have Fries, Santa Claus, Riverside, and Bump Ass. Next one, Colorado. We have Dinosaur, Riverside, No Name, and Bones. Then we have Washington State. We have Concrete, Riverside. You might notice a theme going on here. Big Bottom and Canada. We're off to North Carolina now. We have Fort Sumter, Why Not? Riverside and Climax. And then we go to Texas. We have Cut and Shoot, Shotgun, Riverside, and Oatmeal. What well, wasn't Riverside where Archie and the gang were from? <laughs> yeah, which uh, state was that? Riverdale. 
And then we have Oklahoma, where we have OK, Riverside, <laughs> Slaughterville, and Bushyhead. And in case you haven't noticed that Riverside is there everywhere, I was originally going to use Springfield because I thought every state in the country had a Springfield. But as it turns out, more states actually have a Riverside in them. Uh, 46 out of 50 states have at least one Riverside. So I thought that would be a better choice. So I put Riverside in there. Plus, I already did the Springfield thing. So everybody, I'm sure, memorized all of them. Oh, we've got those memorized, Rob. Yeah, yeah. I that thought one, I remember I, that. I've, I've watched yeah. that one, that video like 12 times just so I can have my Riverside. Yeah. So one of the, uh, so, so you pick one of the states that doesn't have a Riverside, I take it. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> I, I will absolutely guarantee that I might have done that. Okay, now we're going to switch countries into Canada. And we have St. Louis de Haha, Trois Pistoles, Asbestos, and Chrétien. No Riverside. Yeah, it turns out I couldn't find any is Riverside. Asbestos, is Asbestos French for Riverside? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's Tres Pistoles, the three fishes, I guess. And then in Saskatchewan, we have Forget, Saskatoon, Happy Land, and Climax, who's back again. And finally, we wait, have. Wait, wait. No, 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 no saying anything, Alan. It's a question. Is... No, don't say it. I don't care what your question is, just don't say it. Well, no, wait, wait, I mean, what was it? Are we, worrying about, are we worrying about spelling? Yeah, no. Yes. I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> oh, fine. Your team might benefit from that answer. I guess the question is if essentially it's right, but there's a typo there. Are you going to? Don't say anything then. They Alex. have to be exact. Don't say anything. Finally, Alex. we have Alberta. We have Sex Smith, Legal, Churchill, and Mirror. This is hard. No, this is so, clever. So there are your 10 places. I did do a lot of research to make sure that the ones that I made up really don't exist in those particular locations. That's good. So, um, you know, so I'm pretty sure that I got it right. But in the meantime, there you are each one of them. There is one place in each one that is not real in that That's state. Or helps, huh? and, and don't well, I've been to Riverside, Rhode Island and Riverside Restaurant, but that's and it. I yeah, and Ron, Ron, you don't have to worry. Uh, Leonard's not here, so no one's going to look that close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So there you go. There are your 10, uh, 10 guys. That's good, Shit. Ron. Okay, send us to our rooms, Ron. Do you know? Um, how? All right. Give me a moment part here. Of, part of this whole is I'm just trying to train you guys how to be better at technology, especially with Zoom. It's all the same. Uh, Again, it, it actually, that. you didn't write the rules down in the, in the, so it's the one that's, so three are correct and one is not, as opposed to reverse, right? That's correct. All right. Yes. Only, only one is not in each one. Okay. I click on the button that says breakout rooms, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have special powers now. Okay. And open, open all open rooms, all right? Rooms. Yes. All right. So go to the different rooms. You're going to be told to go to yours. Um, spend little time in your room because we're recording your room and you can go back and listen to it later. So spend more time in the other rooms. Yeah, I need to go to room five again. Five. And Kevin, oops, I just put, but I put in the five that it wasn't supposed to be in five. Oh, I thought I just put something in five. Bob is supposed to be in one. There we go. Can you fix that? Okay, good. That's right. Riverside? No, <laughs> climax. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, which North which North of the climaxes did you go by? North Carolina. Ah, I had a funny feeling there. Yeah. Lot. <laughs> All right. Now that you got Susan here, I'm going to leave and head off and right. uh, visit Have other fun. people. Bye. Okay. 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 How do you want to do this, you guys? Okay. So we've got like, what, a 90% chance okay. that there's Riverside in each one of these. Okay, I have heard of a truth or consequences, New Mexico. Me too. I'm pretty sure now there's a Mexico City in Mexico, but I don't think there's one. In, I don't think there's one in New Mexico. I'll bet you there's one in New Mexico. 
Mexico yeah. City, New Mexico? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, how about, I I think Elephant Bluff probably. Butte, it's Butte. Butte. Elephant Butte, pro, Elephant Butte, New Mexico, does that sound right? Yeah. These are probably very small places that aren't really yeah. on yeah, the map. Well, well known. I think uh, Cuidado yeah, de Mexico is not yeah. a city. Now, yeah. the set, now the Saskatchewan one, Saskatoon is a it would be a misspelling of the actual city of Saskatoon. I assume that there's a second place named Saskatoon with a different spelling. Yeah. Now, uh, Saint now Saint Louis du Haha is definitely a real place. Okay. Uh, I think Trois Pistoles yeah. is also real. Yeah, three guns. Now, asbestos changed its right. name. Uh, it, 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 it's a place that, was, that had an asbestos mine, and they recently changed the name to something else. I don't, I don't remember what. So what about uh, the Chertien? Chertien. Of course, now, he's, Is that he's a guy from somewhere in... Quebec, I don't, at uh, Shawinigan, Quebec, who was the prime minister for a while, Jean mm -hmm. Chrétien. Um, of course, since it means Christian, uh, it wouldn't at all surprise me to learn that, uh, that, uh, that there's a place in Quebec that's called that. I would go, if you think asbestos changed its name, then asbestos no longer exists. Yeah. Hey, hey, not Billy Joel. Is that if if a, if a say it again, Jim. If it's a, if it's a former name of a place, uh, does the it count as the fake place? These are all current names. So okay. it could be asbestos. Yeah, yeah. Because who would want to yeah. have a town named asbestos? Well, uh, well they did. Well they did when asbestos was the uh, what was a valued uh, but not now. material. That but would not definitely now. not exist now. So, Has it been formally changed its name, or they've talked about it? They, uh, is as I remember the news reports, they they formally changed the name. I think that's, that's a dumb asbestos. Okay, so it's so, not asbestos anymore. I don't. Yeah, um, we'll argue if he decides to. Yeah. Okay. So that. should we go down these one at a time? Yeah, we're we're getting ourselves lost. So number one, New Mexico. I'm voting for Riverside is the fake. Is there Mexico City, New Mexico? I've never been to New Mexico. We've flown over it. We know truth or consequences is true. Yeah. yeah. We know that I think elephant, what do I call it? Butte. Butte. That mm -hmm. sounds right. Because they've got all sorts of stuff in New Mexico hills and stuff. That right. They're, they're, like well, buttes are, they're like little mini mountains. Mm -hmm. And Mexico yeah. City, New Mexico just kind of sounds right. Yeah. Okay, so we want to say Riverside? I think that's my vote. Okay. And I'm only a guest here, and I, I spend most of my time trying to talk you guys out of the correct answers. Yeah. Okay, Virginia. Fries, Fries Virginia. There's Santa a Dumfries. Virginia. There's I, a, I don't know if I've ever seen a Fries, Virginia. I've seen Dumfries, Virginia. Santa Claus, Virginia makes sense because of the the movie. Which movie? The Santa Claus uh, on uh, yes, Virginia. There is a Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> oh. Unless he's trying to be funny. I've never heard of Santa Claus, Virginia. How about a bump ass? Bumpus. It's probably pronounced bumpus. Bumpus, Virginia. Does that sound right? I don't know. Yeah. In Riverside, Virginia. Yeah, it's either, the river. Yeah. Yeah, it's either A or B. Uh, yeah. Yeah, boy, it's so easy to find some really tiny place that nobody's never heard of. <laughs> I the people who live in the province or state. Yeah, because there's like the North Carolina one. I, I I'm Wait, not. Go to really... two. Go back to two. So, what do you yeah. guys vote? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, or D? I'm voting. Yeah. What do you think, Susan? I am Susan. I said A. Fries. 
Ah. Wait, which one? I. Okay. Except, except for this notion, note that uh, there's a riverside in almost every state. <laughs> well, that means we. Well, which ones did you guys pick for number two? Because our think say, I think it a? is fake. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I, I, I don't want to be the last word, you guys. I, I. It's guessing. <laughs> I don't know. Fries, Virginia. Yeah, lose it. Let's go with it because it okay, probably okay. is a Santa Claus, and I've never heard of it. Okay, how about Colorado? Dinosaur Colorado, Riverside Colorado, No Name Colorado, and Bones Colorado. I think I've heard of No Name. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I was just I, I was just thinking that there's that uh, there's probably enough fossil beds in Colorado that dinosaur and bones are pretty likely. Are we going to say Riverside then? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is there a river in Colorado? Yeah. Yeah, the Colorado yeah. River. So wouldn't there be a Riverside in Colorado? Probably. Okay, so it's it's bones. I would think bones. I think bones would probably be the one that they wouldn't have. Bones, Colorado. Yeah. Why bones? Because I'm pretty sure I've heard of dinosaur and no name. I was on a street today that was called No Name Alley or No Name something. I was like, what is that really? Mm -hmm. Okay, Washington, oh. concrete Washington, Riverside Washington. Um, Big, Big Bottom. Bottom, Washington, or Canada, Canada. Washington. Gee. Canada oh. makes sense because it's right there by Canada, Washington. What about concrete? That feels right. <laughs> you know, Big Bottom. I would. I you, you, well, well, gee, they've got a. They've got some uh, big dams uh, with with lots of concrete uh, on the uh, on the Columbia River. Okay. It, it wouldn't surprise me if the place where they made the concrete for it is got named concrete. Concrete. So, do we want to say Big Bottom or Canada? Big Bottom. I would put Big Bottom. I'd big be bottom. inclined to vote for Canada, but I'm not gonna be. Uh, Canada or Big Bottom. Yeah. Shall we I go guess with big, big bottom. bottom. Big bottom. All right, we're getting rid of D. Even though that does play really its riverside. D. Okay. <laughs> For North Carolina, the only one I'm 100% sure that exists is Climax because it's next to Julian and the highway sign says Climax Julian. Every single time I pass it, it makes me snicker. Um, <laughs> I Fort Sumner or Sumster is in Georgia. I yeah. thought it was yeah, South was Carolina, gonna... but either way. Or South Carolina. Yeah. Well, we have an old fort. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a fort. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 one where the, the, the one where the U.S. Civil War started was in South Carolina. Okay. But, I think it's but, 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 and he's just uh, trying to trick us. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I would say A, because there probably is a Riverside, North Carolina, and there probably is a why not. Now, Texas. Okay. Shotgun. Texas, cut and shoot Texas. Probably a city in Could you? I think I think the only one that doesn't sound right is Riverside. <laughs> For which one? Texas, Texas? Is, Texas is full of rivers. But it's I would like, say let's go. Let's go with oatmeal. Uh, I'm, oatmeal feels right. I'm cut. I'm kind of I'm kind of kind of inclined to go with oatmeal too, is the uh but uh like, who the fuck wants to be from oatmeal, Texas? Well it just feels right. Shotgun. How about shotgun Texas? Shotgun sounds right. That's why shotgun. I think it's made up. I think yeah. shotgun's shotgun made up. cut and shoot. I'd go with shotgun. All right. Okay, take a vote. We got five of us. What do Let's you say? go with B. Let's go with B. I'm I'm for shotgun. Okay. I feel well, made up and oatmeal sounds right. Oh, I mean, why would he have done that? I mean, you got to think yeah. about the person writing the category. Where did he come up with so the Oklahoma like eating oatmeal at the time? And he says, oh, oatmeal, that's a good one. No, the shotgun. prairie wind, wind goes maybe, rushing down the plains. Maybe that's where the Quaker Oats guy is from. I thought they were from Pennsylvania. Hey, okay, 
Oklahoma? That doesn't That's sound real. Right. That is real. OK, Oklahoma is a real place. I've never That's what I was thinking. It is uh, a real place. OK, how about Slaughterville, Oklahoma? Slaughterville sounds like a real place. Oh, no, come on. That's like asbestos. Who wants to name their town Slaughterville? A place that has a slaughterhouse? Yeah. Or it's named after somebody named Slaughter. Yeah. yeah. But Slaughter is a common last name. They would have changed that puppy. They would have said, oh, no. No, no. We What's got a settle people? in Slaughterville? There's still a Lynchburg in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> I've driven through Lynchburg. Yeah, but they fit. They, and it's they, named after a person, so. Okay, yeah, how and about then they Bushy have a, Head? Bushy Head. I think Bushy Head is the one that wouldn't be there. Bushy Head sounds stupid. Wish, oh, it's Slaughterville sounds good. <laughs> Slaughterville okay. sounds because Slaughter is an actual last name. Yeah. Like, that okay. It's well, Slaughterville White Bull. Slaughterville okay. I'm okay. Okay, Oklahoma. It's Oklahoma. You think they got anything there? Well, that's what I oh, mean. Slaughterville. I mean, seriously. Who's gonna? I could see moving to okay, Oklahoma, because it's okay. Hey, everybody, yeah. it's okay. Well, the initials for Oklahoma are okay. We're I can see okay. somebody living okay. in Slaughterville. We have a Middlesex, North Carolina. Yeah. A Middlesex. A yes. A Warsaw. We have a Warsaw here. Well, that's okay, but not Slaughterville. That's like asbestos. They would have gotten rid of it. No. Mr. and Mrs. Slaughter. Slaughter is an actual, I think we had a governor with that last name. There was a uh, member of Congress mm -hmm. just recently, Louise Slaughter. Mm -hmm. We have a friend. We had a we have a friend whose Slaughter. last name is Killingsworth. I think my mom's doctor was Doctor Slaughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think That's a little on point. Don't you think? Anyway, let's get to the scaffold. Hey, my dentist. My dentist is Doctor Payne. I think. <laughs> My theory for Saskatchewan is B. We have not finished yeah. Oklahoma, young lady. We have. Oklahoma does not have a bushy head. I'm sorry, but it's Slaughterville. No, it is. Bushy. Slaughterville is a real fucking place. Okay. 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 All right, go on. Okay, we missed Quebec. What do we got for Quebec? Uh, we said asbestos. It's okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, be because it's the X name of the place. Okay, Saskatchewan. Now, sat, now, there's a Saskatoon, T-O-O-N, but, the, but so far as, but I don't think there's a Saskatoon. <laughs> Let's get rid of B then. No, I think, I think he's got it on there just to mess with you. Like I Kaskin, think Kaskin forget Kaskin Happy said, Land is It's climax, probably climax. there. It's just, he's trying to mess with you. I think it's. Happy Land. I think it's Climax. Because there's a climax in the other one, and he probably thought it was funny. Um, I think you climax. To I think climax Saskatchewan is real. I think. Gee, I might have even. I don't think I've seen. One How that. about forget? That's the same thing. Who wants to live in yeah. forget? Forget. Forge. It's forge. No, it isn't. It's forget. Forge. Not it's if you're like, it's like bouquet it, 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 itself. Yeah, it's the it it's it's uh <laughs> it's bouquet. Yes, B U C K E T yeah. bouquet. Uh, bucket. Yeah. Bouquet. If uh oh, I love it. I didn't know you're a fan of keeping up uh period. Yeah, or, yeah. Oh yeah. Or my or my a, little with the hand painted hand painted. You know the, the the locals <laughs> might well pronounce. I've watched it. A the, the mo locals might well pronounce it for, for forget, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, from some French per person uh, uh, going through there, or maybe settling it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but, yeah, how about uh, Happy Land? Happy I'm land. skeptical we're, there's a Happy Land. We're in Happy Land. Everybody's happy in Happy Land. I can see the commercials right now. Okay. Look. I'd go for Saskatoon. How's Ron keeping a straight let's go. Let's go with the Canadian here. I'd go with Saskatoon because there's a Saskatoon, and I've never heard of a Saskatoon. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's okay, not a tune, but it's Jim. a cartoon. In French, how would you say Happy Land? <laughs> how would you pronounce that? 
Joye Terre? I don't know. No, 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 like, <laughs> yeah. like you did with forget. It just sounds weird. Uh, 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 okay. Happy land. Okay, well, F O R G E T. That's okay. That's. I'm pretty sure I've seen uh, somebody called Forge, F O R G E T. Okay, how would you say Happy Land? Happy Land. <laughs> oh, no, come on. With a French accent? <laughs> happy Land. Oh, 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 happy long. Okay, the, okay, there, there, there oh, are all oh. French speakers in Saskatchewan these days, but, uh, uh, but uh, wink, wink, nod, nod. How we're we're gonna have fun at Spycon. I got Jim, candy Jim, cigarettes. Jim, they do climax. The climax. The climax. I'm inclined to think the climax is just is just one of the higher higher spots in the flatness of Saskatchewan. Hey, hey, blue mix, lick the mix, lick the mix, lick the mix. Okay, for Alberta. Oh, so we picked? We picked, now, we, yeah, we're, we're, we're in Saskatoon. That, okay, in Alberta, Alberta, is that is that in a French area? No. No. Uh, no sex Smith. Oh, okay, none of, none, none of these really sound like, uh, let's see, sex Smith, legal. legal, oh. Oh, you said legal. You said legal. Legal. Legal, legal or legal. You know, that, 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 that. Mirror, that mirror. Are you from Mirror, Alberta? Now, there's a church, 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 I would rule out Churchill, or I would suggest Churchill, because there is a Churchill somewhere else. Okay. There's a Churchill in Manitoba on the shore of Hudson. Okay, Churchill. It's Churchill. No, it's Churchill. <laughs> Churchill. I am from Churchill, Alberta. I'm in Churchill. Churchill, Churchill Alberta. You know. Okay. It's a Churchill. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind, of in, I'm kind of inclined to go with Churchill yeah, because there was already a Churchill in Manitoba, but. Let's go. Mirror. You I Let's would go with Churchill. What are the people like in the Alberta? We're going with Churchill. Churchill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now. Churchill. What are they like in Alberta? Are they German? I'm going to give Susan Candy cigarettes. Okay. There's a, I got two yeah. packs. You can bring me candy. Yeah. Look, yeah, yeah I'll, okay. I get some milk duds. I'm looking everywhere. Yeah. I've been to so many places around here. You don't have any milk duds? No. They're in the trick or treat candy. You can buy the little. Oh, here comes Karen. They can. You can buy the little trick or treat candy in boxes, but not like straight up. I've been to like seven different stores. It's at a point now. I don't even want it. I just want to know why I can't find it. Why is it not around? Or I also want those little caramels that you like. You unwrap in plastic and you put them in the in the mm -hmm. and you make caramel apples out of. Oh man, those are so good. Churchill. No. Oh, so, by, uh, 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 by the way, which one did we come to, to decide on for, for Oklahoma? Seven? Uh, on which one? D. Seven, Bushy Oklahoma. Head. It's Bushy Head. Oklahoma, which is just okay. okay. I mean, who's going to live in okay? Okay, okay. Someone who has no other choice? Yeah. Paul, Paul. All right, you guys, it's just okay. I mean, think about the high school cheers hey we are okay why just a dirty team of okay you <laughs> assume there's a high school there yeah oh give me a you don't think what do you say what do you say well you know there's a high school yeah. in okay they might just stop in middle school Gee. we're horrible people oh we're recording too yeah romero okay. said that romero well okay said doesn't it. exist yeah. and we haven't heard anyone's feelings yeah. Now, now for Alberta, gee, I think any one of those could be some tiny, tiny, tiny little dot on the map somewhere in Alberta. I mean, I figured that's what most of these. Yeah, were. we should have. We yeah. should have made him say they have to be a place yeah. like climax in, in, in North Carolina is like a tiny podunk town. And the only reason they exist is so people go there and they mail they mail postcards from there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it has its own highway exit. I bet. Dick Smith, <laughs> legal, um, legal or legal? Cracker Churchill. Barrel. It yeah. does not have a Cracker Barrel because it's not on a main highway. It's on a side highway. Does I, it have a I, Waffle House? 
I don't even know if it has a Waffle House. I think you have to drive to the next town over, Siler City. Oh, it's near Siler City? City. Yeah, oh. up 421. Okay, Ryan, you done? Yeah, I was about to find out if I'm supposed to close everything down from here now. No, okay, so now you leave this okay, room the main room and then close it down. Okay. Sure. Okay, so for 10, shall we go with um, Churchill? Yeah, well, I've had Churchill down. Yeah, like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be all that surprised if there is a Churchill, Alberta, but there's a Churchill, Manitoba, and, you know, there's, yeah. Sorry, just it's, sorry to interrupt quickly. So wait, I, I close it from the main room or close it from here? No, you close it from the main room. Because and that'll give, and that'll give the 60 here, second warning? Yeah, if you closed it from here, as soon as you left, it would just close. Okay, but if I close it from there, you get the 60 seconds. Okay, yeah. all right, sounds good, bye. We can talk about you then. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Except then he can listen to it, so. So, wow. Ron. No. <laughs> yeah. Which, so, which brother is the cooler brother? <laughs> We've uh, met almost all the Steiners, isn't that hilarious? Except the, the female ones. Yeah. Well, she showed up. And I'm hopefully I'm going to see her this weekend. She's in Sacramento, but she's shown up and she's been here. And we've seen his wife. She's come by and said hi, a couple times. I think her name is Debbie or Donna. And we've met uh, we've met a lot of Ron's cats. So just the Steiners. Oh, we've got we've met all a lot of them. I just looked this up about Climax, North Carolina, because I was trying to find out its population. And it is actually home to the Hobson Cricket Grounds and one of the J.P. Morgan uh, Chase's Quail Hunting Club. Quail Penning Club? Quail Hunting Club. Oh. In Quayax. So there's a, yeah. <laughs> what was the first place you mentioned? It a has a cricket, there? has cricket grounds. What was the first place you mentioned? <laughs> And this was in a climax, North Carolina. No, you said someplace before you said the. Oh. Are you done? Did Jesus. That was actually quite fun, Ron. Wait till you see the video. It was quite humorous. It was, it was, <laughs> when I was dropping by each of the, the rooms, there were some interesting discussions. So, Ron, that's <laughs> what I ask everybody the first time they've done this. What did you think of going to the rooms and, and not a, being able to participate, but to listen in? It, it was kind of fun, just you know. I like I like the way you spelled Saskatoon. You know, I was just wondering how many people would figure that one out. <laughs> I, you know what, I My brother hadn't messed things up. Thanks, uh, Alan. Yeah, we almost <laughs> we weren't sure. So I was gonna pick that one, but oh, you should have. I think that was the answer. I was outvoted. So. We were thinking of picking like, okay. it as Caspian said, but then Caspian says, "I bet you it's a real place that." But it's spelled wrong, so that's why he it had no to be that correct, it was so. spelled correctly. But there is, but he wanted to just confuse us with the Saskatoon. Well, we'll get to that one in a moment. So. Oh. Okay. All right. So let's work our way down here. The first one, which I think what I'm passing through, most people got it. In New Mexico, the fake city is Mexico City. No! Okay, not everybody got it you from the sounds of it. Side. And for Virginia, sorry, Virginia, oh. there is no is Santa, Santa Claus. Claus? Oh, oh, you, you ever. <laughs> I thought that was for sure it was right. And was although there too. are lots and lots of dinosaurs buried in Colorado, there are no bones. Oh, oh we got that yeah. one. Yes, 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 but there are dinosaurs. Okay. And even though the correct Washington, pronunciation is dinosaur. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> dinosaur. And even though Washington happens to be right next to Canada, there is no Canada in Washington. Oh. And just to see how well you know your history on the next one, yes, Fort Sumter exists, but it's in South Carolina. Yes. That's Thank you, Robin. And in everyone's favorite, Texas, you may be able to cut and shoot, Oops, sorry, I didn't hit enter on this one. You may be able to cut and shoot, but you're not going to find a shotgun there. Oh. Oh. Hey, we did it. Or at least I think we did. 
-hmm. And since I promised that there absolutely definitely might be a Riverside, it doesn't exist. Oops, it's, so I'll try that one again. Yes. It's the one in Oklahoma. That's one of the oh, states that does oh, we not argued have. argued over that and argued over it and argued over it. And as my brother Carl's got, got completely instincts. wrong, but got the right answer for. <laughs> Christmas is going to be The answer is Chrétien in Quebec. However, oh. he was the premier, not the prime minister. <laughs> no, you were no, there during he was that time. The prime minister. He was what? prime minister of Canada. He was prime he was minister a... of Canada. Well, what yeah, but about? he was the premier of Quebec. We don't know what you're talking no, about. No, um, I don't know what, what you're talking about. about. I don't think he was ever premier of Quebec. I thought he was premier. I was talking about inside minister. baseball for Canada. Okay, Bob then I take it back. was prime minister of Canada for a little for a while. Well, I knew that yeah. part, but I thought he was premier before that. We Maybe not. Okay. Best. And and asbestos used to be a town in uh, in Quebec, but but they changed the name. Right. So could so, C also be correct? Just, but when I looked it up, there actually was an asbestos still on the map. So yes. it's you know. called Valdez yeah. Forces now. Yeah. So, I mean, we, you, okay. You so uh, uh, so you so so your count of asbestos is real because it, it was on the map. Uh, because it was at the time uh, on the map you looked at it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't clear. It, it might not have been the most recent map. I thought it was a Google Maps, so I would have expect, expected that it was still there. But yeah, I got it wrong well, anyway. I, I think it's yeah. only a few months ago that they made the change. Oh, oh okay. It's never the answer is 2020. Oh, yeah. Well, I can tell you for sure that there never has been a crit yet wow. in Quebec. I'm amazed um, they left it for that long. The asbestos home. I know. Yeah. Girls, it takes yeah. a long time to change names and stuff. And, and as I think anybody, well, everybody got on the next one is yes, there is a Saskatoon in Saskatchewan, but not spelled that way. It's T O O N. I was gonna pick that, but oh well. Okay. What? And then finally, the cartoon about Saskatoon. Canucks love Winston Churchill, but. They did not oh. put a town named after him in oh, Alberta. Wow. Oh. This was fun. I like this category. Yeah. It's fun. And the, and the Churchill, Manitoba is named after some ancestor of Winston. Probably and there was, the first Duke of Marlborough. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. There's also a Churchill that we used to pass all the time in, uh, in Ontario. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about that, but that was actually, uh, I think it is actually two words, Church Hill. That is not Yeah, Church I was wondering because there's the church up on Winston, the hill where we made the turn. Marlboro and Benson and so, yeah. All right, so here we go with the scores. Now, Karen just showed up. Hello, Karen. I think she's here. I've let her in a couple times. So she's probably going to go in the team with the least score. So Ooh. keep that in mind. Oh, well, that would be probably. us. Probably. That's yeah, going to be us. us. I highly doubt it means yeah. it might be us. So oh, Gates, no. we Asia. were not going to be overshot by you guys, Faith. That's right. We got the lowest score last round, so just remember that. Okay, Ben okay. Stoda is shaken, not stirred. What's the score? Uh, somehow we got nine. Uh huh. You will not That's... be getting Karen. What is it? What? My cat is meow yowling at me. Okay, so row, row, row your boat. Six. Abortions for nobody except my mistress. I think we got four. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Concussions, abortions, family values. Oh, bye. Two. Three. We got three. We got three? I thought yes, we only we got did. two. We got Mexico oh. City on one. We got Canada on four. And we got oh. number eight. So right. we got three. Okay. Here okay, we go. Three. Your own team, Ron. What did you do? Elon Musk, please just go to Mars. We will not be getting Karen. We got a five. Oh! Yay. oh. Karen, Karen goes we told you mind. we were underdoing you. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that was fun. Very so good. What did, what did I average in that one? Uh, oh, where is the little average thing? Yeah, yeah I didn't see I it there. Drag it. And now we can't four. see. Okay. And the first one was 7.4. So very good. Very good. I like you can that. give a good report to Avi. Um, we'll, we'll yeah, he didn't yeah. screw it up. No, that was good. <laughs> so so probably if somebody wanted to do something like something like this again, 
um make sure you pick cities that are like big enough to be <laughs> i don't know give yourself a population size or something we were thinking oh god there might be 10 people in that town or something we'd be yeah no well there's only 10 people in canada yeah <laughs> oh gee, yeah. yeah okay so let's do our group one's a flying squirrel one's a moose yeah that's right yeah is she here Get break time is that what you said well i'm waiting for karen to get her so we can take a picture oh is she gonna be Where's okay she keeps dropping out i might take the picture she doesn't answer any questions yet i don't know if she can be in the picture <laughs> nah. is he here oh there's Susie. karen are you there There she comes. There she is. Oh, what is that? Her cat? Oh, here comes Cindy back. Cindy was gone. Karen, they were fighting over you. She's wearing her normal costume that she normally Look doesn't wear. When she does. Hi, Karen. We have to say boo. To Karen. So is that her ghost? Is she the witch? She's, She's the wicked witch, witch of the West, oh. California. No, I think no, it might just a be a stylish. Hat. It's a fedora. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, the, the top part was getting we, cut off. The top off. was cut off. See, yeah. see that. Well, I never knew a fedora looked so much like a witch's cap. That's amazing. Yeah. It's only on Karen. You oh, better watch out. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna come get you. She's Carmen Bucking San Diego. Diego. Yeah. Where, By the way, about the uh, about Carmen the wicked witch of the west, west, I saw her uh, I saw her house. Apparently she uh, retired to a little to a little place in Maine and uh, and her house was on a little island just near Booth Bay Harbor where my sister lives. <laughs> Oh. Margaret Hamilton. Okay, Cindy, come yeah. back, Karen. We're gonna take yeah, a picture. Right. Get your ass back in your chair. <clears throat> Karen's faking a sow. Oh, Cindy. That can't be true. I saw her milk. All right. <laughs> yeah, get back in the picture. <clears throat> okay, count of three. Oh. One, nice, Terry. I like your kitty. One, <laughs> two. Three. Let's see. One, two, three. You want to lower your kitty? Five, six. Oh, I already got it. When I said three, I took the picture. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. After I said three, I gee. Uh, gee, if Karen is going to be the wicked witch, shouldn't that kitty be black? <laughs> Too bad. Okay. 2022. Okay. Uh, 10 minute, under 10 minute break. Five minute okay. break. Uh, see you in another week or two. Uh, uh, okay. Bye, see you, Jim. Bye, Jim. Good to bye. see you again. Great. Bye, bye. Jim. Okay. Well, speaking bye. of speaking of or two, Susan, have you figured that out yet? No. I'm waiting for somebody to volunteer. Caspian, I'm waiting for Caspian to volunteer. Volunteer for what? We're most of half of us are be gone in a, in two weeks. Oh, oh right. And we need somebody to like run the game, record. Susan, is is your other son coming? Yeah. And I, I don't have anything to prove. I can take a day Wait, off. Two weeks. Me. So everyone everyone else also has your tickets for Black Panther Wakanda Forever <laughs> for that Thursday night. <laughs> well, you need to be able to use the um have have like be able to do excel and stuff like that at the same time i mean uh, well like an excel bob that's why if Cass was to come over he'd have the computer right here with the excel and do they have a bar in like a um like at tam there was that bar where we could play games there's no bars in vegas Come on. <laughs> we can't have bars uh, anymore. Uh, they stopped having <laughs> bars. So at uh, at at the Flamingo, what we found is like when you come down the escalators, there's like a um, cement kind of thing and not a place you can move tables and stuff around, but I wouldn't I wouldn't think it'd be like a game place. I don't think it'd be we come down the escalators as Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. And we're not running for office. So we hang out at this area right outside, like right by registration. It's kind of kind of busy. So there's no Del Mar. And then we also go to, there's a food court that has like five restaurants in it. 
So it's it's like a a hamburger, a pizza, um, an Asian. And like, the tables um, don't move, do they? So you can't slide. I, can't, the I don't think together. so. No, I didn't. They're think so. anchored to the floor. Yeah, but you, we got a we got a really great crowd. If you go to the Psycon Facebook page, I put up a whole list of photos from the past of where people congregate, and you can I find. Saw, yeah, and but so I didn't know what I was seeing. I mean, like I, you know, I um okay. So what you were doing is that you were showing that there was like what the um different areas are going to look like and yeah like where to find people and and um, let me see if i can find that post because people oh, were asking me like what are people going to wear and people were saying should i wear like it's a... going to be cooler right yeah it's always it's gonna cooler be... because it's air conditioned and they over air condition it well it's not just that it's it's going to be the end of like toward the end of october so there's um it's not going to be like july in las vegas no no yeah it's cooler here's here's deborah right over here there's janine and john okay there's paula there's the other paula there's mike darsulik um and this is this is uh Leonard. an eating a, a like a restaurant this is a food court right next food to court. i think it's a johnny rockets right there I'm trying is this, to, this is, is this like, a break yeah we're on break Oh, I, did we take a picture? Yeah. Well, look at <laughs> I see familiar faces. This is uh, going to breakfast one day right mm. outside the casinos. Right Not there. me. Apparently, right. they didn't invite me. You have sorry, to. Sorry, Carl, in Carl, in Carl looks photoshopped into that picture. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh, in that case, I could photoshop myself into it or something. I had, um, here's some more. Here's another photo. Um, yeah, you have to stay on it because I'm not going to be like, people are like, should I text you to find out where everybody's at? I'm like, you just have to watch or look on here. Or what's, what's the Facebook group, Susan? Uh, Psycon. Psycon. See, right here in the corner, Psycon Skeptical Inquirer. <coughs> there, I'm in my Deborah, own. I'm Jeff, in my own. Deborah Leonard and these are uh, Zell and um, Jason. And then what else we have here? Here's a Mexican restaurant right outside the door. Oh, good. So that was like, but the problem with this is I couldn't get one table for everybody. So it was like, you show up, they give you a table and they're not going to split all the checks and stuff. So everybody needs to remember to bring cash because they're not going to, the wait staff is not going to want to have to do separate checks for everybody. It's just not going to happen. Cash, what is this concept? I have <laughs> cash. Here's, here's oh, breakfast. Boy. Yeah, so the, these big groups like this, you got to be like at one place, you go and you get your restaurant, and then you need to get to the next place because you've got lectures starting or whatever. So you need to be not waiting around for a check. So not only do they not want to give you a check, you need to just throw cash at the table and go, that's my whole thing. Make sure you over covered it plus a tip and then and get What I've started to see what they do now is they have the little point of sale things where they'll take your card at the table. Well, oh, that's so. a lot better, of places have started to do that Hopefully where they'll the, come around and wipe your Mara. card and you'll sign. Carl, um, Deborah, it's, myself. It's Deborah, pretty easy Carl, to split yeah. the check on those little kiosks at the table, if too. You, if you get so lucky, but I don't know if I have no idea if Vegas is doing that. Here's where you're going to find people. So, the right here, um, um, this is like you come out of the reception area, like you check in over here, and this is where like the Del Mar is there's places you can get something to drink and eat here like little snacks and bring them over to I the don't table. remember like, that place it's right it's right in the entrance of the you were partying too hard Janine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's escalators going it. up to the conference are right to the right of where Deborah's hand is up kind yeah of, that's where the escalators okay. are so you kind of can't miss this if you were to go out these doors over here, you'd get to that Mexican restaurant kind of thing I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And then way off to the left and down a long hallway kind of is where you would get to the uh, food court area. But this is kind of where we thought we'd hang out because you can move the tables. Nobody cares how long you sit there. You can move the tables and chairs around and there you can get drinks and snacks and bring them over to the table. It's the closest we found to a Del Mar. It's just, that's just the way they do. 
Well, it part. looks to me like you guys were pretty comfortable in jeans and t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Well, these are guys. Of course. Yeah. No, and she's talking about the comfort level as far as the cold. Well, don't go based on anything Carl wears, because <laughs> I don't think I've ever, ever, many years I've known him, I don't think I've ever seen him wear long sleeves. He no. he always comes up with the really clever shirts. He'll, he'll go I, to a I lot have, of I trouble a, to find shirts. I have a whole bunch of new t-shirts ordered on the way. <laughs> Yeah. See, that doesn't surprise me at all. Wait, Carl, did you say new t-shirts or nude t-shirts on new the way? New <laughs> so you can see people are wearing jackets. This is the opening ceremony. They've got there's Carl right there. They they've got like a, a throwing a jacket over some of the stuff to give them some okay. kind of what it looks nice. It looks like it's yeah. this hopefully next year I will be able to join you guys. It's just not in the cards. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Well, we'll, we'll I really wanted to go. Unless but... we have a pandemic. <coughs> oh, there's Janine. Just Janine. Yeah. Did I bring? Yeah, it's not long sleeve. Did I bring illusions? Did I bring Jerry's solutions? Oh, look no, at this, Eddie. Too much work. Eddie, um, <laughs> Eddie Jabash, wears yeah? a yeah. suit all the time. Yeah, he always wears a suit. East Coast thing. <laughs> He's in California. LA forever. No, no, Eddie. thank you. I'd be a pool of sweat if I wore a suit all the time. No, not Mark, there. Mark's yeah. shirt. I hope he wears it again. Cool. I'm psychic. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am with um, Ross Blotcher. I have my third eye. Mm -hmm. And I usually wear something that has my last name on the back so people can find me. You know who this guy is? Nope. Yes. He, he's the founder of Snopes. Snopes. Oh, oh yeah. cool. Really? Oh, my gosh. Yep. No. Really good talk. Is, oh, yeah. Cool. I missed that one. I think there's he a came to Portland it. right afterwards. We had him speak, and I think he's not part of Snopes anymore. Or he's like got a only a percentage of it that's been sold out. Yeah, Rob needs to pay more attention. He's missing something. all the good stuff. Like a, uh, I hardly go to the talks. Also, yeah, definitely. I shouldn't go to any of the talks. Yeah, and I've written a bunch of articles. This one right here, you want to check out if it's your first time, especially <clears throat> even if it isn't your first. Uh, Skepticon 101. I asked a whole bunch of people like tips about the place and and they uh oh halloween party you gotta go to the halloween <laughs> party middle. and we always do bohemian rhapsody interpretive <laughs> dance dude that's a pack man that's Carl awesome. took the picture. And there's a couple of videos of it so each year we do a video and they're ridiculous i this one i fell right on my ass because I, I took my shoes off and i was on in socks and i slid i went bro boom oh my god we're doing right. Bohemian Rhapsody there. Oh, so that that strikes my, I didn't, you know, I didn't think of that. Putting right. together my Hawaiian costume, you know, you don't dress very heavy in Hawaii, but it's going to be freaking freezing in the room. I don't know if that's going to uh, work. We'll be all right. Yeah. And we'll then be... this is going to be my uh, table. You that. don't know what I'm wearing. Um, mm -hmm. um, okay. So, so this <laughs> is your table that I'm where your cool. famous table where everybody finds you. Yeah. It's, I'm in the book room. It's really easy to find me. But yeah. that's not at the Flamingo. Yeah. That was a different year. Here's Joe Nickel and Mark. Here's a bunch of people watching somebody on the stage. So let me end share. <clears throat> so those I put those pictures up. So go to the CSI C O N. So the Psycon Facebook page. To be okay. Able to get. okay, I will be right back. Okay. And then we'll start. <laughs> Thank you. So, Carl, I must have been psychic that I decided to not book things because I knew my car was going to cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it does. So what happened to the car? $2,100 later, I have almost a totally new front end. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I needed new tires in the back, but the front end was uh, new rotors and brakes and calipers and hoses control and arm. control arm and all the things. It happens. Yeah, it does. Just not all at once, preferably. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, yeah, I, I would have probably been pretty bummed had I just 
spent a few grand on stuff for the trip and then had my car yeah. break down and had to spend two grand on that as well. Okay, we're back. Everybody back? Sure. Okay. So what do we got? Kyle, I started listening to the, the recent Data Skeptic. Why don't you tell everybody what's going on? I didn't finish it yet, but I started. Oh, sure. Yeah, the latest episode's called Ad Network Tomography, which is a word I didn't know till I read this paper. Uh, but something that's going on now is your privacy is being uh, put more in the foreground on online and with what people are allowed to track and whatnot. The people who wish to track you are now tracking you in the background and exchanging yeah. data with each other in ways you can no longer see. <sighs> so Shocking. they're coming up with systems to audit that process and uh, catch a few people red-handed who are doing this data sharing breaches. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. Great. Very good. What else we got? Oh, well, just before we came on, I recorded a promo which is going to be played on the skeptic zone this weekend uh, for my upcoming talk. Somebody step so, on the Shall I play it? I could play it. Sound like it. Hi, this is Rob Palmer. I write for Skeptical Inquirer as the well-known skeptic. This year, I will have the honor of speaking at SciCon in Las Vegas. My topic will be Richard Saunders' Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project, which had the goal of reviewing a large set of data to determine if there's evidence that individuals claiming paranormal powers really do possess the ability to foresee the future. Prior to the conference, I'm going to be doing an extended version of that talk via a Zoom session that you can join. This version will have details I don't have time to delve into at SciCon. So, did the psychics get things mostly right? I bet even without any paranormal powers, you can predict the answer. The Zoom session will begin on Monday, October 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. That's Tuesday at 11 a.m. in Sydney. More information, including the Zoom link, is available at recoveringfromreligion.org slash RFRX. Yeah. We did that like in about half hour, including me writing it, recording it, Richard putting the music on it. <laughs> Very thing. nice. You should do my promos. Okay, I'm going to be in um, Sacramento. Deborah and I are going to be in Sacramento on tomorrow night. And we're doing talk on set Saturday. And then Sunday is Free Thought Day. So that's cool. Here's some amazing points. Um, October. Uh, that's that. And then November. Who's got the TV? Could be. My... I don't know. Maybe it's Robin. I think okay. you found it. Another promo? Yeah, it must be. Okay. Uh, December, I have, they've given me the date of December 18th. I'll be at um, Los Angeles for the, um, to do a talk. That should be a big talk for LA. So that'll be fun. What's um, the subject? What's the subject? I don't know. I'll think of something. Because I usually start a new talk in January and then I go all year and then end it around October. <laughs> like and a stand-up comedian. You develop the new stuff for the following year. <laughs> I'll do George Garland lines. So yeah, that's what's happening there. I can't think. It seems like there must so, be. So, by the way, this this is a new talk for me, and I I did it to present it to SciCon, and you only get fifteen minutes. And that's really really short to give any subject. Hard. Right. I, I I'm most of the SciCon speakers just have a half hour instead of the usual hour. So that's right. I don't know how you're going to do that. So I'm that's, I'm going to do. Hard. I've half cut my talk time. that I've been practicing all year. I'm cutting it to fifteen minutes. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm changing the last 15 minutes to something completely different that you can only say in front of a group of 600 close friends. Ah, okay, cool. 700 or 600 close friends. So this should be really interesting. I've been trying in my mind how I'm going to say this, but it's not going to be a typical talk. I hope mm -hmm. something people will say for, for, a, for a while. So, so. Oh the... my God, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> 
So for this version of the talk that I put the link in, which is Monday at eight on a Zoom session, I, I get 45 minutes or an hour. So I can, I put a lot more stuff into it to go into details, like the stuff that we I could look at, like, okay, what were the predictions about Queen Elizabeth II? What were the predictions about Donald Trump? What were the predictions about my yeah. favorite topic, natural disasters? I can't do any of that. It's icon, right? It's no, just no, like it's overview. just an overview. Yeah. You it's should just book another session under an assumed name and yeah. then just have it be right after. <laughs> and you can just put on a disguise and then continue your talk. So I'm giving a talk for RFR on the Yay. 17th of October and Rob is going to be interviewing me. So that should be interesting. Did you pick a date? I hadn't heard that. Yeah, 17th what, of October. What's Monday. the date? September, October. October 17th. It's a Monday. She said she checked it with you and you said it was fine. Anybody else? Okay. Oh, so, so we're going back to back. I'm on the 10th and you're on the 17th. Oh, that's why. Okay. Um, big news is coming out. I can't out. talk about yet. What, Fight Club? All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing, we're, we may be doing another sting on a psychic. Uh, and another thing that's happening is today and to, today and tomorrow, we're working on a sting uh, with the facilitating communication mm -hmm. world. And it, it, we've already... Oh. It's it's incredible. We're just like about crying with with like oh my god, I can't not believe this. Wait, how do you sting a facilitated communication? How Stay tuned to find out. Mm. But it but we think we may have to wait a little more. I think that we're going to publish this in a journal. So, I mean, I'll be able to talk about it later. But oh my god, you guys! Oh my god! I opened my email and it's because it's happening right now at Syracuse University. And every, every, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so read up on facilitating communication because when this comes out, I want to be able to talk about it. I can't believe we will have all the results in. Well, we might have all the results in by enough to talk about at uh, Saigon. So, oh my uh. God, you guys. Yeah, read about it. Okay, so we're ready to come back. Well, I raised my hand, but um, where are you? He's in Canada. I am, <laughs> but but not, um, not Canada. There you are. You're so dark. I no can't see place. you there. Okay. I know. Um, I'm going to go to the hopefully not funeral on Saturday. I'm going to go to the wake. I that's hope right. That's what it is for Larry. For Larry. Um. So does anybody have? anything like i'm gonna try to record some of it and uh put it on here uh does anybody have anything that they want me to convey or anything like that probably not, just what we but... told you last week that you know that we we really appreciate what what uh him, him joining us and we miss him i i wrote <laughs> something in that uh blurb that i put up on his What's it called? McInnes and Holloway. Um, yeah, the, the obituary thing. I think yes, that, yeah. if you want to pull something from there, I don't think anything's going to yeah. happen. I don't, I, unless they say come up front, if anybody'd like to say something, and, and some places will do that. But I think a wake is just you kind of mingle. I don't think there's anything formal going on. Does anybody else know? Well, I every culture is different on what the wake is. But one thing I wanted to say, Vincent, is the most important thing is that you're just there. There are no perfect words to say or message to deliver. The mm -hmm. fact that you're going and just being there and saying, we care about Larry and I'm taking time to be here during this grief grieving period is huge. Just yeah. being there. Just That's being there. Totally. Wonderful. Yeah, anything exactly beyond that. that. Yeah. Don't Wonderful. even bother recording, yeah. I don't think. Just, yeah. just, go just be record. there. Don't bother recording? Okay. Yeah, just be there. You are yeah. you are enough just being there. It's just yeah. wonderful. Don't do anything other than that. Yeah. And if things occur to you that you want to do while you're there, like maybe if they say, is any of his friends like to come up and say a few words? And if you feel like doing it, go do that. If you want to read what, if it, if it make you comfortable to read like what the I wrote in the obituary, um, just go up there and read that if it if, if you don't that's fine if you you don't have right. there's no pressure zero pressure 
Okay. Vincent, yeah. Vincent, my father died last Tuesday, and I'm here oh, in a hotel. Man. I'm here in a hotel in another state right now. And uh, we just had the funeral yesterday. And then uh, during the week, we've had, um, we've seen, you know, a family and friends have visited and so forth. And we had a gathering where people came. And, and what they did, what, what was best, what, what I liked, is when people just would walk up to me yeah. and say, hello, Jane, I am so-and-so, you know, and I knew your father from this, you know, way, and um, uh, we were friends, and this is how I knew him, and I'm really sorry uh, for your loss, and um, I just want to tell you how much his friendship meant to me, and then pretty much that would be it, and then they would maybe walk away or, or whatever. And that would, that's all that was necessary. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And that, that was very, very helpful to me, you know, to have someone that they would just come up to me, they would introduce themselves, they would tell me how they knew him. And they would just say, I'm sorry. And um, his friendship meant a lot to me or something like that. And then um, you know, sometimes the conversation would continue, but sometimes it would just end and, and that's all that was necessary. The okay. other thing that maybe I would add to that, Vincent, is when you're talking to his family, tell them that we had these discussions here and that we all talked about him, because I think one of the things they would like to know is that we all remember and we miss him. And we okay. took time to do that at our group here. Yeah, I would say just like Jane said, you just say my name. My name is Vincent. I um, I've never met you know Larry in person. He played trivia with us. I'm here representing the trivia group and also the atheist group that he was a member of because you know we're all on Zoom and and in our trivia group we you know we've talked about this several times and how you know how sad it is and we just wanted you to know that we really appreciate. I know that he really enjoyed trivia and, you know, or whatever you say, just like what Jane said, but just say you're with, you know, you're part of this group. And then just when the person there is going to be overwhelmed and emotional themselves, the family members. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to probably just go, that's it. And then you just kind of walk away from each other. There's not going to be any hang out and tell stories or anything. It'll probably be just like, <laughs> You know the next the next the, they're probably gonna have to go to the next person exactly yeah. you know i'm not planning on being there for very long no like no you just go in 15, get some crap or something and maybe yeah. dream I'm, I'm actually yeah. glad that I, yeah. it sounds like someone talked you out of recording because i've never seen anybody recording anything i mean I, every other kind of gathering people were doing videos and whatever but i've never seen anybody even take photos at at a funeral or awake so if, family I, if you're not family, I don't think that would be appreciated. Yeah. Okay. I've, yeah. I've heard yeah. of people doing that, but I've never seen anybody yeah. do it. Yeah. Don't, I've, don't seen, I've, <laughs> I've seen it once. It's okay um, if you feel awkward and you feel weird. Death is a weird, messy thing. Yeah. And it's very like, you know, just the fact and, that you're there sharing that you've known this person, that's going to be just enough for them. Yeah, and you oh. know, it's a huge step for me to even be going there kind of thing in person. Right. So don't so even yeah. don't overthink it's, this. It's it's it don't don't yeah. overthink it at all, Vincent. It's it's as okay. easy as walking in the door, you're gonna sign probably a paper or a book that says I was here and you could write on there trivia, trivia or something mm -hmm. and the atheist group and just say that and if you want to just say write something else you probably could if you don't want to go up to anybody if you don't want to do um anything else and just leave at that point you've signed your name and you said i was there but most people will probably come up to you and most yeah. people right. you will go up to them and and there'll be like a line or something they'll be like it'll be obvious who the family is and, and I, I think that the most meaningful yeah. thing for me has been like when pe that just the fact that people would come, the fact that people would take the time to get in their car or whatever and come there 
and show up. That's what was meaningful for me. And then they would come in and they, they would walk up to me and introduce themselves and, and just say something, say, I'm sorry for your loss. That's, that's all they want. That's, okay. that's yeah, because they're, they're overwhelmed. Yeah, just like Jane says, they're, they don't, they're not going to sit there and have a deep, in depth conversation with you. And there's no. probably somebody standing next to you that is waiting to greet them also. And so you have like 10 seconds of the time. And you may it have a right. person come too. up and ask you who you are. Like my coworker's husband passed away unexpectedly a month ago, two months ago. And we had to go, we went to her husband's funeral service and the family was very shocked that her two direct supervisors came to just out of their work day to be supportive of her. Oh, and she's wow. only been employed with us for less than a year, but it was just the right thing to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Okay, everybody, All right. on, on that lovely note. And <laughs> yeah. time, is that this Saturday? This Saturday, yeah. Oh, so a I'm, couple days. Yeah, so I'm getting, like, really, so I'll have lots to talk about uh, next Thursday. And, okay, uh, yeah, and, of course, uh, yeah, no recording. I wouldn't think that, yeah. Yeah, that'll be so, weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother. Okay, so Peggy Deer, Peggy Dearest, there she is. Yes, thanks. Is she, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow, to follow that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm following it up with something, and I'm not. I can't tell if it's easy or hard. So it'll be interesting to see oh, what you guys. Be, is it George related? How is it's George? Not, by the way, George is, is doing great. On? He, oh, he's he hasn't had a coat on for a while. He's all healed up and. and <clears throat> Is fine. Uh, barking at, is he still barking? Did you notice a difference in his personality? <laughs> Not yet. Still bark. But tonight's category is you're gonna uh, it, uplifting though it isn't. Um, so it's about <laughs> wrecked ships and the captains of wrecked ships. So I'm gonna give you a list of ten famous ships that have sunk or been wrecked, and and then the next input into the chat will be a list of 10 captains of ships and you have to match the ship to the captain so this is going to be like enterprise enterprise a enterprise b enterprise C. <laughs> i don't from, think so i don't think no. so are these the real that? ships or you fictional wish, ships or both you'll know in just a second because i'm about to put in the chat the list uh, of the all ship. right all right hey right. i'm muting everybody okay Everyone's muted, Peggy. Okay. Can you see the list? Yep. Mm. The second list is about to go in. So so you verbally said or orally said when it sank or was wrecked, and this just says sank. So what's the deal there? Well, once they wreck, they sink. So not necessarily. Pretty much. So how do you define sink? Because some of these did not oh, sink. Oh, come on, Rob. At least one of these did not sink. It's you Rob. You have to define it. Match the captain to the ship, the famous ship that was okay. involved in some awful calamity. Thank you. He feels better. Hey, anybody who goes to PsyCon, I want you to know Rob dances. Like, like you know, that kind hey, of He's going to come to PsyCon just to poke Rob with a red hot poker. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, he'll, he'll dance. So, so just, just letting you guys know. That's how we can resolve a conflict if it comes to that. A dance dance -off. Did you guys see that on the umbrella umbrella factory? Umbrella team? Umbrella? Getting closer. Umbrella. Academy. Academy. Academy, yeah. Somebody posted that on Facebook, the, the dance off. And I haven't watched season two or three because I kind of was like. Is it oh. better than the dance off in Guardians of the Galaxy? They said it's the best mm -hmm. dance off they've Which ever seen. They do that? I just no, watched no. the video. Only Avengers movies. All right, you guys are all going to dance off to your rooms now. <laughs> That was funny, Peggy. Okay, let me put people on their teams. Nice there. segue, Peggy. Very, Very nice. well done. Okay, Bob goes to room one. Caspian goes to room two. Cindy goes to room three. Uh, Bill, not Billy Joel either. Who's that? Is that Ron? Who's not Billy Joel? Oh, that's Karen. It's not little girl. Good to see you. Five. No, you're not in five. Take that back. Don't go there. You're in one. 
Let me put you in the right room. Uh, Alan's brother had not Billy Joel, so I put no, not Billy Joel. Joel. That's good. Okay, see you in a few minutes. I'm in room. Oh, Susan will know these. Of course. Yeah. Let me look at the list. Okay, let's see. Do um, we have somebody in here who already knows all these? No. Uh, you know, I would think that I would know the captain of the Titanic, but yeah, uh, it is. Is there anybody who's not on here? I think it's Edward John Smith. I would say John Smith. I think so. You know, British name. Um, okay, so the Andrea Doria. I don't think I know that. Estonia, no. Car 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 Carpentria is uh, the one that rescued the Titanic. People and that was it, Prothero. It wasn't a woman. I don't know. We were just saying before you joined us that we know a lot of these ships, but we don't know the names of the captains. Mm -hmm. For some reason, Prothero sticks out. Let me see. Endurance. So basically, we, we can go by nationality. Okay, the Lusitania. Lusitania would be um, German. Right? Isn't Lusitania I German? So. I think it is German. So that would be William Turner or um, Arvo Anderson. No, Arvo is more of like that, a that like sounds German. German name. Arvo? I would think Arvo would be more Scandinavian. Arvo is um, that's a Norwegian. Oh, who is, um, when the Lusitania? Huh? Was the Lusitania? I'm trying to remember. Oh, no, the Carpathia. Carpathia was wasn't that a Norwegian ship? The Carpathia. I, I thought it was another British ship. Or was it? I Maybe don't had know. A, I know it was the a, Titanic. Yeah, one of them had a Norwegian captain. Okay, so the Donia Paz. That's the piece. That would be this guy who's got a Spanish name, right? The uh the nazaro don't all Maybe. argue with me at once i'm i'm not used to that <laughs> edmund, oh, edmund someone, fitzgerald. Can, is someone taking notes no i'm not okay edmund fitzgerald is from the song so that's right uh um, can, can you take notes I'm, I'm on an ipad so it's um can you take notes anybody remember the song edmund. Gerald, I'm sure they said the captain's name in there somewhere. Uh, ah, fantastic. Could it oh, be Mick Sorley? Who's got that? Who's screen sharing? That's Cindy. Aye. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cindy. That's great. So the Edmund Fitzgerald would be probably with. Um, oh, gosh. What is, I can't, I haven't heard the song in so long. <laughs> uh, Mick Sorley or Worsley. What name sounds like it would be? And the others, I don't know. Okay, okay well, I'm looking at F and I'm seeing that name Amy, which I am assuming is a woman. Yeah, um, could it be I the could be Mont Blanc? That's what I put it at. Pardon okay. me? Mont Blanc? That sounds because French. Sounds French. <laughs> yes, I, I would agree with that. And, and then, then does um, the ship yeah. necessarily name of the ship go with the the country of origin? Probably not, but we have. I know I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna guess somehow, right? Okay. So I is sounds Italian. Yes. Yeah. Captain sounds Italian. Which one of these ships sounds Italian? <laughs> so move the ones, move them so that we know what we have left over. The choices yeah. we have. That might help. Okay. Um, so can you one. like kind of like put a put a cross through it or something? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, that helps. All right. So, indeed, Donna. Pause. Did, did, did you know the Carpathia, Susan? Well, it's, I thought it was British. I don't know that for sure. What is RMS 
Royal Majesty. Yeah, it's got to be British. RMS is um Royal Royal Majesty ship. Is that right? It's also the Lusitania, also. And the Lusitania was in Germany. It was British. You think? Right? I thought the Lusitania. Oh, it Lusitania. was bombed oh, by yeah. the Germans. Oh yeah, that's I don't right. think it was oh, German. Yeah, it was, America, it was a it was a British ship that was coming to America, right? I, you guys, I am not supposed to be I, the one that knows these things. I, I, I think the Lusitania was bombed. It was bombed by yeah. the Germans during World War II. World War I think you're right. I'm I'm remembering World War it. One, from right? the, like, World War One, so, right? Yeah. Um. So, SS is um. What do you uh, think? What does the SS stand SS, for? SS uh, would be. Um, British also, right? Something ship. I'm never on a yeah. SS. I thought it was, SS could be American. It's British or American. It's not. Because on Gilgit Island, the SS Minnow. Yeah, I think it's American. Oh, Andrea but it can't, be Mont American. Blanc. it can't be Mont Blanc, though, if it's American. And Andrea Doria is not American. Yeah. I don't um, think. Okay, put the others we have in there. I think Prothero okay. might be. Um, yeah, Prothero is a famous name, so I'm thinking Prothero is either the Edmund Fitzgerald, and it's in the song, and I just don't know, or it's. Um, Elvis, but. I think it might be. I the, think the Edmund Fitzgerald might be an American. Uh, yeah. No, so it was. Um, it the, well, the, the American is Canadian, thing. isn't it? Could be Canadian. Could be. But the American names are, um, let's see what we got. Turner is American name. It's also German. William Turner. But you know, in America, we have all these names from other countries. Yeah. We're, all, we're a melting pot. Gordon Frank Lightfoot wrote that song. Oh, Ernest. Ernest is a very American name. Well, Ernest. You know, sorry. Prothero. What do you, what do you think of that Prothero last name? But William is the first name. You know, because the the song it sounds, uh, it sounds like, British. Has the I'm sure it's got the captain's name in there somewhere. I bet you the William Prothero is the Carpathia, number four. How much would it be? 4C? What do you think? I'm I'm leaning towards that or the Fitzgerald because it seems like it fit in the song better. I don't but Fitzgerald I've heard the song that many times, but Oh, I don't know. Okay, what else we got left? <laughs> well, should we just stick them okay, down so, and close the it? All right, so was there any decision made on any definite decision made on um, eight or, or? Okay, we do have one on that, the Spanish name, B. Estubo, Estubio, no, ran, ran. Which, which ship? Also I think he should probably be with the the Costa Cortina or the Dona Paz. What do you think that language is? Dona Paz. Well, Paz would be peace. What would be what would be the MV? I wish I'd paid more attention. Uh, Costa Cortina is also well, that's very Spanish sounding. It is. I think it's. Doña Paz would be like. I think it's Spanish. Is, uh, like the, like a uh, the woman of peace, or like Doña would be like a, a honorific mm -hmm. for a. Um, Doña, you know, like a. Mm -hmm. Like Bella Donna, or uh, what? What does that M V mean? What does the S S mean? State no. I don't think it's German. Edmund Fitzgerald, I thought was Canadian. Or did it have this to is be? Edmund... This Could it be just a destination for a type of ship, like steamship? But no, I think it's the country. 
a country i think like a, a navy or something yeah i think it's uh, there should be royal like extra... ship is that rms is like her majesty's the royal royal, royal, Majesty's, royal Majesty's ship, Majesty's ship, ship or something, yeah, something like, like that, that. Yeah. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to think that SS stood for sailing ship because I, because of the SS men. Um, yeah. um, so, but I'm sure that's not sailing ship, but I used to think, you know, it must be something like that. Something ship. Um, but, you well, just start filling this stuff in? What? You should start filling these in. So number two, so we want to go in order. The Andrea Doria. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Andrea Doria is an American. It's American. I thought I Andrea Doria was American. Maybe it is. Maybe it is because, because SF, that would mean Edmund Fitzgerald is American. Either American or Canadian, uh, yeah. probably American. But then that makes Mont Blanc. Uh, all, it's also an SS. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. I think it's Canadian, and that would make sense for them to have a Mont Blanc. Yes. Yes. Well, that's they're, they could all be Canadian, those okay, three. Okay, so names that are Canadian sounding, Amy, does make sense. Um, yeah, because they have the French Canadians. Yes. Oh, oh sure. no. It's not even. <laughs> you got to start putting stuff in. Okay, hurry yeah, up, so you guys. So number put, two? Prothero, put Prothero for uh, the Edmund Fitzgerald and put... Um, Calamari, Pierre Calamari goes to. Oh, hurry up, guys. Funny. I would just put the, put the letter next to the number. That's all. Good enough. Okay. That's Gerald. Well, well. Oh, you guys, we got to hurry. The Carpenteria would be. The Carpentia. Uh, Turner. Who is it? Turner? Ray Turner J. For Carpenteria for four. Four J. So and four is then, J. And uh, then Don, Don Paz. Okay, Arvo Anderson, put him in with the endurance, which is five, five D. And we're back. And guess on the rest. <laughs> we we weren't even close to finished. We had gotten three. Okay. Yeah. You got you, you gotta work, work, you gotta work faster. Uh, okay. Apparently so. I'll give you, you a, I'll give you a maybe three minutes. Uh, well, it won't matter. They're sunk. Okay, no. Oh. 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 I love that. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so let's let's get this done. Okay, so what about Estonia? Um, Estonia. How about okay. Ernest? Mixler? We'll put back the um. We want G for number three. Okay. You guys can out. I'm just saying some stuff. That's that's okay. I, I have no idea. Random. Okay, which one looks like Arvo Anderson? Arvo sounds very Scandinavian. It does. So and by the way, you? the endurance sounds very American. Yeah, that's uh -huh. the it. endurance. Wasn't the endurance that whaling ship out of Cape Cod? The I don't know. Ship? And Turner sounds so, very American to me too. So do you want well, T or endurance? Like the um, the American West. He did or maybe H for endurance. Okay. Well. Yeah, that sounds that sounds American to me also. Frank Worsley. <laughs> that sounds very American. Yeah. And, so does um, Ernest McSorley. I thought the endurance was the um the whaling ship from Manchester. Oh, you know what the endurance is? It's that um isn't it that one that um what's his name? They went, oh god damn it. Oh um sorry for cussing on the recording. Um <laughs> uh, it's the first time that's ever happened. I know what it is, and I just wish I could think of his name. Oh, what's down here in one of these? It's what? Are you trying to think of a singer songwriter or the captain? No, no it, it, I'm trying to think of the story. It, it was, oh. this, it was the, the endurance. endurance. Yeah, 
it was a it's a famous yeah um, well, I thought it was a whaling ship. I thought it was a, the Nantucket whaling ship. Jane, you're going to be awesome at Icon <laughs> and the um, interpretive dance for Bohemian Rhapsody. Just saying, okay? You got to get on the floor and you just let it hang. Um, oh, gosh. I, I, saw the movie, uh, the, I saw the movie about the endurance. Uh, it was really interesting. Is it American? Yeah. yeah. About the big storm. Yeah. Yeah. It was, and they um, got trapped. They couldn't. I I think they got trapped like it, the, and then the water like maybe it got trapped like in the. So who's mud the captain? Uh, yeah, that I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we we're we're not much farther along. We were. What are we missing? Okay, so let's, let's where uh, are we? Number seven, maybe I the column Just column like A. Pink. Yeah, seven is I. Okay. Well, we, right we, yeah. Seven is I. Okay. What else? Quick. Well, what don't we have? What are we missing, Cindy? Okay. Uh, number six. Lusitania. 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 Okay. The Lusitania we figured out, didn't we? I I didn't get it. I mean, I didn't. Um, uh, put, do we have to write Worsley for something? Yeah, we put. Okay, it's not Worsley. Put um, whatever's left. Like. Anything. It's a British guy. So put Frank Worsley. Mm. Well, the last one we were talking oh. about, Cindy. Just Jonas. Jonas Grumby. Oh. SS Minnow. Oh, oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Jonas Grumby, the SS that. Minnow. That Girl, was Jonas hard. Grumby. Yeah. That's his name. The skipper's name is Jonas Grumman. Oh my God, I never heard that before. That was a trivia question I did. What was the skipper's name? Was you that, ever, Rob? Was you that ever given in the show? Yeah. I think it um, was. Evidently. Yeah, the first episode. Didn't was they have Captain like a... a Jonas didn't they, Grumby? They, wow. Didn't they flash their names on the screen as they showed yeah. them? And, and the skipper, the skipper too. Skipper. <laughs> I thought we did a category on like, Gilligan's Island. What? I did more than one. Yeah. On Gilligan's Island? I thought we How did How many that. not Billy Joel's are there here? <laughs> I'm trying to send Karen a... Okay, I can't send messages. Never mind. Not Billy Joel either is Karen. I'm... I'm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, have That's the okay. either in there. Team, you've got to trust me. I just threw in ladders. Cindy, just pick something really quick. Oh, you, you know what, Janine? Going. Who cares? Yeah. You're the only one that knows what's on okay. there. Okay. Right I'm the only one that knows... Cindy, so, did, you, did you figure it out? You're on mute. No, I, I'm just filling it in. Okay, <laughs> fill it in quickly before she, before she starts giving these answers. Okay. That was we went back for a few minutes and it barely helped. <laughs> <Our truth. laughs> Sorry. That's okay. No, I want harder categories, you guys. This is well, I was hearing. It's no fun to have it where everybody gets freaking. Oh, tired. no fun at all. I wanted to be hard. <laughs> You're going to love my bonuses. Oh, lovely. <laughs> we get in, I got into this category and they actually were relying on me to know something, which scared the crap. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Mike goes, oh, good. Susan's here. She'll know some of these. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not normally here to learn to know anything. I'm usually here Somebody, to know Somebody should come up with a game called T-Ball Trivia. Oh, there you go. Are we ready? Cindy, Name a number. Yeah. We're ready. Cindy, you all right? Sure you can give yeah. the number and okay. the letter. I will give all the information because they're short. For number one, the RMS Titanic. The captain's name was E. Edward John Smith. All right. Yes. That one. Oh. Captain's What's the ladder? Captain give e. the ladder. E. That's e, like an e. elephant. He yes. is an Edward John Smith. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> Edward John Smith died on board, by the way. Yeah. Number two is the SS Andrea Doria. That Letter. was an, an Italian ship. It's Letter. I, oh. Piero okay. Calamai. He lived. I don't know how. I can't remember. But they went out and picked a bunch of people up on that ship. Peggy, do you know what SS stands for? Oh, I looked it up and I knew it like when steamship. I did the category. Steamship. <laughs> I don't think it's steamship, but 
Okay, what was it? Three was what? Three is the MS Estonia. The uh -huh. MS Estonia uh, captain was D. Arvo Anderson. It was some kind of Scandahuvian things that goes from one place to another. We did get the Scandinavian part. Oh, like right? a ship. You know, yeah, one but we didn't get the ship right though. No, but we did figure out he was Scandinavian. Scandinavian, yes. SS is steamship. I just looked it up. Thank you. Okay. I thought that was one of that. Well, that was a guess. That was okay, just my four? guess. Number four, the RMS Carpathia or Carpathia, depending on how you want to spell it. And it was the one that went to pick up some Titanic survivors, right. but later was uh, torpedoed, as I recall. And that is C. William Prothero. Who also ah i knew it i hope that's what we ended up putting arvo no. by the way is presumed to have gone down with the ship but it was hard to find information i thought people agreed on j so that's why i have j there oh i prothero that's that was our guess down. yeah and that was wrong apparently wrong <laughs> number five is the endurance and that was the ship that took shackleton and all those lunatics to the pole shackleton. oh that's it jane jane was like all over it and couldn't quite remember <laughs> i thought shackleton was, like. was the captain why was shackleton, shackleton not was not the captain of the ship he was the leader of the expedition but the captain of the ship was h frank worsley that oh i got that he, oh, he, yeah. lived, yeah. he lived and be, oh, everybody yeah. from that ship lived and but frank worsley became very famous he wrote a book or two and anyway ernest is g and that was for our, our ship is being scuttled seven no. endurance scuttled. okay number that was the endurance number six is the rms lusitania and that is j william thomas turner also lived, did not go down with the ship. <clears throat> Number seven is the MV Doña Paz. That was a Philippine ship. One of the worst disasters in the history of seagoing or some thing, something. As I say, it's been a long time. That is B. Eusebio Nazareno. What makes it the worst? The most, most dead? Yeah. It wasn't the most number of like soda pops lost or anything it's human <laughs> <laughs> guys number eight is the ss edmund fitzgerald and for those of us trying to think if it was in the song we don't know yet but that Not was um eight it is frank mcsorley yes. g g frank i'm sorry ernest mcsorley not frank mcsorley that's g it g now? ernest mcsorley okay. Okay, G. And then nine is the Costa Concordia. This is probably the one most of you would have gotten because it's so recent and it was so famous. That is A. Francesco Scatino, uh, who was yeah, jailed for manslaughter. Most of us got that one, Peggy. Yeah, most of us got that one, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was in the news a lot and he went, ended up going to jail. So I think this one was the easiest because the Mont Blanc matches the name of the guy, but okay, the SS Mont Blanc is F. Ami Lemaduc. But isn't that friend. a woman's name? That's a not, woman, yeah. -A -A not in this case. Oh. You're no. just it's being like, sexist. It's like one of those names like Wesley. Like Francis. Is not just, a, yeah. or, or like Paris. Or yeah. Marion. Okay. Paris now I'll put them in, oh, the, in the chat so you can have so you can cherish these forever. Oh, that was really hard. Yeah, I, I stopped cherishing them five or six minutes ago. <laughs> oh, we sorry. we basically used um, nationality to reason it all That's out. We got that was that was the way. The really the only logic left, other yeah. than there was too many that were kind of the same. But I figured people would know Titanic. Somebody would. People would know the endurance. People would know the Scatino guy because he was in the news now. Anyway, sorry. No, that was you got some points though. Good category. I like yeah, it. Yeah, very good. Yeah, Read I about some one more tougher category. That's not okay. Billy Joel either. There's no SS Billy Joel. It was surprising to me. I know. <laughs> if there was, Peggy would have torpedoed it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Billy Joel wrote a whole song about boats. The oh my song. God. This whole category is full of ship, so. <laughs> Oh, doors, please. Doors. I'm trying to paste the answers. Hold on a second. 
I have no idea. I will be as surprised as everyone else when I hear what our score is. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody except me knows, and I'm not telling till we announce it. Okay, yeah, we're, I'm in the same way. Hold on a second. I'm trying uh, to. Yeah, we know how to delegate on this team. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm always a guest, <laughs> and I'm not taking responsibility. Oh no. no. Okay, hold on a second. Five, six, William Turner. It's hard for me to get these in these stupid little boxes here. Six, seven. Just died with all the crew. Poor guy. Remember back about 20 years ago, the the whole endurance thing, it got to be really popular and yes. a bunch of books and there was a big exhibit at a museum at the, um, I'm trying to remember which one, somewhere in New York. It was very cool in New York City. I guess it's the Natural oh. History Museum, I think it was. Possibly. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Nobody remembers. Tell us about that. it. Tell me about it, Peggy. Well, I think I just told you everything you need to know. Okay, I think I got them all over here now. Let's the see. zeitgeist was captured by the endurance for quite some time. But you guys were gone, you wow. anti zeitgeist people. <laughs> okay, so one, two, two, and three is Estonia. Okay, so. Are you doing your taxes over there, Susan? Yeah, I know for reals, huh? Okay, hold on. That's eight. I'm trying to get it all on the spreadsheet right. Hey, calm down now. What was two? I. Three. He what said was, three. What was, oh, steam screwer? What? What was? Okay, Andrea Doria. All right, thank you guys. What did SS stand for? What did we decide? Screw steamer as opposed to paddle steamer. <laughs> <laughs> What screw? What screw the steamer? Uh, oh, so it like tw it twisted? It has propellers it has propeller. and not big paddle wheels. Are they American? No, it's a type of ship. It's not a pre naval prefix. Oh. I'm actually curious as to why only one of the ships did not have a prefix at all, the Endurance. Prefixes are Costa Concordia complicated in naval context. Costa Concordia did not either. Or, or is it just left off and it did have one? Uh, I think it's it's very inconsistent as to who gets a prefix and what the prefix is. You know, what did you say, Mark? Somebody was stabbed? What? Somebody went on a rampage. Las Vegas, yeah, I didn't want to talk about it. This is the second time in a row we're going to Saikon and there was a mass murder right before we went. Though so this one's not as bad. But... Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. what? I, well, the big mass murder this time was in Thailand, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So here we go. I'm afraid to go anywhere on this one. All right. So let's start with um, concussions, abortions, family values. Oh, my. Thank you for asking because my team is waiting to hear. We got three. Oh. Okay. Yay! Elon Musk, please just go to Mars. Five. Yeah, but, but, mm. Okay, your own team, Peggy. Abortions for nobody except my mistress. Three. <laughs> row, row, row your vote. Four. <laughs> oh. Ben Soda is shaken, not stirred. Eight. <laughs> hate you. Hate you. I wow. Eight. 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 That was a hard category. Wow, 4.6. 4. 4. I'm ever. telling you, I like this. I like it difficult like this. Oh, you're going to love Much my more. Why? Because <laughs> I like it when it feels like it evens fun. it out a little bit, you know? It's not just all <laughs> easy stuff. She's, she's, a, she's a mean lady. Haven't you figured that out? It actually <laughs> does not even announce it because if someone knows them all, they're going to get a 10 and we're all going to suck. If it's easy, we'll be closer to all getting a 10. You see? Isn't it like rounds to separate the men from small furry creatures from out with the <laughs> Where is Peggy on this list? I cannot find. Oh, there she is. Golly, you guys quit moving around. Does anyone know what the uh, picture is on my cover? On my it's, uh, it's a backpack. Joel. I don't even see where you are. It's uh, the, the red one, the red flag. Oh. That's not a flag. It's just yes, a backpack. 
No, it's the storm front. Front. It's the storm warning. Okay, oh. Robin, you got your port. Uh, what you talking you about? It's all well, blurred. Yeah. Yeah. All storm. right, you guys. Well, it's, it's a Billy Joel album called Storm Front. <laughs> there we go. Knew it. <laughs> Kevin, get inside. <laughs> Holy diver. Shocking. Go ahead, Robin. All righty. So, even though my team is winning by a landslide, <laughs> hey, I haven't gotten there yet. Give it a chance. My um, my category I'm calling the nerd buster category. Uh oh. It's a, a lot of guessing, numerical uh, guessing. Numerical. Okay. And I shall We're put in. the questions in the that. chat. It's a wide variety of different numerical guessy guessy things. Okay, oh, I'm muting everyone. All You're right. Good. You're all muted. Robin. Muted. That's part of the game is that okay, I'm, I'm unmuted. Out. What I'm trying to do, you'll have to bear with me for a second. I got to go back and forth to my um, Microsoft Word to cut and paste. Okay, so that will be, give me a second. I'm trying to cut and paste. There we go. Okay. All right, so this is Uh, this week, I've been kind of um, obsessing over a place called, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on a second. I think I screwed something up. Oh, no. Control <laughs> Z. Control Z. <laughs> yeah, there we go. No, I just put the wrong word. Well, the iPad, just shake it. Okay. I've been, I've been obsessing about a place called St. Paul Island, Alaska. It's a place I want to go visit. But St. Paul. I'll be back in a couple. I'll be, I have some time. St. Paul is part of the Pribilofs and the Pribilof is it's just a really birdie bird watching place. So, and, but I was looking to see, of course, one doesn't go there in January, but here's my question. Number one, according to Wikipedia, what is the record low temperature for the month of January on St. Paul? Island, Alaska, and I'm I'm trying to give fairly generous plus or minuses on these because it's guessing, guessing. So this is plus or minus ten degrees. The latitude of St. Paul Island is 57. It's you know how the it's a little north of the Aleutians, the Pribilofs, full of seals and I don't know maybe walruses or something and all kinds of really cool birds. So next question. And this is Fahrenheit, I presume. Uh, you know, if if you um, yes, it's Fahrenheit. But of course, if you want to give your answer in in Celsius, you can then. Well, convert. the reason I asked is because uh, the, the size of a degree is very different in those two scales. Yes. So. Uh, in Fahrenheit. It, so if you give your answer in Celsius, then convert it to Fahrenheit and and take plus or minus ten. There you go. That's the answer. Not at minus forty. It is. Bob. Okay, now a little bit closer to us. Uh, we are. Just having a real hard time with my little Microsoft Word. Oh, we, can okay. come, we can come back next week. <laughs> okay, so some of us are going to the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas next week. Uh, plus or minus 500. Wait, next course, week? Did I, did I misbook my flight? Yeah, you misbook your flight. Uh, maybe it's the week after. Right? The week after. It's sometime soon. How many rooms are there in the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas? Plus or minus 500. <laughs> oh my God. There's zero. I checked today. They're all. <laughs> They're all booked. All right, that's number two. Now, um, next one. How? Oh, and just to be clear, not that it's going to make a big difference. These are rooms you can rent as opposed to ballrooms and all the other rooms they have for public events and stuff, right? 
I'm talking about the hotel rooms that you can stay in, not the yeah. ballrooms, not the conference yeah. rooms, yeah. whatever. Yeah. The individual rooms. Because I'm sure they have 500 ballrooms, Bob. They also they, have like, you know, 17,000 square feet of thing. casino space yes. and blah, blah, blah. Number three, how many gallons of water are in, in the, I should have said are in, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, plus or minus 50,000? And uh, if you want to give your answer in liters, you can just convert it to gallons. And then let's see, next one. We'll all, by the end of this, anybody who goes to Psychon will all be able to answer how many rooms are in the <laughs> <laughs> we'll Hey, well, you know, there are X and you know, we'll say a number and everybody like, why does everybody keep coming up to me and having to bring it up into conversation somehow? Well, because we're all on the same trivia team. <laughs> How many wordles? I know you're oh. all fans. How many wordles have there been since the New York Times took it over? Uh, don't cheat and look at your Facebook page right now because everyone puts their wordle up there and it has the number. Um, okay. It's after midnight no, here. No, after midnight here. no plus or minus on that plus one. Or minus. On no plus, uh, no plus or minus. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll give it. You know what? Plus or minus ten. Plus or minus ten. Okay, I'm gonna get this exactly right because I just did it ten minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> plus or minus ten. This is since not since the beginning. This is since New since York the Times. beginning of the New York Times. Since so when when you do it when you do it on your on your phone or whatever every day you see the number. It'll say wordle number that, whatever. That, that, that's yeah, but is number. that is that the number the number that's on there when you do it every day? Is that the number since um, uh, New York Times took it over or since the very beginning? I'm pretty sure it's since the New York Times took it over. No, that's the number since the beginning. They didn't change. Okay, then that's the number since the beginning. Whatever the number is on the. So then, um, what do you what answer do you want? The beginning. I the beginning. want the answer that would show up on your phone if you did the wordle right now. Okay, thank you. So Susan, when you cop when you copy her question, you have to change it. It's not yes, I am. time to go. Okay, yeah. Sorry. No, I've got it. I got it. I'm I'm on it. I'm paying attention here. For all those people in the future who will need to come and look at our records, because we keep our records. I don't have right. shoved in my toilet or I'm not eating them. According to the 1920 census. What was the population of Peoria, Illinois in 1920? Plus or minus, <laughs> plus or minus 20,000. Did Susan used to live there? <laughs> I've never lived anywhere but where I live right now. In okay. California. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get some good This is answers. brutal. I know, I love it. I'm, love I'm, it. I'm trying to give you some good plus or minuses so it's you can guess. It's called Nerd Busters. It's it is the Nerd Buster. You guys. All right. The current New York Times uh, best-selling book is called Verity by Colleen Hoover. Plus or minus 10. How many weeks has this title been on the New York Times bestseller list? Uh, and here is one for Jamie. Oh, Jamie gets his own. I'm throwing one out for Jamie because, you know, we're so American oriented. Plus or minus 500,000. How many total cases of COVID have there been in Thailand since the beginning? That they know of. <laughs> According Reported. to Worldometer, that is my source of, oh, yeah. of um, COVID data. Jamie, it's all on you. <laughs> your team has to win this one. I better be on your team. But I don't think so. All right, number eight. Plus or minus 2,000. How many levels are there total in Candy Crush? Oh, Robin! That's cruel. I just, he heard, my, Candy I just Candy Crush, heard my husband say, oh, still, shit. <laughs> he still is, I bet you anything. Who cares? My husband says, who cares? <laughs> We're going to know this. We're going to be able to go to Cyclon and just randomly Boring. talk to people in the elevator. Okay, this one is for Peggy and, and for everyone else to laugh at us. Uh, let's see. And I'm, I'm getting it from a certain source. So I'm putting as of 
January 24th, 2021, how many active licensed attorneys are there in the state of California, plus or minus 30,000? Go, going back to eight, I don't know Too if many. Someone, said, someone said this because I had my headphones off because I was asking my wife who is addicted to Candy Crush. Uh -huh. She said there's three different versions of the game. Uh, there are, but I'm talking about the original Candy Crush, the the first Candy Crush, first just one, Candy yeah. Crush. We're now, there, you know, there's, can, there's um, Candy Crush Soda Saga and so on, and but no, I'm talking about the original Candy Crush. Really? <laughs> okay. Like this? <laughs> you guys are so funny. And finally, let's see, I, I'm going to give you plus or minus 500 on this one. <laughs> what is the length? Let's see. Plus minus 500. What is the length of the Pacific Crest Trail? What are the units? And what um, well, and you can, it, uh, it, uh, it's miles, but if you guess in kilometers, you can convert it to miles. And what states does it touch? Well, that's for me to know and you to guess. It, guess, it touches several states. Oh, sorry. I looked away a minute. I, I had to have headphones off again. What is PCT? Pacific Crest Trail. Oh, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> Pacific Crest Trail. <laughs> Great question, Robin. Great question. <laughs> okay. Plus or minus five hundred. How many? Oh, how many? Um, how many miles? And if you if you guess in kilometers, you just got to convert it to miles. These are hilarious. <laughs> okay. You guys up for this one? This is the nerd uh, buster. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Send us away. Uh -oh. uh, well, what do I do? Let's see. I have to do something. I have to say um, breakout room. Breakout rooms. This, 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 rooms. Is where, this is where a real psychic would come in handy. <laughs> it would be just listening to Robin, but you'd have to listen to Robin, though. Okay, team. I'm so excited that I'm here. <laughs> All right. to leave and come back later. This is the nerd room. <laughs> okay. All right. Mine's a January. I'll go to room one. Plus or minus 10 degrees. I hate topics like this. I think it's fun. It's, it's, it's just fun. out and out. It's out and out guessing. I mean, well, it, it, it's logical. So I, it's I have a good... Like, Good couple of guesses for one, and a and a fairly decent idea for two, and then I'm I'm then I'm done. Okay, right. so okay. record low temperature for the month. So what would be really cold, like negative minus, 20? minus eighty or something? It's like that. not that cold though. So understand that that part of Alaska isn't really that far north, and the the ocean there kind of moderates things. I think yeah. Somewhere between negative 20 and negative 30 below. I'd say like maybe negative 30 below. How about what's the plus, what's, do we have a plus 10. minus? Do yeah, we have a, a plus or minus plus or 10. minus 10? So negative 25. Okay. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't go any lower than negative 30. Uh, why don't you just pull there as it gets to my not North Dakota? Yeah, she just picked, she didn't say this is her coldest place in the United right. States. She just said, I'm really- I think a lot of people are going to see the word Alaska and think cold. And think it's cold. Oh, so and we think we want the 25 or do we like 30 because it'll give us a right. different range or what? What's well, north of the Aleutians though. And that's mm -hmm. pretty far north. But but I take your point, right. with, especially with the well, water. And then if you do 30, then like, like uh, Ben was saying, if you get 30, then, you, then you've got a range of 20, you know, my 20, 20 to- 40, yeah. 20 to 40. Yeah, let's do negative 30. Yeah. Okay, okay done. Okay. All right, how, how many, many rooms, rooms are in the hotel? hotel? I think it's about 3,500. By the way, wind, wind, wind chill doesn't factor into no. that, does it? No. Uh -uh. Not 35,000, 3,500. So we've got what, 25 of floors. Of Is there about 25 floors? Carl? Mm -hmm. About 25 floors? Uh, I don't know how many floors. I just think it has about 3,500 rooms. 
Yeah, I think well, that's there's about 25 floors, I think. And then there's about. There's a couple of wings. Yeah, the, I, think, the I, think, towers. I think I think I think thirty five hundred sounds a reasonable in number. Is it the largest hotel or is that just the one you oh, guys no. want to no, stay? That's just where you're going. This that's just one of the conventions that. That's where we're going to yeah. stay. Yeah, there are much bigger hotels. That's what I was wondering. Okay. It's been water. water. Who knows? Their Olympic size swimming, swimming pool. Gosh. Um. Well, 50, 50 meters is the uh, the length of uh, of uh, Olympic pool. We can figure this out if we know how wide it is. How many lanes is an Olympic? Uh, and about if eight, we know its lanes, depth, about eight eight or nine lanes. I think the I think there's more than thirty five hundred. I think it's closer to five thousand. Since we have a 400, uh, a plus or minus 500, I think we should go up. There's at least 25 floors. There's at least 100 rooms per floor. And I thought I remember floor. looking this up recently. What what floor were you guys on last time, Susan? I don't know. I've been there so many times. I don't know, like 15 or 17. Or... Yeah, because you're above me. I was on the ninth floor. I think there's... Picture the elevator. Yeah, I was just thinking How many that. buttons are in the elevator? There's at least 23. <laughs> And there, on the floor, you would think there would be. Well, it depends on which part of the hotel you're in, because not all of them are all the parts right. are all the same height. Of course. So <laughs> if you had, how many? Okay, if you get out of the elevator, there would be probably a hundred rooms. What do you think? Not, not more. Well, like on a hallway, not on a. Oh, when you get out and you go to your right or you I think I looked left. this up recently though and it was something in the neighborhood of 3500 yeah I, I'm comfortable with that okay, okay. well could you, could, you do, could you do could you do 4,000 and then that covers the higher and the lower oh uh, I don't remember if it was quite 3500 or un, a little under 3500 all right uh, so I'm okay please. with that this is you guys are in the lead anyway so if I screw you guys up that's fine <laughs> I'm uh, water I'll be happy with that. Olympics Gallon of water. Pool. No idea. So, so okay, so 50, 50 meters long, uh, but eight 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 lanes wide. I think. And how wide's a lane? Lanes probably about five, 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 five feet. feet. You could five probably feet, put yeah. yeah. And they're about five feet deep, six feet deep. Yeah, like I think that's about right. About five feet. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think they're no, no at some point because these guys yeah. dive in and they dive down. Deep. It's deeper I than think five it's, feet. It's, de it's deeper because they play water polo there and they can't touch yeah, the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I would say probably closer to 10 feet. Maybe. Deep. Yeah. At least eight, seven or eight. Yeah. More than a more than a person's how tall they are. <laughs> so if we say how many you said it's how many meters long, Alan? I think it's it's a 50 meters uh, is I think is the standard uh, Olympic pool. So I don't know how many feet that is. Because uh, well, then we can do the math and well, figure out how many gallons. 50 meters. It's like the, the I'll let Carl line. do the math. I'm ready to fall asleep. <laughs> it's probably about oh, 50 meters. Oh yeah, well, somewhere around 180 right. something feet. 180, 190. Because a meter is a little more than a than a yard, and that's three feet. And a gallon is right. <laughs> Are you still on number three? I moved on. Come on. Chop chop. Well, well hey guys, we can talk about others while we do the math. The, okay. the, I'm trying to remember the hundreds in the wordle. Are we at two, three, or four hundred? Or in four hundred? I think it's around four hundred and sixty something. No, then it's I think it's four seventy three. Is it four seventy three? Oh wow! Well, let's take okay. his exact numbers. Yes, I, so I, I like have that. Have some major wordle. I just couldn't remember. I the, haven't the played hundreds. it in forever, so yeah. that's fine. Good. Okay, you're not missing anything. I did mine in three today. 
Yeah, wow. I did. I think oh, mine wow. was three. Oh, you boy, did, yeah. And, and that Al, down. Alan did his in three also. Oh, boy. Let me write that down. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think Robin was four or five. That's really intense. <laughs> I was I was not good today. I, I well, can't you, wait. Know, you know what? When we get to Cyclone, you get in the elevator and you tell the stranger. That's going to be really interesting. That conversation. Just <laughs> like them say, how I did the wordle today in three. <laughs> well, how many other questions that we answer in trivia are meaningless information anyway? So well, that saying, one's like, very meaningless. All of them. Okay. <laughs> according to the 19, or at least the 1920 census, according to that with the population period, that has like relevance someday, maybe somewhere. Somebody um, would somebody cares. Where is Peoria? <clears throat> Illinois. Peoria, okay. Illinois. Okay. How close is it to Chicago? Not, three hours. Not, three hours. not close. It's out in the middle. Closer is, to is Alan's question. Like it's there. by Springfield. <laughs> Alan, quit quit calculating Olympic size pool water and let's go to Peoria. How big is that now? Oh, about this big. <laughs> <laughs> um, like the size of a pool. Well, <laughs> it's not big. I I doubt it's. I I, I maybe I, if it's maybe a hundred two hundred thousand. If, if that, uh, yeah, I, I, I would know. I would think it's probably in the neighborhood of a hundred hundred fifty thousand right now. Now, so I bet you it was probably about twenty five or thirty thousand. Law firm I worked for used to have an office there, and it was pretty podunk. <laughs> the only thing I know is, uh, you know, like uh, Bradley University is in. Uh, well, the plus or minus is twenty k. So you would think it's probably at least 20K. Yeah, I was going to say, if we say 20K, that's like zero to 40K. Right. I mean, so, not to say that's how not about, the answer, how about, I, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be at 1920, if it would have been much more than about 50 or 60,000. Maybe, Maybe there was something going on there, Nat, then, like a railroad thing, or remember like the, the uh, feedlots by Chicago and all that stuff. Maybe there was like a, a thing there. Yeah, like a, uh, I don't a know. world's fair no. that went on for a year. Alan, was there <laughs> anything important that was going on in Peoria, 1920? You're our expert in this category, and at least on this question. Oh, Bob? Well, what do you think? What, you you what do you think of 50,000? I think that may be even high. I don't know. 40? Mm. How about 40? 40. Well, you're 40. 40 sounds good. Because then they were at 20 and 60. Yeah. Sounds good. May not be right, but it sounds okay, good. There you go. yes, <laughs> next. The current I have never heard no, of this book. Anybody? Verity? No. no. Okay. Um, Two weeks. Is it plus or oh, plus or minus yet? Ten. So it's got to be at least 10 weeks. I was, I was gonna say 40. I don't know. I've never That's heard of like it. It's like a year. Does anything stay on that long on the? On the I don't know. Years? I don't pay any attention to that That's stuff. My so guess was going to be thirty. So 30? whichever. Okay, thirty's good too. That was a wild guess. We like thirty, or do we, we want to like do forty? I'm okay with 30. either one. I guess I should look this book up. I've never heard of it. Is it? Oh, you hey, love a buddy, it. <laughs> hey, a buddy, a buddy of mine that I play with a cellist in town here. Uh, he had a his book came out uh, in. 2013 he his first book came was number 16 on the bestseller list and uh they're turning it into a movie wow, wow. wow. what they had oh is it on cello cases of stuff. no nothing to do with it it's oh it's gonna if it's anything like his book it's gonna be great so plus or minus Plus or minus 500,000. How many cases of COVID yep. in Thailand? How many people live in Thailand? I have no idea. And it 400,000. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I them. think it's like a million something. Alan, yeah. what's your friend's book um, book's called? It's it's a great, if you want to read it, it's, it's not, it's, it's fiction. It's uh, called uh, The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat. And, uh, and it's uh, Ed, Edward... Kelsey Moore and it's you can if you're a big reader you can read it in a day or two it's real quick it's really colorful um it's it's just a a really nice book and we watched him write it because he would write it he would write it longhand at uh between between shows when we were doing the ballet you know we'd go to dinner and he'd stay downstairs and write a book oh fun okay so how many how many people do you think in had COVID in Thailand Okay, so how many okay, people? So Thailand's of? Thailand's probably fairly. All those countries out there are pretty populous, right? Yeah. Um, 
Uh, oh, so I'm just thinking of the island he's on. Okay, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna say not there. Oh, the island's pretty big, so and it's that's not how many. That's not how many died. That's just no, how many, right, how many cases, cases in total. Yeah, two million. Because if you remember, at the height of the height of the uh, of the the pandemic, um, uh, uh, who's it was always saying, um, uh, drawing a blank. What's his name? Um, uh, Jamie was Jamie was always saying that they didn't have they didn't have the vaccine. So yeah, that's it was, true. It was, right. So every, everybody was getting it because they didn't have the vaccine. What yeah. was it in? A, do we know of a country that we could give a guess on that we could compare it with Thailand? Do we know how many cases were in America? Can't compare. No, but do we even know? Well, we know almost a million died. You know, so uh, and they don't. They, they, so you would think there would be a lot more deaths in Thailand. Yeah, but this but isn't about that. People, but there aren't as many people. Right. So, and well, not, Thailand's got a lot of people. Well, so how many cases do you think there have been? Plus or minus five hundred thousand. Five million. Fine. Five million. I think it's higher. You think? Yeah. Well. Uh, and it's also recorded but, that, so. but that's not the population we're talking about how many people got got the well, virus like you said they didn't have vaccines at all and it's a yeah. huge population and yeah i don't know what the population is that allow me to give a better guess million. so why don't you why don't we say five million then yeah Let's say five million. Okay, Candy Crush. I thought there was like maybe three levels. I don't. Are people <laughs> on this thing. Yeah, I was way. I, I can't even too. believe it's still around. I know. Two thousand. There's too Plus many levels. Minus. How could you? Yeah, that's what I said. Too many levels. People are obsessed. And you pay, don't you? Do you think it's like twenty thousand? Know, like even way higher than that? I, I mean, you, you can't down. have so many. Well, it's probably generated by some kind of. Well, know. yeah, obviously, but still, how well, many levels are you going to pack well, into a it game? It won't be I, again. I'm just guessing by how what what the plus or minus is. It wouldn't be. I don't think it would be as high as twenty. Probably like about twenty thousand. How about that? like ten thousand, maybe? 12, I mean, 000. I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I, 15, I keep. Yeah. I keep getting notices about the game, but I've never played it. Yeah, me neither. I've got them all blocked. They, nobody can get me anything. I, I'm, I, that's why I thought it was strange it's still around because I've got, I blocked all those games on Facebook so that they don't even send me notifications. By the way, Deborah, I was thinking exactly what you were on for number nine. <laughs> too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way too many. <laughs> so what are we thinking for eight? 10 or 15? Also too many. Or... <laughs> um, Probably closer to, to 15,000. Like twelve thousand, or... yeah, maybe twelve thousand, because the plus and minus is two. So... All right, yeah. Well, it's a guess I'm... either way, so it doesn't matter. How many yeah, attorneys? How, how deep do we think an Olympic pool is? Two meters? Uh, six. Um, sure. It's it's probably about it's may it may be about six eight feet where they die at, at one end. But I think, but then it, I know some of those those Olympic pools are a lot shallower at the at the uh, at the. Uh, well, the, the Olympic Olymp the Olympic gotta... Olympic ones are, right. I think, uniform. Well, so yeah. if it's if it's two meters, we should say six hundred sixty thousand gallons. If it's three meters, we should say nine ninety. Go right in between. There's it's well, it can't be three meters. My thought is there's ones where they go back and forth, and they have to flip. Uh -huh. to go the other direction and they're flipping and they're nowhere close to, to the bottom right to the bottom so yeah. three Plus, i think three meters i, I think is, olympic is too, way too shallow uniform depth yeah, yeah the real olympic we ones the ones earlier, at your yeah. gym that are the the olympic length are not going to be the same depth all the way well through. i you know what the the uh i i remember taking a tour at the uh, at the olympic pool in montreal they actually had hydraulics they could change the depth uh, oh. they, could, they could they could raise the floor depending on what was being what was being done. So obviously, if they, are, wa if, they were doing water, if they were doing water oh. polo, they would lower. And there's the floor. no way of knowing this answer. So come up with well, a freaking number if we, and just we, put it down. If, if, if we assume 50 by 25 and right. then a depth of oh. two would give us 660,000. 
A depth of three would give us 990,000. I, nine nine I think three meters is Deborah, the appropriate depth. Deborah, I think two meters is too about shallow. Attorneys, because your father was an attorney. Yeah, I go 990. 990. 990,000. Sounds good. I like it. I mean, 991. That was for number three, right? Yeah. yeah. Deborah, I got it. What? All right, what were we back to? Your father was an attorney in California. So this is your question, number nine. Well, you know what he would have said? Too many. <laughs> How many? So okay. Well, the plus and minus is thirty. Uh, what do we got for four? Thirty thousand. Yeah, thirty thousand. Yeah. So how's sixty? I wrote 000? down ninety-eight thousand. Fine. Good. Fine <laughs> by me. <laughs> ninety-eight thousand two hundred and forty-one. Too many. <laughs> ninety-eight thousand. <000? laughs> Deborah came up with a number. I, I mean, don't it's know. interesting that it's like. Not just an even hundred thousand, but yeah, that's fine because that'll get us to almost one hundred and thirty thousand and down to right. You know, 70, what is, down to seventy-ish. Okay, yeah. and more important, what is the Pacific Crest Trail? Oh, it goes from Mexico to Canada, so it's the it goes starts in the desert right at the border of Mexico. I forget the name of the place, but it goes up Mount Whitney. It goes through Yosemite. It goes uh, through um, into the John Muir Trail, the length of the so John Muir Trail, which isn't the whole PCT. Several thousand. It's it's. I asked my son who went, did walked part of it and was going to do a little more of it, but he's got his feet hurt. Um, he thought it was like twenty two fifty, maybe. I'm good with that. No, Wait, it's 22,000? No, no, no two, or 22, 000, 20, 2,250. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 22,000 would be crazy. When you talk about no. the length, though, if it zigzags, that's all part of the length, right? It's yeah, not that's a, true. Yeah. It's not a straight line. It, 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 yeah. yeah. If, if you had an odometer, the tra distance you would have traveled, not the linear yeah. end to end. I'm okay no. with 2,250 because I have no idea what the answer is. Robin, so, this is hard. The depth. Yeah, it sweat. could it could be a little more than that because I don't know I what it does. I don't know what it does up in the northern part, whether how straight he, he it is. Stuck on one question, and it, and it, it, else I, answer the others. It finishes, and it, we know it finishes in Maine. No, it doesn't. That's the Appalachian That's the Trail. <laughs> <laughs> we have an answer for everything. It looks like right. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we do. So we're getting close. We're getting close. How far we're we're basically else? done. We're done. Okay. okay. Let me go check room three and then I will probably close the rooms in a minute. Okay, great. Okay. I don't know that we're in any really grave danger because I have a no. feeling it's going to do any better because it's it's a lot of guesswork. Your points are so far higher than everybody else. You don't have anything to worry about. Well, and you know, with the, with the ship one, we didn't really know any answers. It was just like really no, educated. Yeah, we, we, we well, did maybe deductive reasoning. I, I knew yeah. McSorley on the Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, I, and, and then I we did it. And I knew it just sucks Smith. that we could have had a perfect 10. We just swapped two of them. Yeah. yeah. And we, I were, we I were doing some good guesses, but I think we were getting confused. Cindy was trying to screenshot her, you know, use her page. And I don't think they got transposed necessarily, or we talked ourselves out of it. And so we couldn't quite tell what had already been taken and what hadn't because we're uh, having discussions about them. And I don't think they got, I think some of the things we should have got right were wrong yeah see the way i was doing it is as we were picking them i was cutting them and pasting them she above so they were no longer down at the bottom yeah it wasn't so, she wasn't quite doing that so i think so if we want to keep like our trend going so we should get a easier. seven here because we're counting down from round i know <laughs> i i would say i was going to say that to you carl we're 10 9 8 7 the seven next this time oh who's doing we should bonus? get a six in the bonus round well, you're please, still way ahead. You're at 27. Please tell me we're not going to have a uh, mono rules bonus round. Oh, it, I don't it, know what it is. Rob is doing the bonus. We're not having mono rules. Oh, thank God. I like mono rules. It's <laughs> no, it's just it just beginning. takes longer, and I'm already no, ready to fall asleep. It's always so. it's slow at the beginning. It takes the longer. Answers, but then the no. third and fourth round. I mean, third and fourth group. It's like okay, uh, we have one. We're we're answer. done. Yeah, it's it's really easy, and then usually. You're just like if, if it's like uh, named Disney princesses, it, it's not hard to come up with di ten Disney princesses. So I think I don't think it takes any longer with mono rules than it does. I think we have to time it. it. I think it, it takes longer does than you think. Longer I think we did at some time point. We should like time wouldn't just be one night, but like for maybe like five different nights, time all the different you know things. You know we have video of all this. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, well, I, you know, I'd be sitting back. Through... Deborah, yeah. uh, Deborah, you can get in the car tomorrow and you no. can just put it on and no. you can sit there with a little You don't timer. even need a stopwatch. No. You just take the YouTube video, you move the slider to the beginning, you move the slider to the end. Oh, but we would them. start laughing and we'd go, oh, no, go back and play it again. That was really funny. Do we have to? <laughs> no. You're the one that wants I... to time them. I just almost pressed oh. my uh, my. I just almost went to my uh, my wordle. wordle. Oh, my wordle! <laughs> I, I got, and you and I be disqualified. You'd be disqualified. You can't do that. No. 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 Okay. Here we He'd go. He just have to recuse himself oh, from any further discussion of that question. What's up with Karen? That's right. Why? She All keeps right. dropping. What are we gonna do about um um the trivia? Ben, do you want to handle it? <laughs> run the trivia well who's gonna run it who's gonna have to be somebody who has really solid well, um internet and and the, the other question is are who's they gonna, going to are you going to be able to get five people to do rounds or are they going to pull off reserve rounds right. you have ready and waiting yeah and who's gonna it's like who who's gonna who's all planning on playing from yeah. vegas yeah. right I won't know. Until I, we're not I get playing to Vegas. Vegas. We're going to be too busy. I'm not taking my laptop there, so I won't be. Yeah. Unless... Will there be enough people left to really play, or do we yeah, just yeah, finally yeah, skip yeah, a week? We'll have five people, and each one of them will have to do a round. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it may just be the in your own room. the one time yeah. where we have to. Susan is not willing to let a week go by without trivia. I and I, well, I, I on a Thursday. Think, I won't be the next couple of weeks, so. I, oh um, come on. Yeah. Next week we'll decide. We'll say to ourselves, "All right." Honestly, how many people well, play? Yeah. Well, you can you can ask that how many people like next Tuesday. week. You could say how many people will actually be playing trivia next week. Bye. What and if then... we went into Tuesday? What if we went on a Tuesday? Okay. All right. <sighs> <Let me> just... <laughs> so um, the Let's purple offs. Back. Is everybody back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. The Pribilofs are not that far north, and, and uh, the record low temperature is only negative 32 degrees. Oh, yes. Or, yes. Or, or negative Stop, 26 Good job, Carl. degrees Celsius, which is not that far off of negative 20. Thank, negative thank you, Gail, for pulling me back from way too cold an answer. <laughs> We got one right. We got a plus or minus on that, Robin. All right. Uh, what it is, let, me, let me look. 10. 10. 10. Plus or minus 10. Aha, we, we, we're in. found a temperature that was negative we, 40, so you can say it was we, the same Celsius or Fahrenheit. We had a room <laughs> debate. We had a room debate in our room about how many rooms <laughs> are in this hotel room. <laughs> That's so meta. So meta. The answer is 3,460 oh, rooms. Oh, in the oh, 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 I don't know if that got any that. Nice. Oh, the one time. Oh, my God, Carl. Good they job, Carl. Data. I thought it was closer to five grand. Oh, Carl says, I think I just read it somewhere. Yeah. Well, as soon as Carl said that, I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm going to ignore it, Susan. <laughs> no offense, <laughs> but if Carl said he read it recently, the chances that he remembered it correctly oh, yeah. are pretty high. He'd remember. But I but I think I gave plus or minus 500 on that, I think. So, yeah, yeah. Quite a bit, quite a bit, a little, right. little bit of a leeway there. Um, the Olympic swimming pool is 660,000 gallons. Wow. It's 50 meters long, uh, 25 right. meters wide, and two meters deep. Sorry, Carl. Sorry, so it's we should have went with the math. two meters. I thought it was deeper than that. That's well, my bad. Know, what's I, I believe you. So what's our range? Uh, range, uh, let's see. I didn't give a range on that, did I? Uh, 50, <laughs> plus or minus 50,000. Will you, will you bump that up to 60,000? Yeah, how about 100,000? <laughs> How about four hundred thousand? <laughs> I thought you got it closest because we have uh, uh, the wordle. Wordle. I'll give it plus or minus ten. I think I didn't put, uh, yeah. say anything on the plus or minus. Four seventy four is the correct yeah. answer. Wow! It's four seventy five if you're on this side of the time. If you're in Australia, uh, it's four seventy five. And yeah, if you're in or, Toronto, it's four seventy five. Good job, moment. Alan. Yeah, good job, Alan. That's why I do. It was so close. close. The uh, the the population of Peoria in 1920 was 111,710. Wow. wow. Yeah. That big. Wow. And by the way, the population wow. today. No wait, idea. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, what number? What were you? What was the number? Peoria number five. How much was it? 1,710. One. What's it? You broke up. Say again. 
111 710 and i'll have a i'll have when i put the answers in the chat i'll have a link for everything so you can look it up and check it the population in 2020 was only 113,150 wow wait what what's 111 1 million 111 111,710 no. oh man it's not grown much no, it hasn't. Since 1920, you would think that there would be it a probably substantial grew number change. A bunch of people. It's yeah. the Rust Belt. It's the Rust Belt. It was the plague. Or yeah. This uh, book by Colleen. Uh, looks like a kind of an interesting, like a murder mystery kind of a thing. Colleen Hoover. It's been on the New York Times bestseller list for 43 weeks. Wow. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, Damn, Sorry, Deborah. We should have your oh, 40. Well. <laughs> so that was plus or minus 13, right? Damn it. <laughs> yes, by the way, plus or minus 13. The, the New York Times <laughs> Wordle game does not have the number anywhere on the main screen. You only see it when you share it somewhere, just to point that out. Um, Look, I'm looking at it right now. There's not, and I always wondered why that was. Yes, here's it, that's why we share things. Yes. Hey, okay, so Robin has a question on trivia. Hey, does okay. anybody know? Uh, has anybody heard of this book, Verity? Nope. No. Wow, amazing. Colleen Hoover has. Kind of looks like a book I want to read. Although the book, the book that's highest on my little Mount to be read right now is the book called um, "The Cruelty Is the Point," all oh. about how the Republicans yeah. suck. Oh, I don't yeah. think I can yeah. sleep at night. I don't want to be time. depressed like that. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Susan, you need to read Verity and uh, present a book report to us uh, <laughs> next week. I can know everybody's going to fail at that trivia. Um, total number of reported, I should say reported cases in Thailand is 4,682,132. Oh, All right. Yes. Prob that's probably an undercount, although I will say the yeah, tropical sure countries have done much better. Yeah. And I think it might have something to do with the climate. We heard Thailand actually handled what it. What was badly that number again? In our discussion. It's uh, 4,682,132. 4, wow. And there will be a we're, link. We're, we're right in there. We yeah. are. Jamie, Jamie wow. what's, the what's the population of uh, Thailand? Um, about 60 million. Oh, it is that big. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But the government changed the way they count because before it was total number of people getting COVID. But then they changed to only those people who were hospitalized with COVID. Oh, oh really? So the, yeah. So the numbers dropped dramatically. Oh, yeah. oh so they're okay. It's deceiving because at a peak, we were at about 21,000 people per day getting COVID. Wow. Oh. Okay. But then um, once they changed the way they count, it dropped dramatically. So that's why I thought like 12 million. But um, wow, that's that's the totally a these numbers are bad. Let's do something to uh, make yeah. it not so bad. Let's yeah. change how we count them. <laughs> that's what they did. Wow. So. Terrible. Oh, in, in reality, I mean, even in the US, right? It was just but, I mean, you also didn't have you didn't so, have the vaccine you know. for a long time. Yeah. Um, but they had vaccine. They had the Chinese. They had the Sinovac. And they had an AstraZeneca. But then um, Pfizer came, I think about six months, about six months after the start, Pfizer came. Then everyone got inoculated with Pfizer after that. And then, it all, then it all came down. So we, they, we were actually wondering if it was like, you know, uh, proven cases with tests or some statistical assumption. Because like I saw that from the U.S. government recently. And I think the number was they assume 80 percent of the U.S. populations have had COVID at this point. You know, but, yeah. you know, well, what, what a tiny percent of those were verified with a test, so they don't give the big number. Well, you know, like now, it now uh, I think the number of cases are like a few hundred per day, but it had been around 2,000 per day. But some people were saying it's like 30,000 per day, but most yeah, of nobody's those, counting any, nobody's no testing. one's counting. Someone, they're yeah. sitting at home, they yeah. take the test themselves. Yeah, yeah. we're but, like, oh, we have it. So, <laughs> you don't report yeah, it. Yeah, so very few are being reported officially. Yeah. Unless you're actually checked into a it's hospital. It's extremely problematic. They really just need to give the hospitalization numbers because we should start verified. over. Those are the numbers yeah. that really matter. Well, Robin, yeah. go to yeah. Candy right. Crush. We'll okay, Candy Crush, 12,500. How much? There are 12,500 levels. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, How many of you have? Uh, minus 2,000. And, and okay. the rate? Well, equally, so. equally useless, there are 189,532 8, lawyers. Wait, Wait, I say how, that what again. That, what how many lawyers? 189,000, almost oh, 190,000. Oh man. Dang it. Well, I fucked my team with that one. 
What was, was the Candy people? Crush nut level number again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all going to go in the chat in just a second. Okay. 12,500 for Candy Crush. And then uh, the PCT is 2653. Two, six, hey, five, we got eight. one. All right. Good one, babe. All right. You're pretty clean. Right, so I'm putting my Clean. answers and. That was fun. Answers really cool. and <laughs> check uh, uh, links. I think we got that one. All right. I got to make sure that we're, well, we'll have, we'll have double and triple checkers to make sure that the ranges is oh, I've moved on. doing are right. I'm on the next team already. <laughs> the four we see, we see how you are, Susan. I know I'm out of here. <laughs> I I think we skipped no. around on our on our uh, score, Ben. <laughs> yeah, we did six. Is that what you have? Yeah. Too? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Darn Somebody it! Got six, we needed a good... seven. Jesus Christ! We were trying to continue our downward trend of yeah, ten ninety seven six, <laughs> but. Uh, Six was supposed to be for the bonus round. Oh, well. yeah. Some of our Maybe guesses just, were super yeah. close, though. Wasn't yeah, I just feel bad. What's What's weird is I've since looked up the Olympic size swimming pool, uh -huh. and they say two meters depth, but it says three meters recommended. So there are oh. uh, potentially some three meter depth Olympic pools out there, and yeah. that would have hmm. the higher volume that we yeah. guessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think most out. people probably guess lower. We're going scores. So yeah. let's go with uh, concussions, abortions, family values. Oh, my. I think we have two. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Elon Musk, please just go to Mars. Two. Okay. Abortions for nobody except my mistress. Hello. Hello. Give him a zero. Did we get zero? Is there anything here? Zero? No, we haven't heard anything. Cindy, Jamie, Peggy, Jamie, Peggy Mike. Cindy had the score. Is Cindy around? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I I was looking at. I didn't realize they called. Um, six. Okay, we have six. What? Wow. We missed four of them. You do? Four of them were too far off the mark. Okay. Yay. Good job. Right. Row, row, row your vote. Great. We had three. And Ben Soda is shaken, not stirred. We had six. Robin's two. Oh, team. two sixes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So here we go to the final round. But before we get to the final round, I want to know who I'm filling in the spaces. So two questions. Yeah, Think I, about this. Hmm? I need to say good night. I'm falling asleep. Hi, oh, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. 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 Nice. It's only going to be. I've never done it's that before. Be <laughs> Wendy. No. He I should go to, to sleep, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. The question is I have two questions for you. We're having problems on Thursday, the day, like almost half of us are going to be at trivia. I mean, at PsychOn. Two weeks from now. So. We, not only getting somebody to run everything it might be difficult because I think once we're at Psycon, I don't think we're going to be playing trivia, but also will there be enough to play, you know, five teams or whatever. So my question is, should we skip or should we do another day? No. <laughs> Just skip it. Someone had a lot to say about that. George had a vote, but I don't know what it was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we could decide George was very week. vocal. We could decide it next week. Like do like a Tuesday or something. I don't know how many yeah. people can play on Tuesday. Okay. okay, well, but either that or we're out of a Thursday. I'll go to bed at a decent hour. And... <laughs> I, know. I like the buy idea. I still like the buy idea. One buy. I think that, that yeah. we're going to have, you've always been so proud that we even do it on Thanksgiving, but of anything we should be canceling for, it's Psycon. Yeah, right. You can I agree. do it in person. Okay. All right. So that's, uh, I'll make a Why don't you guys decision. skip Psycon and go to church? <laughs> okay, so my next thing is I need to make sure I've got, I've got Carl. Because Psycon, we believe in, in church, week. we do not. Who's going to go to church? I would like to volunteer for next week. Gil? Mm -hmm. Who else? Yeah. 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 I need two more and I get a bonus. Good night, everybody. I've got one. Okay. Bye. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Bye Wendy. Okay.
That I need my bonus in one week? category. Did I hear Mike? Like next week? Yeah, next week. Hey, Mike, I see I, your I hand. come up with another uh, <laughs> same character. You want, a, you want a bonus or a category? Regular category. Okay, I need a bonus. Pick Disney princesses so we can do mono rules. Oh God! <laughs> we did it already. Not as not as mono rules. First person yeah. found is it that you, Bob? Yeah, that, yeah. Then you could psychologize. I'll do a bonus. Karen's the sweetest thing. She knows she wants to go to bed. She says, <laughs> "Can't get yeah. to the last round until." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come, Perfect. All right. Come, so, come sober. Sober. All right. Next, we have Robert. Let me give him his powers. And let's see what we're going to do. He's got math symbols behind him unless he's been messing with this. Chalkboards. It's all about chalkboards. It's all about chalk. For zombie. Wow. Yeah, this what is, kind this, of chalk? This is going to be between you and uh, Gail on, on this team. And we're already 10 points behind. So good luck. Me? People. Uh, <laughs> you say me? Yeah. Wendy yeah, left, what, you and I are going to be the whole team, Susan. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like we're oh, good. I'm here. I, I just be, slept through the last round. We're going to be the good ones at this team. Okay, Gail, come on, pay attention. Here we go. 57. Oh, my God. Wait, so is that where you went? <laughs> where, where did you go, Kevin? What happened? Sleeping. Oh, my 95. God. 95. Don't, don't sleep for this one. Northwest Peoria. Uh, okay, well, this is numbers also. Uh, this is a specific number that I'm sure everyone is familiar with. 42. Uh, this bonus concerns an irrational transcendental number with apparently random distributed digits that everyone should be at least moderately familiar with. I want you to write the first 10 digits of pi and take one point for each correct digit. There you go. You either know it or you don't. And if Ross Blotcher was here, he would get a thousand points. Okay. <laughs> you are muted. You got it? So we get a point for everyone we get right. That's correct. And yes, that's correct. And even if we miss one and then the next one's right. No, we, then no, right. no, because then the numbers are no. Quest, okay. Question, Rob. The yeah. last digit rounded because of the digit follows it or actually oh. that? <laughs> good, good, good. Very, see, well, I knew Carl would know it. No, not rounded, the actual digit okay. and the number. Wait, you said the Ooh. first 10 digits. So we're just chopping it off after 10. Chop. That's correct. Okay. No okay. rounding, just chopping. That's correct. Okay, there you go. do this quick. Is we that got ten decimal digits, quick, you know or is that, in, does that include thank, the number? Thank you, Rob, for the quick, bo quick bonus. And those, it starts with the first oh, the number. Right one point. Um, right. um, Rob, are you including the non-decimal part? Yeah. Yes, I just said that. Okay. Right. Okay. Unbelievably, I saw somebody making a point that, oh, this person is wrong because they think pi was like 9.4. <laughs> it's not 9.4. Yeah, so. yeah, so even the first number is important. Okay, okay, go. There you go. All right, everybody. Go Mark, get yeah. that go. So let's everybody see. gets one. This should be a quick one. Where do I do this? Where do I do this? It's not happening. Where do I'll I do it. Screen? You do it. Boom. <sighs> okay, Susan, I'm in trouble. Okay, I, okay. I would have been able to do this 10 years ago, but now? <laughs> it's 3.17. No, it is not. It's one three point four. one four one. One four, I know. That's a three that's point what one four one five nine two six. One three point no one. Way. Four. You know that? Yes, it is. That's I my calculator. That. But, I, I memorized my calculator, but I don't have ten digits. I only have eight. Okay. Three point one four one what? Five nine two six. I thought it was five, three point one nine. Seven. Two six. He's right. I, I yeah, now I that you're saying right. it, I recognize it. Okay, so we need to come up with two numbers at the end. So That's it. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Okay. That's so as far as my calculator goes. Yeah, I'll pick a number, number and Kevin pick a number and and that's we we're done. Well, it can be any number because it it's random. It really is random. Well, so that's what I'm saying. Pick one number between one and ten. Okay, well, we haven't seen a three, so let's try that. Okay, so Gail's picking a three. And what do you pick, Kevin? uh five ah, that's a good number okay, okay. 3.14159 right brilliant 
And <laughs> since we, we now have a pause, Susan, I have two things that I need to say to you. Um, one is a question. Can I bring a guest next week? I'm going to have a house guest, my old college roommate. Of course, you always can bring a guest. As long as and you I, warn them ahead of time that we can get a little... I will warn her all about everything and her okay. husband. I don't know if they're going to want to come, but I'd like to invite them. Of course. Okay. I was hoping you'd say that, but I wanted to make sure. Um, and I don't know if we'll be on the same computer. Kevin's sleeping, his eyes are closed. Kevin. No. <laughs> Go away. I did sleep through the whole entire last round, though. Oh, I woke we up when you were reading the answers. We could have used those two boys. Like, wow, but you I didn't know any of them anyway. Okay. You can put them in the same category because they're going to know my category. So okay. they should be, when I, I, I'm doing a category next week. So when we do the category, they won't, they'll stay, step out because they're going to know my category. Okay. And when you find out what my category is, you will understand. Okay. Uh, so that's one. And the other one is, thank you, thank you, thank you for your wonderful recommendations. I will take any recommendation from you at any time. Hail Mary was fantastic. I couldn't put it down. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, it was like, I can't believe all the science, but this is the most creative book I've ever seen. It's, it was incredible. incredible. Just incredible. incredible. Did you? And did I solved the apple problem. So I've now seen that whole first season and there better be a second one because it left it all hanging. Are you talking about severance? Severance, yeah. Oh my God. We'll have to sit and talk about that. Man, that was so flipping good. You're like, Oh, it was both of them. It just, it was. I had to. I mean, yeah, I don't recommend a lot of stuff really a lot because I don't really do a lot of stuff. And I, some of the stuff I like is really esoteric. esoteric, esoteric. Hey, what did you esoteric, think about my idea? My idea last week. The world. But that's not esoteric for this crap. See, yeah. that's one of the things I like about this. I don't know any of the trivia answers. I couldn't do anything if Kevin was not the same thing, right? So did, but, you, did you do The Martian too? The Martian? No. The movie, I mean, the book, The Martian? No. By uh, Andy Weir? To, to answer your question, Robin, he already has a place in Florida that he was renting to people. So they're moving to Florida for Gail, some reason. Yeah, you need to do The Martian. It's it's as good as um, Hail Mary. Oh, The Martian was excellent. I was a little bummed that it wasn't uh, um, narrated by the same person because the person who did Hail Mary was amazing, but it was Will Wheaton. So Will Wheaton's pretty it's, good. It's, it's incredibly good. It was the first book he did. Okay, yeah. so going back. Okay, so this one is one of these pretty much everybody got where they didn't. Uh, Are you going to do 10 different slides? So Yes, I did. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, I want to hear. I want to hear people it. groan when they when they hit a digit that they didn't get right. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's as far as my calculator goes. We reversed the last two. We reversed the last oh, two. Oh, bummer. I told Gail and I said, Gail, Kevin, each pick a number, and Gail said three, and then Kevin said five. I, R R Romero was going and he, he was going back and forth on what the last one was. I think they finally got it, but we'll see. Yeah. Wow. Best way to end the night is with a nice that, piece that of a pie. Really easy, quick. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I would agree with that. That was a good answer. That was good. Very quick. 3.1415926536. Yeah. That's as far as my calculator shows. That's why I know. Kevin had it memorized. Went I thought it was. I use it, every, I use it almost every day. I would have had only two the calculators. Should probably show the last digit of the four. Three point one. That's all. No, I knew the three point one, but I would have gotten three point seven because I was almost confident it was three point one uh, uh, one seven. I don't know where I got that. Twenty two sevenths is close uh, enough. I you did. need to remember that if you write it backwards, it spells pi. So that's how you remember that at least it's three point one four. If 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 you reverse three point one four and mirror it, it it looks oh. like the word pi. Or, I always thought it was three point. I was I thought it was three point one six because that's as far as we ever needed. I to will have never it. forget this ever again. A hundred no. years from now, I will still know. I will be dead, but I will still. Know. So have, has anyone else ever seen the video of Ross Blotcher reciting them? It's amazing. Part of it, yeah. He's up to what a thousand or something? Amazing! I, I don't understand how someone could do that. I don't. I don't understand why you need would want to. Spend <laughs> why? That's, that's what my wife said. 
Because Ramiro got a certificate for memorizing it up to the 50th digit. Ooh, really? Nice. Yeah. But I 50. Wow. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I married him. <laughs> <laughs> certificate? That should be like a diploma or some shit. I mean, that's that's a lot of digits. All right, here we go. Let's see how we did. Thank you for that quick round, Rob. The the, yes. the East Coast thanks you. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Concussions, abortions, family values. Oh, bye. Seven. Only seven. Okay. Uh, Elon Musk, please just go to Mars. Ten. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go here to abortions for nobody. Thanks to Jamie, we got eight. Yep, eight. Nice. Right. Right. Okay, your own team, Rob. Eight. Oh, better than I thought. Very good. And Ben Soda is shaking that stirred. And bastards. <laughs> of course. Bastards. I so, hate you. I have a really interesting story about pie in Portland. And down in our metro station in Portland, underneath uh, the Portland Zoo, uh, there's an artist rendition of pie where there's a wall, the entire wall is carved in granite with the digit of pi, but it's incorrect. Oh no. <laughs> and we did an investigation into how it was that the artist, uh, this was done by Mark Cowan, who was one of our active former members who died suddenly of a heart attack just mm. a couple weeks ago. That's what he gets for you. Uh, and he five. figured out why the artist incorrectly carved pie uh, in the granite wall under the at the metro station. And it's because he did not know how to correctly read the math tables. So, in, <laughs> so he took a math table like this and instead of reading across, it went down. Oh. And then, oh. so oh after. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one of those problems where somebody's two different countries, one's working in metric and one's working in self. I mean, after how many digits did it go wrong, Jim? 100, right? Oh, Let's nothing. see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, at, at 10, so 10 times 10. 100 and then 101 it's so wrong. for all reasonable and somebody, calculations in engineering that would not cause any problems I'll tell you. but somebody noticed so somebody <laughs> knew paul, paul went beyond paul, 100 wow. and was standing there looking at him and going wait a minute <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> romero went there somebody would have double checked that's romero really went there right romero was there Good job, romero <laughs> Was that you, Romero? He said he goes to 15. Romero got it to 50 and said, okay, the rest must be right. Next, next, week, next week's bonus will do what are the last last 10 digits of pi? Yeah. There okay, are, Susan. There are no last yes, Ben. Susan, now you will never forget at least the first three digits. Oh, that's because really you clever. can see, okay, I see the yeah. four one three. Oh, you write three, it. Three point one four. If you if you mirror it, it's gonna spell the word pi. Okay. And you really and that are is bizarre. It's like a message. That. From That's, God. Well, yeah, it was proof. It God. was it was Sorry. it was destined. No the signature of God. There it is. is. Yeah. Pi. Ever I will So it's really funny that when God wrote the Bible, he said pi was three. God, so that's weird. God speaks English. So in English, of course. Yeah. English? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and Arabic numbers and English letters, yes. Okay. <laughs> so great job, everybody. I ha I'm leaning towards canceling trivia week. Uh, <gasps> just How dare break you break my heart? Do it on Tuesday. Well, we're talking about that, but I, I yeah. what would be wrong with five people just playing trivia together? It doesn't have to be teams. It could be you would, because people go to a lot of trouble to write the categories and stuff. And I and I'd hate to have somebody waste. I think on that week questions whoever shows a, up, whoever shows up, we should write a category. So when you come back, we write categories for people who weren't there. No, just get a copy of trivial pursuit and play that. There you go. That's one way to do it. We can play well, I read, read some trivial say, pursuit cards. I, 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 we need a decision by next I week. Remedy, how many, 
how many of the people here it. are cur would currently not be able to attend? Rather than sure. canceling it, I would do all the categories. So it's not. It's not on Thursday. Yeah, but I'd want to see that. What, what <laughs> you do? That's what YouTube's for. What if it ended at ten thirty Central? <laughs> For okay. that sake, if I should be able to get to sleep before two. Okay, wait. Could, Let me ask well, you the question that somebody just asked. How many people here would be able to show up for trivia on that Thursday? One, probably, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. And we could do it eight. in an hour and a half. And this is only, I think a lot of people have already gone home. Okay, tonight. so let's double it. So 16? You couldn't do well, who we could do, like a, we could do, we a, could do a three teams version. Three teams instead of five teams. Who's three, teams, teams, three categories. I could do all the categories and it would only take an hour and a half. Somebody has well, to maybe. somebody has to host it. Somebody has to open it up. Yeah, somebody has I to host could it. Turn on the computer off my I could go somewhere and open up my laptop, turn on Zoom and get you here, and then just turn over the permissions. Yeah, the problem could yeah. I just have the this problem is a... is if if I did that. I'd have to have multiple people be the host because, or like a coast or co-host. Because like, let's say Karen was writing it and Karen keeps getting kicked off. Right. Mm -hmm. I could probably host if someone was you doing have a strong various internet? categories. Uh, pretty much, yeah. <sighs> I'd well, rather not. Tell me next week what you decided. I'd rather have to because I really would like Hi, to not ever say that we just I'm going to be in the flamingo. I count. Yeah. <laughs> One of the 5,000 rooms, how many were there? I forgot already. 34 30, something. 34 something, yeah. 3,460, and we're going to count them. Now, should yeah. I mail you guys uh, some coffee syrup or not? <laughs> <laughs> I was serious. No. I can. No, okay, no, all right. I won't coffee syrup. We're not going to have any. <laughs> You're like Robin. Robin's doing the same thing. Will. We have some free time to go and do something at such and such time. I'm like, you have no free time. I'm telling I, you, I'm you will make... have no free time, and you will not have as much sleep as you're used to getting. You don't. And there's that. also um, stuff happening in the flamingo itself. I think there's a couple comedy shows in Nobody's the flamingo gonna, while we're there. You're going to be so. hanging out, and you will not be able, and you're not going to have any sleep. You're going to be, mm -hmm. you're going to be, like after two days, you're going to be like. Oh my God, I have to sleep. I have got to sleep. Susan's going to be too busy finding those other 1,500 rooms, uh, those secret <laughs> floors. Somewhere. Yeah, she's going to find funny. those other floors. Robin, right. Robin, the only, the only, the one show that's actually on the docket for Psycon, which is a comedy show, it's a magic comedy show, is Piff the Magic Dragon. Yeah. And we're going we're, to that. I hope. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, Alan. Good night. So Deborah is coming over at noon, us. right? Jane, how you make Kyle. it? You're still making it to PsyCon, right? Yes, I'm planning to be there. Yay. Okay. So sorry to hear about your dad, Jane. Thank you. So Tennessee. Wow. Deborah, did you find somebody to share your room or uh, I uh, I was waiting to hear from you. Sterling needs a room. Oh. Well, okay, so I have uh, a reservation for a room that I'm apparently not using because I'm gonna room with paula or we can rearrange i mean yeah because sterling needs a room i think okay so i i have a room reservation so we need to talk before i cancel my room reservation yeah right. i have a room but, reservation but of course they too. have a shit ton of rooms there so well, no carl's i mean they only yeah. have so many at that rate kyle said that yeah. they're out right I extended my days to, I added on Sunday night. I had originally planned to leave on Sunday and I added the Sunday night. This was like a week or two ago and they charged me the full rate on Sunday night. Oh yeah, oh, I know. It's yeah. like 250 it's bucks or something. It's not part of the conference. Awful thing. It's not part of the conference. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's worth it because you're going to need the sleep and you're going to need to be able to, because Sunday night things are still happening and you're going to be like, Oh my God, I have to go catch a plane. <laughs> probably, in all probability, somewhere Sunday night, George Rabb will be having a sing along. Yeah, that'll happen too. And Monday morning, we always get together and have breakfast and just sit there like this. And then we take the sad suitcase picture. Oh, yeah. Everybody oh. Like, picture we have a very picture. long drive on Monday. Are you going to leave early? You're driving? We're driving to Ajo, Arizona Monday. Oh. 
I hear a guitar. Listen, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, the, uh, we have John Prine playing, in, uh, a very young John Prine playing in the background. Okay. Uh, on PBS. I have to oh, go okay. And check that out. House. Uh, I got to go to pick up a prescription at CVS. I don't know if I should go run and do it right now. I'll do it in the morning. And then I was going to get my car washed anyway. So everything else is ready, Deborah. Oh, Noonish? Around noon? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have breakfast and. I got stuff. I got to do some, finish doing some laundry and go to the store and stuff. So. Okay. Yeah. My house is, my car is partially packed. I haven't packed anything. I have to work all week. So. Oh, well, um, I got the car yeah. packed with the stuff, not my clothing and stuff. But yeah. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. I'm Sacramento. I'm doing a talk. Oh, oh, Sacramento. oh. Sacramento. Sacramento, yes. And then, yeah. then we have that event on Saturday and stuff. So it's going to be like a little tiny conference for me. And Deborah, tiny, tiny. little tiny yeah. conference. We're going to see Emory and falling asleep. Good night, everyone. Bye, Kevin. Good night, Kevin. 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 Right. So, if thank Karen, you for telling me Karen about the portal. portal, Kevin. Thank you. Good night. Yep. So, if if Karen and um, and uh, Ben kind of want to run that, that would be great. And if we could just we could we could watch them on. I'll watch it later. I think it'd be fun because it's. It's kind of like, you know, you don't want to say we we cancel the trivia. <laughs> we don't have to. <laughs> we just, we'll say we've right. done every Thursday. We can just do it and not say it. No, I couldn't do that. That'd be lying. I'm not, I can't. No, I'm not. That's to that. true. Oh, it has to be true. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. That That is true. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, better. everybody. Good night, Deborah. Good night. All right, y'all. Good, Good to see you. So great to Good see night. you. Good night. Yeah, Justin's gonna. Don't forget to come and move Ma Mark's mattress. <laughs> I have not. Was there a specific time or just Sunday? Sunday. It has to be on the curb by Monday morning at six. Okay, okay. but not a specific time on Sunday. Wait, I have to tell you guys something. I had a mattress and I made a reservation for them to take it uh, on Monday a few weeks ago. I pulled it out, like they said. They did not take it. They said they'd come on Tuesday. I left it out on Tuesday. They did not come. I called. They pulled it back. I pulled it back and I had to reschedule for Monday. So if that happens to you guys, I'm happy to go down to the house and pull the mattress in and out oh, if it doesn't sweet. work out. We're putting it at the Stanford's because you can only do this once a year. And apparently I did it in January. Okay. All right. But if they need help, give them my number. They have my number, I think. And I'm happy to come drag it back okay. if they That'd need That'd be it. sweet. Thank you. Because yeah. you got a mattress sticking out, you know, for a week. And that's so. I know. So this is a bulk. You're allowed once a, a bulk bulk item a pickup year. by the local trash pickup folks. Once a year. Yeah. Wow. So. And then you have to schedule it. And it takes, you know, sometimes say, oh, well, we got to see what's available in the box. It's like, oh. I could just take it and lay it out somewhere in the in Salinas anywhere. Yeah. Why don't Why don't you chop it up with a saw. Turn it topside down so the neighbors don't all see your coffee stains and stuff. The advice I want to and dry stuff. blood. Blood, dry blood. They won't see the blood. <laughs> yeah. Do what happens to half of old mattresses here. Put it on the back of your pickup truck and then watch it fly off into the, and land in the interstate. Yeah. They didn't see, if, if I had a truck handy, I that would be easy. But we don't have trucks. And you wouldn't just do stick that, it out there, spill some ketchup on it, and jam a knife into it, and then oh, you know. it's a Halloween decoration. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great idea. I could put it out Halloween. I could do a Jeffrey Dahmer. Put put Ooh. it in the curb in front of. Jim, Ben's nephew's house. Anything you put there gets taken by somebody. Yeah. Well, you know what? Even usually if you say do, junk on it, we usually put stuff out in the front of our house, and it's usually gone by the morning. But we did the uh, the mattress. It's not in great shape, but I put the uh, bed springs, and um, nobody. I had it out for a week, and nobody came and got it. Like, well, <laughs> you need to put a price tag on it, and then people will steal yeah. it because they yeah. feel like they're getting a oh. deal. If you say it's ben, free, then no one wants it. Ben Ben's nephew had a used broken toilet taken from his curb by somebody yeah it's, hey, it, ben, they're an I'll interesting bring it on part over. of town come get there it there you go i'll put it in there all right everybody good night it's great to see you check out on facebook there'll be a lot of pictures coming up this weekend trust me on that bye bye bye